And good night wherever you are in the world. This is the Go Format Championship 3v3. This is the second 3v3 uh, Go Format Akama is hosted here, and this is a special tournament. This is our European version. So this is started already at a Euro-friendly start time here. Uh, my name is Mascus. I'm joined here by Matt. Hi. I have one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just, uh, I, I, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't on mute. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're good to go here. Um, and we're just hopping right into it. This is round one. We're watching uh, Chopper versus the uh, A's and Dean. Uh, it's looking like it's a Chaos Control. Uh, no, it just looks like Chaos Turbo here versus uh, Panda Burn. Um, yeah. So over, looks like, let me check here. It looks like about... 30 teams or so have uh, joined this tournament, so this is a uh, three-person per team. Uh, if you're not familiar with how this format works, you enter with a team of three, you go up against another team of three. Player A plays player A, player B plays player B, player C plays th player C, and uh, your team only needs to win two out of the three matches um, against the other team that they're playing against. Um, last 3v3 we held was i think all the way back in february earlier this year it was won by uh dingo sig lucas the heretic and woa their team and um i haven't seen them in the lineup here from they may be playing or, uh, later today um but i haven't seen them down in the lineups so far right now we're watching what's this team name again don't chop we versus team uh mcgoogles don't chop we is a uh, consisting of Don't Copy, Chopper, and Pui. And Team McGoogles here is Cloud00, Zero Zero, uh, Asian Dean, and Agent-Broken. So, while Asian here has two Chaos Sorcerers, Thunder Dragon, a Set Guy, and a, it looks like an o Ojama token here, um, a lot of cards on the board, but is being completely locked down by Gravity Bind. Call the Haunted on this giant panda. Going to try to crash into a token. That, that's going to deal a ton of damage if that goes through. But Book of Moon is the answer. Temporary art says in the, <laughs> at this moment in time, as you, as you say, um, Dean is locked up. <laughs> so he really needs to... Well, all of, his, all of what he needs is mostly gone. If that's the Magician of Faith, then he's in a really good spot, but I think probably one Regeki break at most left, no chance to slap break onto the field. Oh. <laughs> um. Yes. So with it, um, Dean total nine cards um, on, on the field, so Let's see if we're going to see some... Com I think that's fine. Looks like tr if Chopper does have, doesn't have the right sort of cards, and here's that Magician of Faith. There. Magician of Faith. Heavy Storm is in the graveyard, so that is going to be the pick here. But does... Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, because... Yeah, I mean, like, he's... Book uh, he's just dead. 25 and, uh, and 2,000 here, plus another uh, 5. Or a yeah, thousand. Okay. Yeah. So actually, that doesn't. That's n so. No, that's game. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say check. Yeah, it doesn't matter because there's plenty of effect monsters on the field. Um. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was gonna say that ceasefire's chain link three. That happens first. Then you have got just desserts. But as as we saw, there's already four. There's already six effect monsters on the field. Dean was on, on forty nine hundred. So yeah, that's more than enough burn damage.
So I think I don't. <clears throat> I know Puy was definitely playing um, Panda Burn as well. I'm not sure if Don't Copy is on Panda Burn, but. Panda Burn is a very strong deck, I believe, versus uh, Chaos Turbo. So if you are looking into the field and you're expecting a lot of Chaos Turbo decks, um, Chaos decks in general, Chaos Control a little bit less because of uh, Thousand Eyes access. They can kind of manipulate it, but Goats is a little bit uh, bad versus Panda, especially versus all the, uh, the Just Desserts and Secret Barrels. They don't really care. They just have those, um, those tokens up on the board for you to just lock your board down yeah well, I, I was before I just had a, I've got access to a deck list man. I mean if, if I'm going blind in a tournament um, don't copy he's normally a Chaos Turbo player but we'll, <laughs> if we can get him later on the stream then we'll see what exactly what he's playing Hmm. Nobleman on Dekoichi. Pretty strong. So, <laughs> now the question is how many traps does Chopper have in his hand, I think? Um, Oh, are we going to see some... Mm, okay, yeah, he's, he's probably going to set a bunch of traps to make sure that he doesn't get hit by some sort of end phase trick. Um, so, yeah. Well, there wasn't really any end phase trick, but... <laughs> I guess Regeki breaking the end phase, but... I uh, yeah, oh yeah, I didn't see the, the true name there. Um, yeah, that makes sense, it's... It... I don't think Trunade is going to get you a lot of value, I guess, with a hand of all uh, all spells. Interesting. So That definitely is an interesting move by Chopper to use that. Aha! Uh, now that makes more sense. So, yeah. So these are Jama tokens. <laughs> yeah, these are Jama tokens are going to lock the uh, Asian Dean out of summoning a monster. I was going to say, I was going to say that possibly low way is Trunade in case this Chopper was expecting Trunade, and there comes 25 burn right in the face. So let's see what so, Chopper top is. Interesting play from Chopper because he kind of went all in with using all six of his cards to lock his opponent out here, and he's just one Regeki break away from his opponent unlocking himself and being able to summon a monster and just start beating them down. Yeah. Not just Regeki break, it's also a possibility of ring as well, isn't there? So <laughs> it's it's whether Dean sees the sees the option to be able to blow up his own cards. Yeah, Premature's Premature's getting discarded. Interest yeah. I guess I guess you can't just card pot. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't discard pot of greed after you drew it <laughs> from Grateful Charity. You could. That'd be pretty baller. <laughs> that would. I mean, it's interesting that he he went and discarded this Corona because, um, yeah, and that's that royal decree that that Chopper was trying to avoid getting hit by. I that's assume. so awkward, though. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's awkward, like you say, because now you can't, as, as we touched on earlier, you can't, you have the option to play Regeki Breaking Ringer's Destruction, now you don't have that option, unless you can shut off the decree one way or another. He's got to heavy storm himself, and then use Regeki Break on his own guy, that or he has to just put down Mash Driver. <laughs> Excuse me? <clears throat> if he puts down Mash Driver, he'll be able to clear off all the tokens on the board. He'll take, um, he actually doesn't take anything because they're not destroyed. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was 200, let me double check Mass Driver. No, well Mass Driver, Chopper, if they have, if Dean here has Mass Driver, 
Chopper's going to take 2,000. But Dean won't take anything because the Ojama tokens aren't being destroyed. They're being tributed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> I thought you. I thought we were talking about about unfinished land damage. Yeah, this one. I'm not sure we're going to see it as well, but that's also an interaction that does come up in library FTK. If if <laughs> where where library FTK sides into mass driver, right? So they can tribute off the tokens. <laughs> Been a while. I managed to pick up my copy of Mass Driver from Locals, and yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Mass Driver. <laughs> completely blank that it does 400 damage, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, not really much Dean can do at the moment. Block him. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I would love to see Mass Driver come out. It's a card that I've won many many duels with. <laughs> Big fan of Mass Driver here. <laughs> Have you with your infinite loops, eh? <laughs> Dean. Dot Magician and Chaos, just loop it. <laughs> and Dean making a note that this sucks. And I mean, Definitely. yeah, it does suck. It, you're under Ojama Trio here, and you're kind of just waiting around for your opponent to kill you. Yep. Trying to and amass enough hard. together. And here's and the thing, like... Chopper show, showed you that they have true nades, so they can just find true nades, set a bunch of burn cards, and then burn you out. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that's going to be... Um... <laughs> I mean, at this stage, um, Chopper's actually made up for all the cards that he burned in his hand, and he's now drawn to six to hand. And that Royal Decree was being good for sh shutting off all those trap cards under normal circumstances. Now it's, it's almost just locked up the game and it's just a matter of time, I think, before Chopper slams down the True Nate and is able to reactivate all those trap cards. The, the timing of it was a bit weird because they flipped the Decree pretty early when they only saw those two burn cards. It's not like you're going to die from just two burn cards. Like, they, yeah. it, they would need, like, at least three to kill you in this life point range. Yeah, um, yeah um, and now, as, as we've seen, MST would be nice for Dean, but then that just opens right. himself up. And there's that true nade. Mm -hmm. There's that true nade resetting the decree. And I expect to see multiple copies of Secret Bell. At least one copy of Secret Power. We're already halfway through the Chopper's already halfway through his deck. Um, thanks to Pot and Charity. Um, yeah, not really much Dean can do in this case other than to bounce everything back to hand. And some combination of Ceasefire, Just Deserts, and Secret Barrel likely right. to seal off, the, seal off the deal. Ah, that's interesting. I mean, yeah, I mean, like. It's interesting you also use MST on this, didn't use MST on this decree, but I guess I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, there's a second copy of Justice that's gone. It's more important to um, MST one of the back rows there, because it could have been something uh, like a burn card. And getting rid of the Justice Earth is pretty big. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, especially when there was a second copy, so... Um, and Chopper likely to say, oh, during your standby phase, I'm going to flip all of my trap cards. So that's eight in hand, nine in hand, or ten? I'm I lost track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in hand. Plus, so it's fifteen. Yeah, that's that's fifteen. That's six k burn damage to the face. And yeah, that's enough. That's more than enough. Um. Yeah, don't see what it, what what Dean can do there. Um, I I'm wondering if Dean did have the real. Decree, or not decree, uh, the Rikaki break, in order to unbrick himself from these tokens? Yeah, I mean... I guess we might not know. We might never know. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's like you said, that Royal Decree came down a bit early, and then because of that, that effectively shuts off your means of getting rid of those drama tokens. Right? Who, 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 so let's join in on... 
same team. So it Let's looks go. like they won one match there. And now we're we're joining in here with uh, Cloud00 versus Don't Copy. And so this is still the same team, Google versus Don't Choppy here. It looks like the the tables are turned, though. Cloud00 is on a rat burn deck, or it looks like it's zombie burn, with uh, giant rats and the nightmare wheel. Delinquid actually earned his invite to the World Championship of GOAT format using a similar deck. And Don't Copy looks like they're on a Chaos Control style build. They have Metamorph in the graveyard already. Skill Dark Magician. So it could is, just be Go Control, though. Just with Skill yeah, Darts. Um, I, I mean, you, we'll soon find out. But yeah, I was going to say that it's, <laughs> it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird for... Um, okay, so it looks like that. This game's over here. So don't choppy. Yeah, we must have won their match. Yeah, it seems seems like it, but yeah, that's. I think he just cloud cloud to so realizing that there's not really much point of him continuing on. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see don't copy on this particular on chaos con what looks like some sort of go control list, but okay, this use normally the chaos tab up there. So, <laughs> so we are now joining in versus damage step and goat for money here. So team damage step versus team goat for money. Um, we're joining MMF and DGZ Forever. And MMF looks like he's... They are on... Um, like MMF's on, uh, playing Chaos Turbo. DGZ Forever may be playing a warrior deck with Magic Cylinder in it. This is game one. Yes. Let me try to find who Same else here. is on these teams. I was going to say, we're seeing, I remember there was one, one stage where everyone was using, um, everyone's got Magic Cylinder in their 55 cards for Warrior decks. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like we're, we're seeing that on display. So Team DGZ Forever is, for or er, not Team DGZ Forever, Team Goat for Money has user DGZ Forever on there, uh, Gibbon Nation, and Masakado. While damage step is captained by MMF, Temple is on the team this uh, this go around and Insidious as well. And I think Insidious won. If I'm not mistaken, Insidious won this game. Um, I'm actually catch you catch you game. I one. think that was their round one. This is actually round two. Mm, yeah, so, he must have. Yeah, he, if, in that case, he's definitely won. I may need to just update that real quick. Yeah, it's just so, yeah, that is the case. So yeah, I was going to say that, yeah, I managed to catch the start of um, uh, Insidious first game, and yeah, he just <laughs> managed to outgrind the Warrior matchup. But uh, let's see how, how this one pans out. So we see another Book of Moon. Hmm. MMF has more cards in this exchange than um, Forever does. But Battle Phase here, Mystic Swordsman's yeah. going to finally pick up the Blade Knight. Blade Knight that MMF snatched all earlier. Forever is down in life. Here comes Tsukiyomi. Going to try to deal with Mystic Swordsman. And it's met by widespread win. <laughs> Are we gonna s looks like we're going to see a pump for 2700. Moonforce is gone. Um... Yeah, Mirrorforce is gone. Only has to fear Torrential, really. And here's a heads up play from, from MMF. Summoning this in attack mode, trying to attack the Mystic Swordsman. Is that going to be met with enemy controller that can turn it to defense? This will keep the Mystic Swordsman alive, and Ninja Grandmaster can come and use his effect by battling it. But Exile Voice might just pick it up instead. So it looks like... Wow. Oh, Solemn the Exiled it. Force. Okay. <laughs> wow. And then Solemn, so you're Solemn. Wow. And then Solemn, you're Solemn. 
Solemn Wars, good old Solemn Wars, eh? <laughs> Okay, so we've got Thunder Dragon. So now we're gonna. S so the other card in the hand is likely the. It will. That's very funny. There is no other Thunder Dragon in the graveyard. So they had the other one. So they had double Thunder Dragon in the hand already. So they were holding it, not revealing that they had the Thunder Dragon there. So now a, a new set monster. That's Ninja Grandmaster. It spun back with uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. So yeah, flip for free. Get the Snatch Deal back. Yeah. Wow. So Solemn showing off how good it was there. Being able to answer the opponent Solemn. And Phoenix Wing Wind Blast just securing the game for MMF in the end. But the, I think Double Solemn was was pretty huge as well. Just being a good old Solemn was just stealing, stealing the deal. And yeah, Wing Glass, as you mentioned, just tying loose ends. Yeah, MMF needed that uh that spy to stay on the board. And we're heading into game two here. Let's see if uh, DGT Forever can adjust. Two pass. Mm. Not the most explosive start from either deck here, but here's Exiled Force on Forever side. Gonna pick up a Gravekeeper Spy. Graceful Charity, playing the correct artwork. Great discard <laughs> no, for hey, Sinister no. Serpent. <laughs> Sukiyomi as well. Found the Thunder Dragon. I'm going to search for two more. Sukiyomi is not that bad versus Warriors. A lot of the Warriors have less than a, a, a 11 defense, so you can just put them face down and run over them. It'd be interesting to see what else he's got. Here's a card that gets no respect, and it's the DD Warrior Lady. <laughs> and that's the Gravity Charity. So we're going to see a solid Yeah, in the Magician of Faith, not what you, you want to see, but... <laughs> with four back row, five back row now, you got to think one of them's likely going to be able to negate Graceful Charity if they want to negate it at all. So MMF giving the opportunity to see if it's going to get negated, and Man, it does get negated as expected. We're paying 4000 And there's a heavy storm. That's... Wow. <laughs> I guess you're digging so... I mean, it's really, really strong bait, so right? Far. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, you dug so far into right. your deck. Card destruction you... on top is amazing. Yeah. Let me I get rid of this handful of so junk. Far into your deck. Wow, the Jinzo! Jinzo wow. coming yeah, in. Yeah, she had Jinzo! Amazing! <laughs> so yeah, um, DGZ Forever needs to discard... Um, sorry, um, bear me a second. Yeah, so yeah, it's MMF reminding... Yeah, it could just be some Forever. lag issue. Yeah. Or they're talking with the team. 
Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> so, you got to mill, mill the card, dude. Wow. So, yeah. MMF, Into pot agreed. MMF having everything. Here's, so, here's BLS. <laughs> This is this is the thing with Chaos Turbo though, is that is that obviously because it thins the deck so much, it, it gets to a stage where you're not surprised when you see all of these big big power plays. So it's, yeah, I, and if you're in if you're in the Chaos Turbo player shoe at the moment, you definitely take this one hundred percent. Yeah, it looks like um, it's gonna be the concession here. Yeah, that was just a really, a really, really good bait from um, MMF using the Graceful Charity first after sh getting it back with the Magician of Faith, um, asking if they wanted to negate it, and GZ Forever said, "Yeah, sure, I'll negate it," and got Heavy Storm right after. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, it came, yeah, it's, it's weird because most people would do the opposite if if we're being if we're being, I. I I'd see a lot of people do the exact opposite, which is play Heavy Storm first, then play the charity. But mm. given that, given the position that MMF was in, I think you definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely playing the charity first because you're you're already so far into your deck anyway that it's kind of like if you if you draw those extra cards, it's like okay, I I just I'm just in a really good spot either way. So damage depth is up right now one zero so far versus uh, Team Goat Money. Now we're joining same uh, same teams here. Insidious versus Massacado. Looks like Insidious just picked up the the game after swinging in with a uh, with BLS. I believe Insidious is on a Chaos Control variant. Um, I didn't get a good look at what Massacado was on. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he's insidious repping Chaos Control as he always as he has been doing quite recently, I think. Um he... And Massacado going to elect to go first here in game number two. Is that one star? Let's see how insidious. Opening the pot of greed. I was going to see Thunder Dragon follow up. <laughs> it just seems to be always the case that people end up having pot of greed Thunder Dragon. <laughs> Then let's see, see how insidious plays this one. No Thunder Dragon, just looks like a tea set back after Pot of Greeting. Right. No, but across out the play from Massacado, gonna. Get rid of Grave Hooper Spy, they're both gonna look at their decks and banish some cards. So maybe maybe um Mascado maybe on we'll soon find out, is he on maybe on Chaos Turbo or Grave Keepers or <laughs> let's see what he's he's gonna be on. Uh, I doubt it's just straight up Grave Keepers. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. Yeah, it um, could be, but it could be. I doubt it. <laughs> and then just another set card in the front for Massacado, followed up by three in the back.
Heavy Storm's going to be able to play from Insidious. Right. Solemn Judgment. Coming out on Masakado's side. Going to pay 4000 to protect the back rows. Mm -hmm. right. Mind Control on the new set. Flip that Faith up? Why would you set Faith into just Nobleman, though? Could be Dekoichi, or it could be a bluff. Yeah, it could. Insidious didn't immediately flip it. It, looks like it, is, it is a bluff. When it That's what it looks like. like. Might be a Tsukiyomi or Sangan. Big whiff, but we'll see. We'll see how Insidious. Well, getting the information is is nice. Yeah. You did MST for four thousand. Maybe DD Warrior Chaos, Lady. Maybe Chaos, Ret Chaos Return. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, let's I did. See. We did see the Roulette Barrel last time, so it's possible that they are playing Chaos Return. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't remember seeing. I don't remember seeing... That or could be, uh, like, Angel Chaos. I guess you'd play the, all those cards in Chaos Return. Yeah. That's, that's so, exactly Duo's taking out Book of Moon and Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah, taking up Effectively a dead Chaos Sorcerer. And the city is coming... Possibly being able to make up for duo and discards. Wow, discards Thunder Dragon. <laughs> so we are going to see the Chaos Monster, but which one is it going to be? <laughs> and of course, it's going to get met by some judgment. So my control for Masakados then after Solemn Judgment Insidious is BLS. Wow, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. And let's see, if we, yeah, grab that mind control. So I'm getting word that Tenply and Gibbon Nations game is going into game three there. So if Tenply wins in the game three, the team downship is going to be moving on in winner's side. Now this is a double elimination bracket, so we're still watching winner's side here. So Team Goat Money will not be out of the tournament entirely. But it is still match point here, or because the Templars win in game two, it is match point for damage step. Yeah. So, Grape Through Spy going to try to attack into Magician of Faith, but Book of Moon on the Magician of Faith is going to flip it back down. Attack goes through, gets flipped back up. Magician of Faith gets to pick up a uh, spell card in the graveyard, and Pot of Greed, great one to pick up. 
Yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess he's needs that pot, needs that pot to get more cards. Let's see. Um, but yeah, he does have to, um, still has to. Uh, Ring of Destruction would be lethal here. But Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer are going to come down and attack into Grave for Spy. Kaiko will trigger, be able to banish two monsters from the graveyard. Elects not to, because there isn't any monster in the graveyard to banish. That Grave Keeper Spy that goes there is not technically in the graveyard when it's uh, Kaiko triggers, so they can't banish it. But Nobleman Across now can banish the face down roulette barrel. And now it's an awkward spot for DD Warrior Lady, because DD Warrior Lady can crash to deal with the Kaiko, but that's going to be 300 points of damage. Making. Uh, I don't, yeah, don't know I think what Insidious could have that's like 600, you know? Yeah. But I the little creatures you know, are, are more deadly. Wow, we're gonna see Mobius. Ooh, Mobius the Frost Ooh. Monarch. That's pretty. That's right. pretty unexpected. Gonna change to Retro Tribute. This has a light and dark in the graveyard, though, so Chaos Monster would be really, really strong wow. for Massacato. Even Return would be. Even the set Return here would be. Yeah, if Return is set, if they if this is a Return deck, we do see the Roulette Barrel, so that could be an indication that Return from the Different Dimension is looming. But well, just gonna pass it back. Yeah. Does Insidious have the Curse Monster of its own? No, well, they have a, a regular monster in Tribe Infecting Virus, but is it going to fight through both these yeah. back rows? I was, was going to say, he's going to slap that Tribe onto the field and see if he can attack the So game. there was a return. Was that not enough? 24? Oh, it wasn't enough. It was only 34. Yeah, that's probably why. Um, let's see how much Insidious has taken, because my left point gauge is bugged at the moment, so I might need to... Oh, it's, he, Insidious is at 35. Yeah. Had to be hundreds off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oof. That's a bit. Yeah, that's super awkward. That's rough. That's so pretty... using using return from the different dimension to just not die. Pot agreed off the top for Massacato. That's karma. BLS will be nope, he's just gonna set a monster. I don't think there's a light in the grave. Oh there is, did you worry lady? Yeah, he's just I think probably not not drawn what he needed. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate because yeah, you know, just being that hundred hundred life off. Let's see if we're gonna are we gonna crash into a shining angel? But uh, we haven't seen Mill Force or Torrential from Masakazo. The Insidious is thinking here. Thunder Dragon. Gonna search the other one. Discarded the first Thunder Dragon earlier in the duel for Graceful Charity. So they drew it off of Graceful and discarded it. Sacking it here. For the Thunder Dragon, I guess to upgrade the stats? Yeah, for the meta. Oh, Metamorph here, and then it's going to turn into uh, the Ryu. Or not the Ryu, the, um, the Reaper on the Nightmare. <laughs> so he's asking... Yeah, Insidious is... is well, yeah, there so, are Solemns in the deck. But Mill Force, yeah. He does go for the Dark Oh, going to turn it into Dark Balter. Hmm. I would have went Reaper on the Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, he's like you say. They got a Torrential either way. Yeah, exactly. It'd be interesting to see if, if Mascada does have... Does do what Insidious did and have the Mill Force. But well, it, it can't be Mirror Force because they... They Let's use Return see. from the Different Dimension... Which yeah, is a win condition for them, right? Yeah. In order to, to block the lethal attack. So if yeah. they would have held the... If that was Mirror Force and they would have held the Return from Different Dimension, they could have, like, normal summoned that deco and then flipped Return maybe, and killed maybe them. It maybe it could be another Return. <laughs> it could be another Return, but... Yeah, definitely not Mirror Force. <laughs> I don't know. If, if that was another Return, maybe, maybe you should have just returned and then... No, it's not Rolled for, for roulette barrel. 
Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been returned because sometimes he would just slam whatever that set monster, he would just slam it and flip the return for that game, isn't it? Shining Angel here, gonna buy some time for Masticado. <laughs> top deck blade knight. It's a really no, strong top deck. deck. Putting that in defense though. Yeah, in yeah. I guess I guess he's what Mascada is worried about, but with That's kind of a factors. signal. Yeah, kinda of, it's like you say it's a signal that he doesn't have that move was that I thought he had. And vanishing no, a light and dark. Monster. So BLS is gone, Chaos Sorcerer is gone, so it's the it's the second Chaos Sorcerer, but what's it gonna banish? I suspect he's going to go for the Shining Angel. Unless there's the Solomon. Mm. Nope, he, he would have. I mean, like, there's two songs gone already, so. I mean, you're, if you're summoning in defense, you're banishing something here. Shining Angel, I guess, yeah. is fine. I mean, I think all the good targets of. Is still Warrior Lady? No, Warrior Lady's gone. Um, obviously, Roulette Bell is gone, so there's, pro there's definitely another Angel, I guess. I guess that's a safe there's choice. Mind control oh, yeah, of course. Down. We had the mind control from that um, that was from the Stolen Magician. So, yeah, there's that mind control that's going to. Yeah, that's right. They did have mind control for the longest time. Yeah, effectively going to strip off the last Chaos Monster that Insidious has. So, yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, and Sidious is now on the back foot. It was looking pretty good for them, but not going to be able to uh, yeah. wrap up the game here, even though Masakata was at 450. There's Dekoichi. If that was a Faith, that would have been really big. Could have just flipped up the mind control again, but there's a mind control of their their own here, just drawn yeah. from the Dekoichi, and that should be the game. Unless it's like Cyber Jar and they decide to flip it. <laughs> yes. so going into game yeah. three here so both teams are playing in the game threes Templi and Gibbonation are playing on the other on the other uh, table for this matchup So, Team Goat Money still needs to win a match here. Damage Step is on match point in both games.
uh, cities of course in Mexico first. Um, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. There's not um, a lot of decks that want to go second in the uh, in the goat format here. Well, yeah, I think uh, it's yeah. I think in general, a lot of decks to go unless you're playing some sort of go second build and cover format, which is a completely different ball game. <laughs> yeah, a lot of players do to go first, and yeah, I think I think it's something like. If it's comparable to chess at all, then a lot of people, kind of like, whoever goes first normally tends to win more frequently, but I guess, uh, yeah. I guess that's one of the great things about playing goat format is that, is that you can, you, you can always, you don't have to go first and you always have that chance of making a really good comeback if you make the right sorts of reads. So Insidious just started with a uh, with a set card. Masakata responded with a T set. DD Warrior Lady was the set here instead of just something and poking, and it got an Opalman. Tribe came in for sixteen, and now tried attacking into Roulette Barrel. Let's see if uh, Insidious wants to get rid of it. So Insidious is going to use Thunder Dragon first, find the other two, and then probably discard one of the Thunder Dragons that they searched yeah, and to deal with this Roulette Barrel. Yeah, Masakato is short cutting here. <laughs> Already put it um, in the graveyard. And another set here from Masakato. Breaker the Magical Warrior going to try to break this back row, and it hits the Mirror Force. Really great pickup from Breaker. But is it going to is he going to slam in? Is is he going to slam? It's into probably spine? yeah. <laughs> so that's so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> and there it is. I was going to say, does he slam into his spine? And lo and behold, here's here's that great kid's spy. So I guess yeah, I guess he's going to he's going to pitch and pop. All the spellcasters, but it does put it does dark. Put the dark in the graveyard for Chaos Monster. Yeah. Um, having said that, though, um, like if if Mascardo had had some trap cards, he'd probably have set them by now. So, I, I, or he's probably saving the trap cards for trying not to get them blown away. But it's, I think the only one we've seen so far is that Mill Force. So I think I suspect it's a trap light hand. What do you think, Mascus? Uh, I mean, it could be a number of things. It just could be a bunch of monsters. Could be he wanted to yeah. conserve more traps. Didn't want to set yeah. them all down at, at, at the start. Yeah. We'll soon find out though if he's gonna. Yeah, Insidious is checking his graveyard to see if he what to see if he wants anything to be hit by Kaku. He's probably debating: Am I gonna book a moon or am I going to play Brutal? Although I guess I guess in a last ditch attempt you probably flip the mirror force if you don't want anything banished, which could come to come back to bite you given that return plots a bunch of monsters, but if you need those monsters in grave then you probably have, have to go for it. <laughs> and let's see what you let's see what Insidious opts to do. So he's thinking long and hard about what they want to do versus the breaker. I'm sorry, the Kaiko. <laughs> I'm looking at breaker yeah, in the graveyard. Probably that's probably why he was thinking, uh, I don't know what to discard here. <laughs> yeah, both the Thunder Dragons are gone, so. Yeah. I want to discard the least valuable card and have to decide what that is. There's a set from Masakado. And 
Yeah, CB is just going for damage. I think I'm gonna have to refresh my journey book because this um this left point bug is annoying me. <laughs> So after the attack, passing it back, Mazzucato is just going to set a monster. And how will Insidious respond? Looks like just going to battle after setting a card first. That's going to be the third spy. Let's see if Insidious wants to use Tribe Infecting Virus's effect here. I wouldn't be surprised if he just opts to go right. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it again. So this didn't opt to get rid of the Gravekeeper Spy. This is probably the first time I've seen Triumph Infecting Virus sticking on the field for a good few turns. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess let's see, let's see how oh, let's see how this pans out. So this Drew for turn is thinking now. And this is a this is a three v three event, and because of this, uh, you are allowed to discuss with your teammates plays that you might want to make. So the, a little bit of extra time is is granted for the players uh, before making decisions. Now, obviously, they still have to play at a reasonable rate; they can't just stall forever. <laughs> but uh, you are allowed to consult with your teammates and take a little bit when thinking on a play. Yeah, I was going to say as long as as long as you're not not holding up play significantly, but I think that's that's for the judge to decide. <laughs> I was I was going to say having played Sidious, he, he normally does take his time. When he needs to do yeah, and Sidious is a very methodical player. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm I'm not going to say I'm playing too slow <laughs> in this case. Um, yeah, I'm see hitting that ring. Um, could, could, yeah, I think at this stage, if you're Masakado, you're obviously holding up for Chaos Monster, and you you're getting that you're getting more Chaos Fodder, <laughs> you're getting more lights in the grave at this rate. So yeah, yeah, see. but you're not you're not really advancing anything. Yeah, that is true. You get your Shining Angel here. They could just discard anything. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Insidious could decide. Oh, I'm going to just. Keep pressuring as he has been doing since turn one. He's just gone right. I'm, I'm summoning this tribe, and we keep pressuring you with this tribe. You have to answer it. And it's it so happened that Masakado hasn't really drawn a, something that can deal with 
the tribe and that's exactly what he's done he's just going right i'm just going to pop all your monsters and because i know that you can't really deal with it unless you flop a chaos monster now that your mill force is gone <laughs> Yeah, he's two attacks away from yeah, securing the um, duel here with Tribe Infecting Virus. All these attacks seem to be going through. Masakata's got to find something here. This is match point. I believe Tenfly lost. So match point for both players. Wow, coming right down to the, to the end. So are we going to see that Chaos Monster? <laughs> are we just going to go right? Because, yeah, Masakado has to take some action now. Otherwise, he's just two tribe, tribe attacks away from losing. <laughs> I'm thinking here. They do have lights and darks. I mean, the Chaos Monster could be imminent. They really suck if they have to. I mean, that tribe's put in so much work for Insidious that... Yeah. Uh, I think Insidious is just waiting for the moment There could where... be another Kaiko, but he, he would have just slammed it and tried to attack. Yeah. He's just deciding... Yeah, um, <laughs> probably have to. It's interesting that it. it's interesting that he Insidious keeps using Tribe and discarding cards like Metamorph and it just discarded Book of Moon to just clear off the monsters from the board. Yeah. Maybe we saw Mobius game two here from from uh, Masakato, so maybe they're trying to play around Mobius or something. Just keep a monster off the board. And if they did have to, if they wanted to summon Mobius, they'd have to, like, I don't know, return yeah. from the different dimension is something back? Yeah. I guess you no, could, like, no. Chaos and then banish the the tribe and then summon Mobius. Yeah. Well, maybe he's got, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, if there was a scapegoat somewhere. But, I mean, I guess as well, don't leave the Shining Angel on field so that, so that Mazakata can't go crash. And try his luck with roulette bell as well, I guess as well. <laughs> I know, I know, it's, you have to roll a four, but some people decide oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my luck here and roll, and they do manage to roll that four. Yeah, you're one in six chance. All right, you get two rolls, right? So one in six still. <laughs> yeah, I think no, nah, the, 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 he's. I don't think not being that. <laughs> you just need a sign of light, yeah. I mean, this is the most important thing. That, I mean, like, um, Insidious might have been... T took a while. Um, <laughs> they could take a while as well. No, it's not It's not that. I, I think it's not a problem if you keep saying to your opponent, I'm still thinking about it. Though I think the big issue is when you don't say anything and you just think for a long time and you're like, you're not giving your opponent the signal that... <laughs> yeah, yeah, about. yeah. I think that's that's what it all comes down to at the end of the day. Is yeah, it's just communicating because otherwise you just take what five minutes and say nothing. Then it's like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, I'm not gonna. So <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit surprised that that the chaos monster has been flopped. And we do see the Chaos Monster flop, but which one is it? I, I, I think it's it's just they were trying to assess the risk in summoning the Chaos Monster here. Especially because wow. it's VLS. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think if you're Manscada, you have to take action. Otherwise, that tribe's just going to do what it's been doing this whole game, which is... So someone's successful just... asking, asking for Pryo here. Depending on if you want to banish or not. So using priority, get a banish. 
Wow. Banishing itself. Oh. So that's a huge signal. <laughs> that he's looking for a big push. Oh, there we go. Okay, fine. So he's he's thinking. Yeah. So instead, he's probably thinking, oh, "I'm gonna flop torrential here." And now we know why Masakado is is banishing the BLS because outside of return, he's going to drop that blade knight onto the field and swing for a big. Yeah, they went they went a little too fast because they just kind of banished on itself, and then yeah, exactly. He could use the. So now this is awkward. Yeah, now this is awkward. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if if Insidious had some combination torrential goats. I think it's a likely combination. Yeah, I think Insidious just lets this one go, knowing that knowing that the opponent's got um got BLS. No, this is likely to have return set, so that Blade Knight's going to be summoned, and I think Insidious is probably going to let the attack go through if he's. Now that he's seen the, or he might decide I'm gonna to flip torrential here. We'll soon find out. There's no, they should not flip torrential here if they have yeah, it. They shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They shouldn't. So if, go ahead. So, wow. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I he, think Masakado probably got. That's a. Got, um, th this line is this line is very indicative that like it's telling Insidious that they have returned from the different dimension. Yeah. It just is. It's it's like do, does Insidious put him the other back row on having, on being solemn judgment and can he play through that still? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's likely to be returned solemn, but I think, I, I guess I guess that's. If that were me, I'd probably do the safer play and try not. I'm just not it. sure what Masakado is playing around by banishing the own his own BLS. Nah, I like I think you should just. I think you should just attack or. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like he's. It's, it's like like he's I guess you want the extra three thousand for the return because what you got. Fifteen, fourteen. That's twenty nine. 30, no, no, 47, just, and then no, it's just 74, seven, yeah, 77 in the banner zone now. Yeah. Just about. I just, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some, com I wouldn't be surprised if, if we saw return flipped and then Yeah, you could, I think they want to flip on. return here. We're going to see a torrential in response, most likely. And... Yeah, a solemn the torrential, and then maybe like a scapegoat to save Insidious' yeah. life. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's see, we're gonna see torrential scapegoat from Insidious and return solemn from Masakata, so let's see. <laughs> and I think we're seeing a little bit more discussion. Yeah. Wow. Yes, yeah, there's, so there's that return. There's return. Gonna go down to 16 here. So it seems thinking I'm not gonna flip the scapegoats here, but it's probably probably just a ploy as always. Just as he as he's been doing, as he's been doing since the Blade Knight summon, think just just to. I think Insidious has something. something. I, I think he's got to have something here. Looks like it's going to go through. So are we going to see Torrential? Yeah. This is a lot of damage coming through. For sure. 
What else could Insidious have, though, if he, like, doesn't have Torrential Goat? Well, there's Torrential. Okay. So... There is that Torrential. Solemn Judgment. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. So, are we gonna see Scapegoat? Or, no, could it even be Mirror Force? I didn't realize... No, Mirror Force is gone, I thought. Oh, it is, it isn't gone. It could be Mirror Force. Oh, it's Regeki Break! Okay. Wow. Discarding Regeki Tsukiyomi. Break. So this will keep Insidious alive. But does Insidious have a Chaos Monster? No, he doesn't, because Kaiku is going to banish all the darks in the grave, and... It's going to take 47 here. Can banish both the darks with Kaiko, yeah. I'm surprised he went... Oh, yeah. Um, he could Regeki break the Kaiku. I think you want to... I think that's... 30... It's already um 29 with that on board. 30... 59. And he took 400 already. I forget what he was at before. It looks yeah. like he's just going to end phase. So, so, oh, just showed him the snatch whoa. steal. I was, gonna, I was gonna say. Pot whoa. agreed off the top as well. Wow. Oh, I was, I was actually gonna say, does he have the snatch steal? And he just flops it to the field. Wow. Jeez, jeez, Louise had another blade knight in the hand. Ooh. and so a great, yeah. a, a great array. I think, I think both players are taking their time there just to, to play around as much as possible. But. Wow. Excellent wow. game between the two. Yeah. I think I think instead of showing showing how how he's how he's always played and yeah. Stamchef is gonna move game. on in winner's side. Let's um let's stay here in round two for the time being. And let's take a look here. Who's on Team Rampage? So Team Rampage entered here with on two separate teams. Uh, team Rampage number two here is going off against find the thingamajig. It's Team Ring of Destruction. So Team Rampage number two, it's Carl Wait on it, John Wick and Krebs six one nine. I'm not sure who's still playing on that one. Looks like Carl. So we're going to see Carl versus Randage join it here. Looks like they're mid-match. Carl is up one game. Hmm. Okay. So let's see, let's see what Randage is going to be on that. Wow. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I guess it's up to you as a as a if you're a chaos turbo player, you've got the decision to make between um between ring blast and regeki break. Um between MMF on between ring blast. And now Pokemon is going to stop. Pokemon is going to set the breaker. Wow, Pro Heavy is gonna wipe the back rows and Tomato's going to attack over the Mars gonna take over the breaker. It's <laughs> just hitting double Book of Moon. Wow, that's... Flipping back up, is gonna get, like, Nobleman in the graveyard? Oh, there's a Nobleman. I'm gonna get Podigree instead, just draw two cards. Yeah, just draw more cards. Yeah, because it's breaker set, isn't it? Um... Yeah, so let's, let's see. I think... I wouldn't be surprised if Carl had Book of Moon of his own. Just bring... Go ahead and... Wow, Reaper's gonna summoning Reaper. Okay. Yeah, Carl, just going right. I'm I'm so far ahead. I you need to draw the heavy storm. Just poke for six hundred. I wouldn't be surprised if there's Book of Moon behind it. Yeah, see it. Reaper is not going to pluck something out of the hand. But he's going to to poke for some damage and put um yeah put Randage into a position where he has to set his cards. Oh, we could, we could walk into him, Book of Moon, grab back every storm at some stage. Right. 
interesting. I guess they just were like, I'll, I'll do it this way, but... I'm gonna get Flame Ghost instead of the Knight. Yeah. I guess that's fine, because it's like... You're losing, you're losing 200, but... You're getting a Dark instead. Yeah, I was going to mention, mention that. Oof. Green Sentry. That's... We did have Torrential before, we don't have it yeah. now. Huh. Carl going all in. I guess yeah, I guess that <laughs> Why didn't why right. didn't they just make the knight? Yeah. Yeah, Dragon Less two hundred anyway. I guess I guess that's what happens. Um Yeah. Isn't I'd be interested to see if, if Carl is running goats. But I sus I suspect Uh, oh, you know, if they made the knight, it's a warrior. So, I guess if... But there's no way that they're going to draw a tribe into, like, another card unless they get, like, pot of greed and then tribe. But... <laughs> you never know, the cost of the cards. It is what it is, yeah. <laughs> uh, which chaos ones are we going to see? BLS? <laughs> <It's> the... <laughs> there was the tribe, so he was one card off. So maybe that was the right play for doing it, though. But that was definitely funny by Randage there. To uh... oh my my fault, my fault. I read the dueling book wrong. So it looks like this is game three. Hey, hey, Zach. So yeah, I've got, I've got, um, got guys Zach on on voice chat now. <laughs> so yeah, um, how have you finding these games so far? Um, pretty good. I've been quite entertained. Highlight has been banish a light and dark for tribe infecting virus for game. You know. Yeah, shame, shame. Bandage didn't have a pot of greed. That would be just <laughs> quite epic. No, that would have been really good if he had pot. Yeah, but I guess I guess playing around and not having that not flopping dragoness worked out in the long run. Um, yeah. Yep. I'll be back. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a quick, quick drink whilst um, whilst we wait for everyone to sign up. I think what's been interesting so far is that all the um, more well-known players, um, yeah, have found that they have actually been taking their time with a lot of things, and they've actually been taking good advantage of being able to discuss with teammates. They're not they're not holding up the play too much, but also 
King. Yeah, when you have that option to, I don't think you want to um, make a play that you're, if you're not confident about a play and you have the option to ask your team, um, I think you should take that ad advantage that you, you have there that uh, this format provides. Yeah. Well, yeah, this particular structure is, is good. Yeah. See it all the time from the team YCSs. There's a meta behind how you place your teams. Someone in the middle who knows the combo deck the best. <laughs> Explain it to the other two players. <laughs> don't get me started on modern combo. <laughs> uh, don't, don't talk about modern combos. It's just... So, uh... <laughs> crypto shoot here. Yeah. After Randage yeah. just set a, a monster. Take a look at... Take a peek at Carl's hand. Gets to put a monster back. So hopefully we'll get a uh, a reveal, or at least Randage will write down what's in the hand for us. Looks like we're putting back a Magician of Faith. Yeah, it's interesting that. And I'm picking oh, virus coming down. Oh, there's tribe. A card. I'm going to go in and just swing with the tribe. And let's see if the tribe's going to stick around in this game as much as. Um. Oh, Carl reading, reading that as a Tsukuyomi and it ends up being a Captain. <laughs> very uh, very uh, weird to read it as Tsukuyomi, but okay. Don't don't yeah. worry, everyone. It's Sinister Serpent's hidden text. <laughs> I was going to say that, was, is this tribe going to stick around for as long as it did, it, as we saw Insidious Color? <laughs> you thought you were slick. <laughs> 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 yeah, just... Yeah, Randage going right. You you thought I said that Tsukuyomi. But no. <clears throat> so let me have a look see who else is on Randage's team. I'm, I've, I mean, I've, yeah, is this is. Um, so we've got um, MD96 and. We've got in the chat, and then we've got Ivan, Ivan Flores um, on Carl's team, and Crab six six one nine on Carl's team as well. So we, <laughs> yeah, everyone just joining in if they have won their games, and yeah. Let's see what manager set this time around. We might actually find out. Nope. Carl going to pop the back row. Discarded a Chaos Sorcerer from that. I think Carl has is guessing that's good serpent. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't serpent, but Carl's assuming it is a serpent. Yeah, I mean yeah, just attacking into it. Just Carl just swinging for the damage. Interesting that Carl just goes for it. Carl's like, nah, I'm not. I'm not going to. Res res I'm just going to play as if you just set the serpent. He's just gone, attack, attack, attack. And so I mean, he's all poor, okay. so he's just going to call it, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, you bluff me before. I'll, you'll bluff me again. I'm just going to call it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Plus, you really haven't seen anything else from uh, Randage at this point. You've just seen the uh, single serpent as of right now. Yeah, and and Vandish knows what's what the other cut. Well, outside of the two that got drawn off Pot of Greed, Vandish knows what else is in is in Carl's hand. So, yeah. Oh, there's a Jura priest. So that's um, Carl. That's yeah, it's presumably a safe attack there after the the dust shoot, even though the Pot of Greed kind of muddles it a, a little bit. Yeah. And just a pass back from Carl, so Yomi there, not able to come down. Priest again. Yeah, Priest is very strong here, uh, in particularly in this scenario, because you just get to summon it, poke, goes back to the hand. So 
your opponent can't really respond to it because it's in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> On their turn. Only, the, only real answers are Regeki Break, Mill Horse, and Ring. Yeah, you gotta use either a Battle Trap or... Book. Or book plus monster. Yeah, or, you, or you have to book it and then do something on your turn to it. And there's that mirror oh, force. Oh, there's mirror force. Yeah, acting like a Sakuretsu <laughs> armor here. Not ideal for mirror force, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe maybe it was in the hand for... Dash it. Well, we won't know because... Um, we won't know because uh, the hand didn't get tapped up. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if Randish knew that from the Dash shoot. And that's, that's one of the things about Trap Dash shoot is that you, a player being affected by trap dash, you probably will never get a lot of value out of out of you. You got to use your um use your cards as a one for one removal in those spots. Uh, when there's destruction, is going to protect the set monster from well, that noise. It had been a couple turns since dust shoot resolves. If yeah, if Randage did see mirror force off a of dust shoot, they were fine with them getting mirror force. Yeah, exactly. from the uh from the Assure priest to begin with. Oh, looks like it's either Carl is on Chaos Control or he's sided into. He either sided in this, the goats. We saw the meta earlier um, yeah, in the last game. Wow, Randage is going all in. And BLS. <laughs> oh, there, there's BLS. And he's. Get rid of Dark uh, Mimic. So are we going to see a meta for. Wow, Randage just going. Like, we know there's a Tsukiyomi in the hand. So this is excellent because we have Tsukiyomi in the hand for Carl here. It's gonna be able to deal with the um this meta is gonna be able to deal with BLS yeah. by s turning a token into Thousand Ice Strix, sucking uh the BLS up. Yeah. And bit... if they ever want to get rid of the BLS, they have Tsukiyomi to turn it off. So. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a shame from Randage's part is that he is that I guess he he didn't want to take he didn't want to take too many chances. Here. Yeah, I I can see because Potter Greed was in the graveyard, they didn't want a faith to resolve. Yeah. They already put a faith back with Dust Shoot. Dust Shoot. Right. So. And are we going to say Tsukuyomi of. Is Randish going to have a Tsukuyomi of his own? Is the question. Or does Carl have the means to deal with the Snatch Seal? Well, Carl could, but. He's yeah, asking just... for target. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean. It's obvious, but he still wants, he still wants, um, he still wants confirmation, right? because obviously, obviously I could go, yeah, that's exactly what Carl's done. Yeah, this is, Oof. it's not ideal because you set that play up that you wanted to set your guy back and then yeah. flip it up, because you, you, you've set that monster on purpose, right? Like, that yeah, I guess... is a monster that you wanted to set. Yeah, I I wouldn't be surprised if that was a faith, but n now Ramage coming down with his own Tsukuyomi as... And... I think he's just gonna attack. He's pretty... Ramage is pretty safe to attack at this stage. Is he gonna... Looks like he might be dropping another Chaos Monster, or he's looking for something to get get back to. Or probably have a faith set, you never know. Let's see. <laughs> There's the faith. He's... Yeah, no. gonna take a look here, get meta oh, back. Meta. Yeah, grab meta. Yeah. No no risk here. Mill force is gone. Um I think Randage is gonna set book. Although he's gonna go for the meta play. Sealed set monster. And that puts Carl has to have, well, here's the thing, Carl has to have Book of Moon, but if he plays Book of Moon here, he's just going to end up... Yeah, exactly Book of Moon would be good. Yeah, exactly Book of Moon. And there's the book. It was exactly Book of Moon. I mean, I guess that probably is the faith, but I wouldn't be surprised if... Oh, Sangen is going to... I'm surprised he... If you've got Sangen set, I guess he's... I guess I guess when I guess Carl's pushing for damage, but I'm a bit surprised he used his book. Maybe he's. Um, I mean, there's there's a different option that you could have did. You could have let that resolve. Use book on yeah. your turn, get the Sangan search, and then uh, search with Sangan and attack. But I think in this spot, 
if you're Carl, you probably want to. You want that Sangun to resolve. For sure. It's just a matter of. I think Carl did it this way because they wanted to guarantee the magician of Faithless Kid was going off the board. Because they saw Sukiyomi, so they don't want the soup loop to continue. Yeah, um, yeah. It is a little I bit awkward because not... Thousand Eyes is up, so. Yeah. I, well, they I could think... just summon Sukiyomi and, like, and pass, right? And, like, set the, the faith, then summon Sukiyomi again. Yeah. Set the. Haiku. Haiku coming down to support the Thousand Eyes to stop it getting banished from Chaos Monsters unless Carl's got an out to the Kaiku. Oh, there's no lights. I mean, I guess so. I guess that's in trouble. And there's Thunder Dragon from Carl. Oh, yeah, there's I'm, a light. He's a bit. I'm a bit surprised from Carl, but. Um, oh, come on. The way he played that, I was reading that monster as a magician, so. Uh, yeah. Carl's got two Thunder Dragons and a blank in his hand. Well, and an unknown, I should say. What? Wow. <laughs> Is that the fate? Because that would be pretty rough if, if that was. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Well, I, I guess it's not. I don't know. If, if I were. I mean, okay, there's pot and graveyard, but like, there's pot book and book meta and and goats in in Carl's graveyard, and but I'm not really sure if I'm right. Okay, there's good targets, but I don't think it hurt you in the long in the long run. It's just a bit unfortunate, and it would have been nice for Carl I, to be able to. I think Carl really general. wanted to resolve another pot of grief. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, yeah. I agree with you guys there. Yeah. Nomen was very strong there. Uh, and I mean, yeah, another yeah. option could have been that if Randage wanted, didn't have the, the Nomen, they do have Sukiyomi in the hand, so they could have used Sukiyomi, reset the the Thousand Eyes, and just take the face down yeah, if they were that concerned with it. Yeah. But I now think... it's just poking in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think one of the risks of going with the Sukiyomi play is that you actually give. Oh, the chunk. If he ran another Sukiyomi, um, which I'll probably have to have another look, if he ran another Sukiyomi, then... Dust Tornado is oh, going to just take care of this out. back row, but it was just Royal Decree, nothing to block an attack. Carl has the wow. two Thunder Dragons, we're going to reset this, and if that flip is anything, this could be lethal. Uh, exactly ring here? Oh, well, there's 29 on the board right now, so they need... Yeah, ring... Ring would definitely see the deal. What an extra Wow 13. I think I think and Randage just just backing up his just backing up his play being able to deal with the set monster next turn to 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 meta or deal with multiple monsters if Carl did somehow manage to get multiple monsters on board. Thirty two yeah, getting rid of light and, and the thing and then ring, you had to bring a destruction there, there main phase two. Yeah, that also works. Yeah, even even this, uh, the set moth was just added, but yeah, Kaiku magician, Kaiku Sukiyomi wing is ready, is ready to game in shot and yeah. So take a look here. Up, I'm not up. sure if there is a uh, the other matches going on there. Let me take a look. The teams. So Team Brian Page 2 was John Wick and Krebs. Let's see if I can find either one of them. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, it doesn't look like it. It looks like they that might have been the last game between those uh yeah. two teams. So Team Ring of Destruction moving on, it seems like. Hmm, interesting. That's, I'm gonna see if they've actually Let's see if, if they're... So I'm, I'm having a quick look. I think when having up to confirm...
the ring of destruction confirmed. Let's see if I can find. So where is it? Okay, so yeah, that looks like what is going on. Ring of destruction moving on. Let me try to find these other teams here. Who's on the ring of destruction? It looks like it's. Doesn't look like that is who's there. So yeah. Um... Bling. Um... <coughs> There's a team in here called Ring of Destruction and a team that's also Bling of Destruction. <laughs> Yo, that, that's a good name. <laughs> doesn't look Bling like of Bling of Destruction is playing, however. Uh, looks like they are. Um, so this is still Winter Side Round Two. Game three between Loa from Ring of Destruction, or sorry, Bling of Destruction team, Bling of Destruction. versus who are they going up against here? Yu Yu, um, um Sick. I don't know how to pronounce team it. Team Follow Online Tournament Series, I think this is. Their name. Yeah, yeah. The um OTS. The OTS um, team, Online yeah. Tournament Series. The the Italian bunch. Um. They, yeah, they, they hold they hold tournaments every now and again, and I think, yeah, this is the yeah, Interesting to see Magic Jam is coming from Wawa, um, but I'm not, not interesting at all. Well, interesting in the sense that interesting in the sense that um, you know, um, I guess Chaos Turbo is what? no, he's Ghost. <laughs> yeah, um, wow, Snake. Snake. Well, so so what happened here is that they summoned the BLS against Solemn, and then summoning Sinister Serpent to attack here. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, so. Obviously, I don't have access to deck list, but what what was on the winning team um, of the last GFC that that um, was the three v three. So I wonder if they're using that same build that got them to the finals and ultimately won them the, the the tournament. Well, yeah, but yeah, it looks that's... like looks like it was a. Uh, could have been a goat control variant. We didn't see any Thunder Dragons from Wawa's side, but he was able to defeat, play through three solemn judgments. It seems like to secure their team the win. That's join yeah, that that's game right at the think. end. But we'll um hmm. we'll stick around with Bling of Destruction as they go up against. Uh, actually, we're gonna move on to a different team. How about how about team getting Mark to Worlds? Looks like they're. They have a single goal in mind, is to get user Mark to Worlds. <laughs> and let's see if we can find Mark themselves. So, so looks like they're going up against... Let's see here. The Eradication team. This is going to be winners round three. And Mark playing on the LRG Sigma account. It's good against Viking4894 here. So it looks like they have some Dragon Chaos Control. Let's see what um yeah, let's see what Mark is on. Probably some sort of solemn based deck if 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 Yeah, it's game two, so I suspect I suspect Viking four eight nine four has seen some a bunch of trap cards from Mark's end and feels that he needs to side in the world at least. Dark Mimic here. Yeah, Dark I'm gonna Mimic. draw an extra card for Viking. Let's have a look. Heavy Storm going back. There's Solemn Judgment. Mark's gonna pay for it. Hot agreed afterwards. Oh. I'm surprised he's gone, gone down this route and just gone right up here to not let. Yeah, I guess I guess since um, Viking Four Eight Nine Four is got locked. 
themselves. Although the Thunder Dragon is going to be nice to apply apply some damage. Um, but yeah, yeah drop and mark down to 24 here at the, the, the Solemn. Yeah, this is the thing where Vox realized that oh, my opponent's goat locked themselves. And is he going to. I don't know what he's. Yeah, he's going to try to go for the two for one. Swing over the breaker. And not going to work out, unfortunately. I, not too bad, I I think. I mean, I mean, it's not too bad when when the um, Chaos Control players filled up their monster zones. And I guess it works out for Mark in, in the long run because. Like, like, but he does go for the middle force, which for me indicates he doesn't really have an out to, to the Thunder Dragon. Well, one Thunder uh, Dragon still in the hand. Delinquent duo now. I feel wow. like he's just catching a lot of good cards here in this yeah. game, too. I mean, I, at one stage, I would say that goat locking the goat locking the um, Chaos Control player would be good, but the Mark having to mirror force that Thunder Dragon means that he doesn't really have. He can't, he's decided. He's just realized he can't afford to take any more hits. Well, it was off from the Solemn. Like, you didn't need the Solemn, right? Yeah, I guess I guess you could say that too. Like, now, now the duo's gone and ripped out a nobleman from hand. So, I. No, no, you just. No, he's just opening him. Mox just left himself Yeah, you're, open. you're free to set, which is going to happen here for Viking. I wouldn't be surprised if that were the Magician. Here's, here's the thing, though. Like, oh yeah, he's got another Thunder Dragon. And so it's not as if he can't, you know, clear the Magician from the field. And he can start going again and start poking for damage if, if he's able to get the break off the field. Hmm. A sure priest would be really good if if Mark has it. I, I yeah, I think Mark's understood situation. He's trying to keep that keep the field goat locked, but it doesn't matter because Sangen's going to grab that magician of faith if he doesn't have it. If Viking doesn't have it already, although yeah, but now now you just now Viking doesn't really have a means of. Ungoat locking himself. Yeah, he does. What? Okay, now he does. He's got metas. Well, he yeah, should have. He could have just Crap. switched the token to attack and attacked into the breaker. Took sixteen and then yeah, got rid okay. of his own token okay. that way if he if he really needed to. Um, yeah. So it kind of was a bad play by by Mark if he wanted to keep um, the goat lock going by even flipping the breaker to begin with. Um, I mean, they knew Thunder Dragon was in the hand. So if that was a flip effect monster and they were able to, you know, like resolve a, a draw one with Dark Mimic or uh, get Pot of Greed back with Fate, then they're kind of forcing them to summon the other Thunder Dragon to deal with the Breaker. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, and a Graceful Charity here is just going to find more cards for Viking. It's not a great think... position for, for um, yeah. Mark, unfortunately. Just one BLS was... away. Yeah, I think that was worth from the top, if I'm not mistaken. But even then, it's like, you know... Yeah, getting rid of the extra goat. Here's Kaiko, yeah, and this can take over the game as well. Just having that free slot there, as long as it's like a good enough monster. He's just got to banish... I'm surprised he's gone for the lights, um, because we know that we know that Mark's got two Thunder Dragon in hand, so I think... Yeah, I it think probably would have been better just to hit the darks. Out. Yeah, it would be... <laughs> I was going to say that... I was gonna say that be correct to banish Tsukuyomi instead of the Thunder Dragon. But Mark has an out. Yeah, he's got tribe. There's the tribe. Yeah, just But now be a yeah, I guess I guess if um Mark's got a Thunder Dragon in hand, what's what Let's see what he's he's done to yeah. But now now here's the here's where not banishing that Sukiyomi. I I guess never mind. <laughs> here's where banishing that Sukiyomi would have actually come in handy. I think Mark might consider well, solemn judgment here. But... Yeah, I mean you 
Or Wing Blast. That that works too. Wing Blast will keep the uh, the tribe around. This way you can flip it back up and get rid of the goats finally. Yeah, but yeah, you can clear all the goats, but I don't know, like that Kaku's coming back. I guess you're not clearing all the goats because you're getting noblemen. Yeah, you're not clearing all the goats. But yeah, that that's the one thing about Wing Blast where if you're in this sort of position, you you kind of you kind of want to deal with the kaiku, but spinning it away is well. Yeah, this is where this is where banishing the Tsukuyomi comes up. Where you? Where yeah, he he definitely Tsukuyomi misplayed by not banishing um, the darks. Yeah, I think Mark is is just going to sit pretty, unless. Unless it's dangerous there's... though because they're they're sitting at six hundred. They still need to deal with the goats to actually win the game. Yeah, and, so they and have to do it at some point. Vikings graveyard is loaded. Yeah, their graveyard's loaded. It's not like they can't summon a chaos monster to deal with to deal with yours. And you had to burn the mill, and you burned the mill force early, because you because you took yeah. eight, four thousand. Yeah, from you, your own you solemn. Paid... Tribe of his own, they're gonna get rid of the uh, soul. Yeah, and he could discard Tribe to get his uh, goats off the field. But does he see the play? I he think in this position, if you're, if you're Mark. Well, I don't think you wanna do it just yet because you're. Yeah. You wanna keep your stuff, and if they have something like like Snatch to take your tribe, you wanna force them to use uh, Snatch on your, your own goats. I think if you're, yeah, if you're Viking, you just attack. Yeah, not electing to pick it up, just in case of dust shoot, you don't want to get rid of, uh, reveal any, like, sideboard information when you don't have to. I mean, we knew two cards in hand, any, we knew two cards from hand for Viking's hand because yeah. of, the of the wing blast. We, kn we knew he had Serpent and Kaiku is just that. Well, Serpent card. was in the graveyard. We knew oh. Kaiku, at least. So if you added back the Serpent, Mark probably, like, I don't know, he could have activated dust shoot. And saw cards think, that like potentially were in the side. Yeah, I think I think that was right. You just just attack because the middle force brings dead anyway. Yeah, it, it's more of like add not adding it back there was more of like an information play <laughs> where you just don't want them to have information that they wouldn't have otherwise. You know. Well, yeah, that was that was quite interesting. I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I feel like Mark overvalued the the fault. mirror force that was set early. And then also overvalued goat locking his opponent, but it did help that his I opponent think... used Pot of Greed, Graceful, and <laughs> Ring of Destruction. Yeah. Their yeah, uh, and the Liquid Duo versus them, like yeah, it was guess, a rough position I... to come back from. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit unusual. I guess, I guess what it came down to is Solomon on the pot, and that. That put Mark on the. Really well, it's on the heavy storm. I, I thought it's the pot. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see how. Let's see. Plays this. It's normally. Yeah. <laughs> Mark opens up the door. Let's. Mark just picking a card in a hand. Which I like. I don't like using. I'm personally not a fan of doing book die. Wow! <laughs> and he hit the... oh. Huge snipe <laughs> from Delinquent Duo. That, that, that's, that's a huge hit. But now, I, I, if you're Mark, we... well, Sinister, I guess... Sinister kind of like makes it a little bit better for Viking side, uh, but you're still not. You're still not happy that your pot of greed got sniped. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And yeah. now, now discarding this thunder dragon here, Mark knows half the hand. So do well, we. Yeah, I mean, effectively, effectively playing with three cards, unless you set the serpent, isn't it? If you, if you want to count it that way. Now they know three cards in the hand, two back rows from Viking side. Mark could flip up this faith here, get the duo back. The duo is not going to be as strong, so he'll try to heavy storm first. I get mean, a goat. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Um... 
Welcome to the pick up there. The Koichi is going to give yeah, a card. Koichi instead. Uh, Upstart Goblin, draw another card. This is this is cast up with its its thing. Over. It's looking like it. Thunder Dragons from Mark's side. So Mark is safe in the knowledge that that the Vikings got Sister Serpent and two cards to work with because those Thunder Dragons aren't really going to be doing anything until. Yeah, that's the that's the thing about Thunder Dragon. It's it's really good when it's good, right? It turns on other cards like in conjunction, like Charity. It's really good with clearly all the discard traps. It's really great with. But when you don't have those cards, it doesn't really do that much. That's 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 one of the reasons why. And this is such a this is such a weird you. play from Viking. They knew that they yeah. had the the Thunder Dragons. Thunder Dragons in the hand, and they were just trying to like snipe out of them. What's weird when you do this is that you know that you're gonna be hitting a Thunder Dragon like guaranteed because they're gonna discard it off like their own discard for duo. So you're just kind of yeah. gambling to try to hit something else important. And if you hit the other Thunder Dragon, it's just, it's not going to work out for you. And that's exactly what happened there. They just got rid of the two Thunder Dragons in the hand and paid a thousand for no reason. Now, they got the thousand back here from Upstart Goblin, but that's that Upstart Goblin true. was essentially free. You, you, that's the thing, like, you, it's one of the things that we, we learn as we play more of the deck. I wouldn't be surprised if that were an actual monster, given that Viking did not shuffle the hand, I, I'm i pretty confident it's something yeah, good. Viking, Viking seems like they're making kind of, I don't know if it's if it's nerves here, but it's sort of like how do I put this? It's kind of like day one mistakes where you're just like learning the the ins yeah, and outs yeah. of playing, especially on Dueling Book. Yeah. And yeah, new card, Magician of Fate. Is it, it was something good? Well, you and gotta get back Pot of Greed. Yeah, you have to get back Pot of Greed. But yeah, this is the thing though, like... I guess you gotta go for Pot of Greed, and that puts you to Sinister Serpent and four cards, working with four cards. Um, I well, think Mox... If, you're, if one of these cards that you draw off of Pot of Greed is Graceful Charity, it, it turns the whole duel around. Except you're gonna get um, Solemn ooh, Judgment here. Solemn Judgment. Yeah, that's pretty. This is a point where you can understand if you solemn judgment the pot. Not not like last game. Well, where... he didn't solemn judgment the pot last game. Remember, he solemn judgment the heavy storm. Oh, I, sorry, that's okay. Yeah, but still, even then, it's like no. But this is still this, this is still a good where... time to solemn. Yeah, because you know what's in the hand of most of it. I, serpent, serpent set. Like I think at this point, Mark's definitely in control. Probably. Oh yeah. What's he? For sure. His duo was way better. Drew twice off of uh off of Dequichi. Drew into more oh, cards yeah. with the with the upstart. But, yeah. Hmm. He's got two face downs here. Now one of those this magician of faith. If you get back, Heavy Storm might be a good get back, but Upstart Goblin's gonna be the grab instead. Just yeah. cycle a card. Yeah, just just dig deep into the deck do what Chaos Turbo does best. But he could I mean if he had the if he had the option to, I'm pretty sure he'd he'd bank to I know he's he's got I know there's two Thunder Dragons and Potentially Serpent, which is probably why he didn't get back the duo. Yeah, there's no reason to really get back duo. You could get back heavy and just have your heavy in hand. I think, yeah, just swing. He's, he's made the read that that's something good. That, that was a great attack by Mark, because if it's not, um, the you could have attacked with Magician of Faith, right? You would have done damage to yourself if it wasn't. If like you were putting him on... Um, on Sinister Serpent, Mission of Faith would have cleared the Serpent. But attacking with the Deco instead, um, it almost guarantees that that monster is going to the Graveyard, except in this particular case where it's Sukiyomi. So, Viking doing the heads-up play by just resetting Sukiyomi. A lot of people yeah. may just set another card here, but looking at the board, it's it's just a bunch of flip effects. You don't really want to reset any of those. I was, I was going to say that Mark made... made I think he, he, he gauged... He's probably gauged how his opponent plays and made the read that the opponents kept their sinister serpent in hand, and you can see that the opponents not shuffled the hand. So I I didn't pay attention to the monster being set, but if it was straight from drawn card, then Mark knows that not to go for the duo that way. So um, yeah, just and even think... still, you're if you go for the duo and you hit the thunder dragon, like like I was saying earlier, yeah. they're gonna discard the other thunder dragon. 
yeah, the, exactly. their yeah. own discard for duo. So you're really paying a thousand life points when you're at thirty five for no reason. It's much better for for Mark to just cycle a card with with Upstart Goblin. Yeah. Um, like well, I said, Heavy Storm could have been the other option. Just a you can hold Heavy Storm in the hand, and then any back rows that they draw, kind of just not very good because you can just Heavy Storm it, whatever. So Breaker's going to run over that Sukiyomi. Yeah, now they they have an out here. It's going to try to break the back row first. That's a torrential right. tribute. Now would be a great time to play it, but looks like it's uh, Book of Moon. So going to book the Breaker sure. instead. I'm not even sure if Torrential would do any any good for Viking in this spot, given that he's got... <laughs> it would it would get rid of five up. monsters, but... <laughs> yeah, he yeah, gets rid of five monsters, but Mark's already so far ahead in terms of... He's, he's dug five cards right. deeper into his deck. If, and Graceful Charity is going to try to unlock the hand here. Yeah. We'll see if, if Mark has a Solomon response. I think if you're Mark, you probably do want to flip the Solemn here and keep that Keep those Thunder Dragons and yeah. Sinister Serpent in hand and keep it, basically force Viking to work with just one card. You're in a precarious position now. Yeah. I'm just going to go for the attack. Yeah, attack the Breaker. And this is, this is the one awkward thing about playing Upstart Goblin, I think, is that. Obviously, you're thinning your deck a lot. You're doing, you're helping the deck along, but now you've got to deal with a bunch of life points. Because the life point difference don't... is uh, is huge here. Yeah, is I don't think it's a life point difference. It's more the fact that you've got to chip away ten thousand life. Is it, it, I think it doesn't matter you, what. But life you have to chip you're... away ten thousand life while you're at seventeen fifty. You know, it. This means I'm... that. Anything small that you have on board is susceptible to just being picked off and just losing the duel. Yeah. Plus, I mean, because you have big cards that you need to like attack with, like Chaos Sorcerer or BLS, if they haven't used Ring yet, that makes Ring more deadly for for your side. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was going to actually say that. Of course, life in this instance does matter. It's amplified by the fact that Mark's so low. But normally, I would say, even ignoring what Mark's on at the moment. Just chipping away 10,000 with Chaos Turbo, it does take a while. So. <laughs> it's, it's different, though, if like you're you're at seven, 8,000 life and you have to deal yeah. with 10,000. Because you, you can still just like summon a bunch of big guys, attack, and feel fine. Now, this is great, yeah. because you can just switch all your dudes to attack here. Yeah, Mark's just going for the big swing. And yeah, this is again. 14, 14, 28, 1,000, 14. 3,000. 82. That should be 82. <laughs> so 42 plus 4,000 is eight. Yeah, is 82. So, so this yeah, I mean, is that's, where those two upstarts. That's great. He knows the cards in hand. Or at least knows two of the cards in hand. Oh, and so setting here. I would not be surprised with that Serpent. So I was going to say that was Serpent, given that he didn't shuffle the hand. But does Mark have a means to deal with... Yeah, he's got to find a, an answer to Thousand Eyes, or he's just dead here. Wing Blast could do it. Mark's having a think. Yeah, if he doesn't have, as you say... Book could do it as well. No, he's just, he's just handing over the BLS. Mirror Force but does yeah, it. Mirror Force. I'm surprised that he didn't... I'm surprised that... Um, Viking didn't attack into the Sangin, because that would, have, that is a game for me. Yeah, um, he should have just attacked in the Sangin. I don't know why he didn't. Yeah, I think, and Mark would have mill force anyway. Oh yeah, for sure. Here comes uh, Sorcerer though. Pryo on the Sangin. But now Mark's in, Mark's still in a good spot here, regardless. Because he can just... You can just summon a Chaos oh, Monster of their own. Snatch Deal is, uh, summon, is live. He has to Tribute Summon for Thunder Dragon first. If, he, if he's got Chaos Monster in hand, he has to Tribute Summon to Koichi. Uh, is there no Dark? He has no Dark. Uh, he doesn't he's have no a Thunder dark. Dragon left. He's got... Oh, I thought he had the Thunder Dragon in hand. No, he uh, duoed them all. So Tsukiyomi yeah, is going to reset one well. of them. Because he can't really crash into it. Yeah, I think Mark's 
well, given the quality, given that Mark's five cards deeper into his deck than his opponent, I think if you're Mark, you're just going to. What could that down card be for for Mark then? Could be that wing blast you were talking about, but when you just nah, wing wouldn't... blast the, the thousand eyes, yeah, yeah, you will wing blast the thousand eyes. So maybe, maybe a bluff. Viking using chaos source to get rid of the face up dark on the board and Dekoichi. There's a face down to Koichi on Mark's side. Mm. But yeah, um, Viking. Viking's got one unknown card. And he's got no dark. I assume. Actually, he does have a dark. Has a dark and Tsukiyomi of their own. Yeah, that's. The, like, I noticed that Viking had a quick glance at. At the graveyard, but I don't know if that's if that's any go on. But if he does have the chaos monster, then I think that's probably gonna wrap it up unless unless this uh, nope. Creature swap. Creature I think you go for swap. Here. Okay. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, Mark's gonna say I'm gonna think on what monster to give you. I think in this position you're definitely gonna give you. Maybe that's that's Sangen set. I don't know. Well, it's sinister. It could be serpent actually, because we know you took back the serpent. Yeah, but you took it's back interesting the serpent. that you play creature swap here, because unless you got Book of Moon or Sukiyomi, there's no reason for you to, um, no reason for you to, um, you know, play the creature swap unless you've got another Suki in hand. So, no, but you already normal summoned. You already set the monster. What they could have tried is use the sorcerer. Yeah, this is this is better for for them to just give them the Dekoichi. Um, they could have tried to use the sorcerer, right? Normal summon the the thunder dragon, attacked in the magician of faith, and then try to swap the the thunder dragon over. Yeah. Um, this way they guarantee themselves to get the Dekoichi, which is a defender, and the Sukiyomi in the hand. Um has to reset. They're still fine with taking 16 from the attack, like on Thunder Dragon, and then they just get a card back. But that gets rid of the Sorcerer, which is not ideal. So I think it, this was this was definitely an interesting play, <laughs> to say the yeah. least. Yeah. It does put Mark in a weird position, because you... you but that you gets want the faith, but you don't want to give them the faith, but you yeah. don't want to give them the Dekoichi either, because now you can like, you got the you, you let them draw a card here. You got a dark in the graveyard, which is good. Ooh, faith that's coming why. back, yeah, for the duo is really nice because this is just gonna get rid of that. It's gonna get rid of the nobleman, and we know that's a ser serpent. But this is such a weird. Okay, so that's if you did it this way, then you must either drew into the chaos, which I think that's what happened. Because so this this was so risky to do without any kind of backup, right? Because I wouldn't be I, in this position. I wouldn't be surprised if Mark had either Book of Moon or Solemn Judgment to just stop whatever gets flopped to the field. That that does nothing though. Like Mark could probably go, okay, I'll let you, I'll let you. Yeah, that does absolutely I'll nothing. You, I'll let you do that. I'll let you banish my dark, but I've still got Sukiyomi in hand to you know, just. Yeah, as 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 expected, Mark lets it go go through. He's pop, he's going to summon the Sukiyomi, set the faith, puck for, or do that. Yeah, that's that's the game. No, that makes no difference though. I'm not sure. It's the game either way. That. There 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 wasn't anything that the mind control was actually going to be able to do. Oh, I'm I'm wondering if Mark realizes that that makes no difference because it doesn't matter. It's it's game either way. <laughs> as as in. Yeah, the opponent doesn't realize that the Chaos Sorcerer hasn't changed its battle position this turn. He could have just flip summon the. I was gonna, I was gonna say yeah, that. Yeah, the opponent. <laughs> he could have did that, but it's game either way. I think yeah, Mark's so far ahead anyway. Uh, uh, it, it, it made no difference. It's just yeah, I think Mark just um, realized that the opponent wasn't gonna flip summon. The... Yeah, I, yeah, what you're saying is right. Is that you? If you book a moon that here, the the 
Um, he could just flip it back up and then use the effect again because he already yeah, but didn't do a bad position change. Tsukuyomi Magician's just going to, you know, seal the deal, isn't it, really? At the end of the day. We know Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, who, who are we... Mark did what he needed to do there and won his game. Um, let's take a look. I think that... Who else is on Mark's team? It's so Mark I just want to call back on something you had said earlier about the nerves and the weird decisions. I just also want to throw out there there's a possibility that the time zone differences could have played a role there. Because for uh, me, for example, it's 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're, both teams are in Europe, I believe. Or at least Mark's, I know, is in Europe. Um, oh, Mark's in... Mark's in... Europe, if I'm not mistaken, but his teammates are... <laughs> his teammates are not. Not. <laughs> so, we're joining here with Lucas the Heretic versus Dante. It looks like that this is game three. It seems that this is going to be a... This, the deciding game between the uh, the two teams. Let's see this. Lucas the Heretic, part of the last team, along with Woa and Dingo Sig who won the, the first 3v3 for GoFormat.com, is teaming up here with Moxies and Mark in order to uh, get Mark to Worlds is, is their goal. Moxies and Lucas already have their invites. Lucas is actually the the top-seeded duelist here for the World Championships in GoFormat, happening in late, later this year in October. <laughs> yeah, Lucas absolutely... On fire <laughs> for all yeah, the definitely, tournaments. definitely top contender for player of the year. Making people cry. <laughs> Making people cry by stealing all those words in, All those world invites. invites, yeah, just just block everybody. <laughs> but So looks like He's up a card here on the draw versus Dante. Just yeah. gonna T set get dust grenaded. Heavy Storm, Dust Tornado. Looks like he's on a, Chaos, a Turbo? Chaos Turbo kind of build, it seems like. What used to play Warriors a whole lot is facing down the Warrior matchup now. Yeah, it's funny. I mentioned that the other day. It's like, oh, he's changed, he's changed his deck. He's playing Chaos Turbo now. And it's a funny story because um, I don't know who told me this, but um, Lucas was previously mainly Go Control or something like that. Or I, I guess, I guess... When I guess he he found his deck and then realized people are all all ganging up against warriors and decides, low look, I'm gonna change my deck again and make make myself a bit less obvious to play against if that makes sense. Another T set here after some sets from Dante. Rhoda coming down for Dante now. See if Lucas wants to respond. Doesn't look I like it Dante's here. I guess Dante's on a very standard warrior. It might just be the regular warriors, no chaos involved. Doesn't need that fancy yeah. stuff, just wants to summon nope. a blade knight and attack you. Probably, f I guess, we'll, s we'll soon find out if Dante's running the third Mystic Swordsman level 2, or if he's going to have to pluck a blade knight from his deck. And he looks like he is. He looks like he Can has. You get a level 2, that's the third copy of level 2. Oh. Uh, looks like. Okay, so. Seems like that they this game is irrelevant because Moxie's actually did win. Yeah, so um, reporting results. Um, get yeah, getting more. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. Doing, I, the, the bracket was an update for me. Yeah, it, it, it's it's like Lucas Lucas said this he's. With that win from uh, Mark, they've won two of the games, so not much point of staying on. Um, so we... Let's see who we've got. Right now in round four of winners, got Damage Step in Team Rampage number one. Let's uh, take a look in here at Insidious versus John the Bounty. Ooh, that would be that would be a really good one. <laughs> so it looks like that... Um, LeBounty is up a game. <laughs> However, <laughs> excuse me. However, uh, 
Insidious has a lot more cards on the board right now. But my, my control, control though, my... is going to take this face down. That's Sangan. Not a good oh. hit. It was a 50-50 here with the mind control, it looks like. Well, it could be knowing that said I guess the said is knows he's up against Morbius, but but um yeah um yeah it looks like snap or creature swap stole this uh blade knight yeah I think I I would oh he I I reckon that set monster is is thousand dice based on the graveyard I reckon yeah so yeah that's really... what it looks like that makes sense because Book of Moon could have yeah. it down. There's a spy though in defense. Hmm. So, trying to figure out what the heck happened. Yeah, that's probably right. Yeah, and Sid is flopping the creature swap. I think. Yeah, if you're Sid, yeah, here's you're here's Blade yeah. Knight. Now this is awkward because it's like you wanted to get a good card off of that mind control. Maybe you should have just mind control the uh, the thousand eyes crashed with Blade Knight and then took the. Uh, the face down or something with the yeah. other face down with a uh, with thousand eyes, right? Yeah, that that's the, if if it is what, yeah, I think I think Labanti was hoping to get something good. Yeah, Labanti was hoping it was like a flip effect, like a uh, faith or something. But here's the thing: we know that Insidious is siding into uh, Gravekeeper's spy, so maybe he's got the second. I think. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Insidious had another copy of Gravekeeper Spy in hand for him to... No attack from Sangan, so is that the other Gravekeeper Spy? Yeah, no, he can't attack because of Man Control, isn't it? He can't attack with Oh, Sangan. right, 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 right. So I wouldn't... Yeah, I, I do suspect that is it is the... It is the Thousand Eyes set. Wow, Berserk gonna... Gorilla! Some monkey magic it's coming really... down. Big big swing, um, yeah. I think I wouldn't be surprised if he said it's just the fast turn. In this scenario, you just yeah. I don't. I don't really see what else they're doing here, but they they seem to yeah. have a firm control of the game here, and, and adding to the board of Berserk Gorilla is uh very nice here. Well, Pot of Green may dig Royalty out of the situation. They could. Do they have a dark in the grave? No, they don't. I mean. I guess summon Kaiku, swing into something, swing into Gorilla, banish for chaos if you're desperate. Because yeah, although that's not too bad, but he has to deal with this. He has to let's let's see if if he needs to deal with the set monster. He needs to deal with a thousand dice, and he has the answer. So Gorilla gonna swing for yeah, Gorilla over over that for eight hundred. There's the thousand dice. Mm -hmm. um, Drop is that misclick? Um, like he needs to gain a thousand. Yeah, it has to gain a thousand. Oh, misclick! Yikes. Uh. Yeah. No, we just say um. All right. All good. Yeah, because he, he he forgot to gain a thousand. I assume that it, that Insidious would want to do something else. Yeah, no, I think if you're Insidious, you're probably gonna switch the Sangan, set yes. the spy, switch the Sangan, do something else, and then set the spy in past turn. Okay, all good now. Yeah, that's fine. It's no, it's no big deal. Um, yeah, um. I think if you're Labanti, you swing into set monster with Gorilla, and then and then Sasuke is going to deal with the spy. But the Warrior Lady's not a bad hit. Warrior Lady's great. You gonna be able to pick up Sangan here? So yeah, as expected. Tank is gonna get dealt with. Interesting. So Gorilla has to attack the set monster, which is a serpent. I'm, su serpent. I'm surprised that. I guess. I guess probably trying to. No, nah, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, 
If you attack the uh, the set card first with Gorilla, and it was Spy, then you have the option to clear with uh, yeah, with Ninja. But the way the bounty did it guaranteed that they would deal with all the monsters on the board, and they kind of needed to because of the snatch steal, letting them uh, letting Insidious gain a thousand every turn. Them being at twenty two and all. MST off the top. Deal with the scapegoat. But the scapegoat's yeah. gonna get chains. Some more chump blockers on the on the board for Insidious. Yeah. The bounty gonna have to do gonna have to take easily three turns unless he top decks into um top decks into is zero if he runs it. I need to have another look. Just another set monster here, gaining life. Yeah, I just so have from the serpent. Insidious is not in, like, the worst position ever. Especially if Lebounty doesn't add more monsters to the board. No one cross out going to deal with the face down is really strong. Have... Oh. And that was the Gravekeeper spy. There's that spy. <laughs> another goat token needs to go away here. Eleven thousand two hundred life. <laughs> On insidious wow. aside. Big, big. Thunder Dragons after setting. Just cycle them out of the hand. Ooh, okay. Solemn judgment, though. But I think you've... If, you had to do it that way, though. It, well, yeah, I guess you had to do it that way. It, it's unfortunate that that was a solemn judgment, but summoning Chaos Rooster in attack mode and then banishing the, uh, the ninja would have been the play. Yeah. Just attack over serpents and goats. Yeah, oh, yeah. That Insidious has got to find a, something off the top here. Heavy storm would be excellent. Okay, now I know what's going. On. So I didn't realize this. Labanti must have stolen the Great Keeper Spy off the mind control. Now that I look back, um, surprised that Insidious. Maybe Insidious knows that. Wow, graceful, huge. Huge, huge, yeah. huge. See if this gets Solemn Judgment into or if this is going to go through. Oh, yeah, um, this, I guess Insidious had to go for it. He drew into, he had charity, so there was, it's kind of like, he just had, I think he had the chance that the bounty may have kept him, may have had Dust Shoot to shuffle away the Serpent. Or maybe, maybe he had some tricks, but yeah, I'm a bit... Normally, normally I find that players, when they're aware of Dust Shoot, they play around it, so I, I guess it makes sense in this particular instance. So Serpent's definitely getting pitched. Actually, I don't know. Thunder Dragons? Because because you need... You don't have lights in Graveyard. Oh, you can always just discard. Cards. Because you might want to hold on to a Serpent in this case, keep using it as a chump blocker. So instead of having a think here, probably it's going right, I'm going to... Yeah, probably going to discard Thunder Dragons, but that does leave you wide open to Trap Dust Shoot. Um, if that is... No, I don't think it's Trap Dust Shoot, so... It'll be flip. Uh...
Discarding Delinquent Duo and Sinister Serpent. So both Thunder Dragons still in the hand. I don't like this play. You should have kept the duo. Even if you're gonna think it's not playable here, you can set it as a bluff, and it can still come in handy in that scenario. But instead we're gonna see BLS in defense. This is a misplay. I guess he's gonna banish the Has to banish Surely... this. Surely he's going to banish the um what's it called? The ninja, yeah. You want to keep that, that BLS in attack mode, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm surprised that he didn't go... This, if he's going to summon BLS, I'm surprised he didn't go discard Thunder Dragon. Discard Thunder Dragon off the charity, unless I'm missing something here. Now, it's taking 500 here, this because Berserk Gorilla has to attack, and if you switch it to defense, it kills itself. So if he wants to keep the Berserk Gorilla, you had to attack into it. You should have kept the BLS in attack mode, because this way... Yeah. He would have either killed itself or he's taking a thousand. Now he's taking five hundred, which I mean, I guess this is guaranteed damage. But you can he's can turn it to defense mode anytime, so you, you want to either put them on taking a thousand to to if they forget that, or you just switch it to defense and then they just kill the, the berserk girl on their own. Should be gaining a thousand here for the snatch deal still. I guess I guess Insidious is I guess Insidious is happy to camp and I understand the, the, the line, but right here you're just gonna switch this to defense, right? I guess but... not because you top deck exile force. See, this is why you should have put it in attack, because then you had to switch it to defense last turn. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, that's that's unusual, but we'll see. I understand the thought process because, like, you can they could take the hit and do the five hundred, but that five hundred is very inconsequential at this point in the game. And now you have to flip the goats. But I guess you don't have to flip the goats. But <laughs> but I guess we're gonna flip the goat. <laughs> You're at thirteen hundred yeah. life points. <laughs> I guess since Sidious is happy to go right. Uh, I'm sorry, not 13,000. <laughs> when is he going to play that heavy storm? But. Doesn't have it, it looks uh, like. Looks like it's a bottom card. Uh, but. But, but, but. Yeah, heavy storm might not do anything. And Serpent's going to get set again. We don't know for sure if that's um, Serpent. They did draw a couple cards in between. Uh, yeah, true. I guess he could... I mean, Insidious, could this is tournament play. life... Or not tournament life, this is match life here for Insidious. It looks like that Templi lost on his board, and uh, MMF won on theirs. Insidious is already down a game. Yeah, this is a bit... Has to fight through here. The life point difference is huge. One misstep from the bouncy could cost him this game here, and Move it on to a game three. I think the destruction would be nice for Insidious. <laughs> or just anything to give it back the gorilla and just keep swinging for game. Keep attacking, I mean. Keep poking with the 2000 body. Uh. So I just get back and I look at my, my screen and I just see 14,200. Yeah, this, this uh, Berserk Gorilla has been on Labounty's side of the board for quite a while. Seven turns. Yeah. Going on to turn eight. <laughs> Today's been quite interesting. I mean, so far I've seen... Mr. I've Swordsman's seen Private Pick Up from... on the board for, for pretty much a whole game. <laughs> and now I'm seeing... There's Magician there's Faith. Faith. That was a great pickup from Labounty's end to deal with the Magician. This is so sketchy, though, because there's a lot of cards that Insidious can just draw here that'll do enough damage to the bounty. Ring, Haiku, if he keeps it, another gorilla. Yeah, another gorilla would be poetic, <laughs> right? Even even Chaos Sorcerer, or 
or anything that gets anything that allows him to get Thunder Dragon onto the field. So even meta. I think discarding the Thunder Dragon was not ideal. Or discarding the duo there was not ideal from Graceful Charity. If he would have had that that duo still in hand, I guess he yeah. could have set it as the bluff, but it's more just like the information game about what the bounty can grab and what they can't do. Having having a back row set could also draw out something like a dust grenado from the bounty side. Yeah, I mean it's it's I mean it's a bit weird that I always say that it's a bit weird the Thunder Dragon didn't get um didn't get uh, hit by didn't get pitched for the charity. Summon Tsukiyomi gonna target the Mystic Swordsman. I like the play. Just attack. Gain another thousand. <laughs> well, we're going to see torrential tribute, which, although it would be a bit. How many solemns are gone up? for? Well, there's Ooh, another solemn gone. There's a solemn. Three hundred <laughs> here. At this stage, yeah. At this stage, all. It just needs. Insidious is okay with that, I think. It's. Yeah, I think if you're Insidious, you don't mind that. Unless. This is turning your ring on, like, for anything. <laughs> and there's. Summon Serpent, flip ring! <laughs> the life point difference is just so big here that Insidious could actually just do nothing for, like, two turns, three turns, and be fine. Yeah, so. Run into everything. But yeah, now here's the weird bit is that no Insidious has no more goats. It doesn't matter because he's at like sixteen thousand yeah. life points. Fifteen thousand life. I guess going up to sixteen thousand life. <laughs> so now needs. That's not a bad pickup. Just attack. I mean, yeah, just attack. I mean, they gotta respond. <laughs> Nothing for the back row. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright then. Nine tons of snatch steel. About time. <laughs> I, I still think he he misplayed by putting the, the BLS in defense. And he also I think he misplayed as well by um discarding the the duo. Yeah. That, you just want to conserve as as much information as possible. It, it's a little misplay that didn't ultimately end up costing the, the game, but Knowing that he, he had like Thunder Dragon and Sinister still in the hand, and then having to discard the Thunder Dragon to um to summon the Chaos Sorcerer to begin with. Yeah. I think it's is yeah, uh just... yeah, it's it, it, I don't think that was ideal, but I also think that putting the the BLS in attack would have been way better that game. Mainly because it forces the bounty to turn off the gorilla finally. You can try to poke in the next turn with the BLS. And then we saw there that top like the top deck afterwards from like the first attack with the gorilla was exiled force. Which is just like he he could potentially be running a, a second grandmaster as well. He could have had um I think there was still a card in hand, so they could have had something like a tribe infecting virus. Yeah, I, think... I guess it wouldn't have mattered what if they had tribe infecting virus. What it was the uh, what mode you put it in because it was going to the graveyard either way. But uh, yeah, it's either I, I I like just putting the the BLS there in attack because you're telling them you're either taking like one thousand here and you're dropping to a hundred, or you're putting that in defense and and killing that the only monster that you have. Yeah, but, yeah, you're gonna banish the um. Sasuke, anyway. We got yeah, this. you're always banishing the Sasuke, because you want the you want the life points and that monkey has to attack. Standby phase gonna MST the, the one back row from the bouncy here. Monkey coming down. Again. <laughs> Are we gonna see another snatch deal and <laughs> And have it sit on the and have it sit for turns. sixteen turns. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Man, that's, oh, that monkey is irate. No back row for follow-up on Insidious Aside after dealing with the Book of Moon. The Bounty only committing just Book of Moon here could be signaling that, like, a weaker hand. Um, maybe was just trying to play around Breaker, you know, in first turn Breaker breaking the, the back row. It was just a Book of Moon, so they would have been able to, to book it, tack right over it. Yeah. But MST was the... Dealing Beats. with the Book of Moon and then summoning this Berserk Gorilla. Here's Blade Knight. Wow. Econ to defense. That kills the Berserk Gorilla. I think... I th don't wow. think Insidious knows. <laughs> To this, and then are we going to see a set ball from no, he's no, nah, just, just attacking here. Just what a card to side <laughs> enemy controller, enemy controller against goat control. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, you can put a goat into attack mode. Enemy controller yeah. is interesting because you can do stuff like versus Sakuretsu armor where if you're attacking into a monster, you can like That's if they Sakuretsu armor, you can chain enemy controller to take like just. Tribute the monster that's that was attacking, and then take control of whatever you were attacking yeah. to deal some damage. That that's one option. You can always do that versus like a chaos monster, which is pretty decent. Um, uh, but yeah, versus like a goat. Good old battle face tricks, eh? So. <laughs> yeah. Sukiyomi though taking care of the blade knight. Set one back. Even cards now. And they use that enemy controller. Breaker the Magical Warrior. You're gonna try to pick off this back row here, see if it's chainable, something like Goat or Book. Yeah, that's. I guess. I guess Goat would be for good. So Ooh, Gekki, great. He's not gonna cards. chain it, it seems like. Wants to keep all the cards in the hand. I guess I guess you've got Sukiyomi in hand, and you're thinking that oh, I'm gonna be able to Sukiyomi it, but premature burial is gonna change that quite quickly, I think. Yeah, just gonna attack here, put a clock on Insidious's life instead of last game. You no, know, Insidious kind of ran away with it with the snatch deal. Yeah. I would no. Nope. Thirty-two I points of damage coming down. This is gonna drop Insidious guess... down to thirty-two. Yeah, I guess. It, I guess. I guess Lebanti is playing its. I mean, it's it seems like Lebanti just has a bunch of monsters in the hand, and that might be the same case for Insidious as well. Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, yeah it's, I guess I don't know. I don't know. It's it's weird sometimes where, obviously, warriors. We know that warriors can have monster locked hands. Um. At times, and surprisingly, Insidious doesn't have goats. A breaker on Insidious' side would be really good. They could summon breaker, attack over uh, the bounty's breaker, then break the the premature burial to deal with Blade Knight. That would be really good. You could also Tsukiyomi is fine as well. Attack over it, but now you have to actually set something. Or you could creature swap and steal their breaker. Oh, that's pretty good. I like this place definitely a bit better because you're you're not taking the blade knight that's attached to the premature burials. So yeah, something like a heavy storm no, would um on from either side would deal with it. I mean, Insidious could do something like with the Sukiyomi where they could reset the the blade knight if they stole it. The blade knight obviously is a bit better because you can deal with a flip effect monster. If La Bounty has those. It also can pump itself up to, to 2,000, but I think this is the more safer route. Yeah. Especially because they weren't, they're not able to reset the Blade Knight on the same turn they're doing the, uh, the Screech Swap <laughs> play. Yeah, it looks like LeBounty's putting in Berserk Gorilla. Makes sense if they saw it from Insidious' side last game, uh, be able to tie with Insidious' own Berserk Gorillas. But now Chaos Monster's gonna get flopped. At some stage, now that gives the light in the dark for the bounty. So, if he adds any chaos monsters sitting in the hand, 
That Chaos Mods is now live. Hmm. I guess, I guess the city is going to do the same play again. Normal summon Tsukuyomi attack. <laughs> hmm. City is thinking here in the standby phase. I guess, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. Coats would be a nice pickup for Insidious. Because... Heavy Storm was the set. Yeah, Gets rid of too Torrential bad. Tribute. Yeah. If, if both players have monster heavy hands, I guess that Heavy Storm is going to is not too bad in this spot. <laughs> so let's see how let's see how So you could summon the Tsukiyomi right here, attack over Berserk Gorilla. That would put the bounty back on three cards. Ping pong. Come on. Probably, probably discussing with the stage, which is allowed. He's just. Yeah, we don't know what else is in hand. <laughs> but we do know that Tsukiyomi is coming. Oh, wow. That's pretty well, good. Snatch deal. Okay. Normal summon. Or not. Attacking with it first. He could he could have surprised. Him, he didn't put it down and then flip it back up. Yeah, I'm that's surprised what I was... on that. Unless unless it's a different monster, but they definitely like would rather set right. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. Could be something but like a might... faith or. Uh... Yeah, but here's the weird thing. Like at this stage, like I don't know. I it, I just feel like. I wouldn't be surprised right now if Labati just decided, oh, I'm gonna flop a Chaos Monster here. And it's, it turns out to be a BLS. Yeah, Chaos Monster is like, would be really strong from Labati's end, especially if it was the BLS. But instead, but just gonna put position. a Mystic Swordsman out. Oh. Grave Fever Spy, okay, and then main phase. No, nah, you would have probably played it main phase one. So, no Chaos Monster, it seems like, from Labati. I guess if you are Insidious, you probably. I don't know how you. You got. Is Mirror Force still there? Yeah. Um, Mirror Force is definitely a possibility. I guess if you scan Mirror Force, normal summons. Ah, oh, okay, well, you pop agreed first. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself some more options here. Yeah, you, you don't have MST. Breaker could be an option, but that's not a bad pickup. Now he's now in he has got Chaos Monster of his own. Well, no. Chaos is live now because of thanks to the uh, Mystic Swordsman on top of the Thunder Dragon. Mystic Swordsman dumping the uh, the spy in the graveyard. We know Tsukiyomi is in the hand for Insidious. And Thunder Dragons. And yeah, and Thunder Dragons as well. So it could be a play where they go like Tsukiyomi, their Berserk Gorilla. Yeah. Attack, attack. and then like summon the Gorilla again. But then that that uh, would play around mirror force, yeah. Yeah. If they if they just summoned it and then flipped it back up, that's not playing around mirror force. It's just trying to do as much damage as possible. It's uh probably just attack. It's twenty two. But it depends what else Insid what the second card is that Insidious drew because he he definitely got that Thunder Dragon off the oh yeah off, 
you would so, definitely uh, definitely Thunder Dragon before you use Pot of Greed. Yeah. Pretty good top deck actually. Pretty good rip from the pot. Get the get get your Chaos Monster alive if if you do draw into it. Um Yeah, and the bounty not really having the Chaos Monster probably has the top deck of the Chaos Monster at this stage. Because if he had the Chaos Monster he'd probably have flopped it by now. Uh anyway. Yeah man. <laughs> Battle phase here, attacking. Play it safe. But now, uh, I guess ring... Ring would be quite... Looking painful. at the graveyard for the bouncy here. See what he wants to do. Just gonna take it. 1100. So is there another set monster from Insidious's end? Or how does he want to play this? Oh, Kaiko. Okay, that makes... that's. That makes sense in the line. So, playing around Mirror Force, just attacking with it first. If they wanted a Mirror Force, they could have, and then he could have summoned Kaiko. This turns the graveyard off uh, from summoning a. Uh... Premature Burial's gone, that's not it. Yeah, Premature so... Burial's gone. Call of the Haunted's haunted. not gone. They could call the haunted. flip Call of the Haunted, attack into uh, Kaiku. Kaiku after. They have to set a card, though, in order to make the blade that yeah. big. But then. Yeah, the like you know, yeah, you'd have to be able to deal with the gorilla if you want to go about that line of things. Yeah, gorilla can tie with it. He also has Tsukiyomi in the hand. But so yeah, the, the... this play played cool. around Mirror Force and that they wanted to keep the Kai Insidious wanted to keep the Kaiko alive so that a uh, Chaos Monster couldn't be played from the bounty's end, because Chaos Monster would be Absolutely yeah. devastating for Insidious to set up. Definitely. I mean, it's just it's just as well that Levant, if Levante was holding on to a case monster all that time, then then obviously the Kaiko would be good, but just preventative measures and I guess I guess now in Levante's spot he's just gonna crash into a Kaiku. Yeah, um Battle phase. Battle phase crash and then summon a Sorcerer, summon BLS. That's what it's looking like. Well, that that top deck. What is doing? Well, you gotta wonder. Yeah. Whoa, nothing. Okay. No, I think he just Labanti just doing that so that he he can drop a chaos monster on will, at will. Attack with Gorilla again. Um, has Levante. All now right. he goes for Turning off the, the Snatch deal. He's gonna run... He's gonna run into Mirror Force, but he must Let's have... see. Attack with Tsukiyomi. Takes nope. the 11, attacks with Berserk Gorilla. Will he take the 2,000? Could be a Sakuretsu armor. So it's not Mirror Force. It's, it's indicative of call, I think. Oh, he's just playing in the mind games, but... What could that be? Dropping down to 1,000 here for the bounty. Set in one card. Set in another card. Yeah, I just run. Yeah, so two cards. So Bounty's got to find a way through two back row. And a gorilla. And a gorilla. <laughs> His own gorilla, I should say. Yeah, snatch stolen and then... Set with Tsukiyomi. Took a little nap. Walk, woke back up. Still just as angry. Hey, man. Let's see. Mm. Hmm. 
Right. Well, it's actually wouldn't be bad for the bounty, would it? If we drew into it. Yeah. And the bounty take a moment to think understandably here. Had that one card in hand for quite some time, it seems like. Just drew a new card this turn. Has a back row to work with. That back row doesn't seem to be anything to block an attack, though. Not Torrential Tribute, as it was picked up from a heavy storm earlier in the duel. This is match point for both players here. Team Damage Step versus Team Rampage. This is Rampage has entered in two squads here. This is Rampage's number one squad. Been a really good watch so far, I must say. <laughs> Especially with the Snatch Steel. <laughs> um... mm. It's, it's awkward here. It's definitely awkward. Uh, it depends what the body's topped into, actually. There's that Chaos Monster. Holy oh, the Black Buster Soldier. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I think if you're Labati, you just got to go for it. But they could run into Insidious' own torrential tribute. That's possible. Or could be ring set. You never know. Insidious just set ring of destruction. No prio from the bounty's end. Nope. The bounty's just going to go. I don't respect move force. I don't respect anything. I'm just going to... Yeah, that, this, even when you don't do prio, I think this has to be tributed. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Call of the Haunted. Uh, I, I would not be surprised if Call of the Haunted comes out from the bounty's end either. He's been he's been touching his graveyard quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, he could have been looking at it for the uh, chaos for the chaos, just looking, confirming that they have a light and a dark. So, what could this down card be? It's not solemn judgment. You would have just solemned it there. Wow. Warrior lady. Warrior lady is the uh, it's the the card in hand now for the bounty. So he must have been holding on to this blackluster soldier. It seems like for the longest time. Yeah, and yeah, that's not doing prio there because it it doesn't matter. You want you can just attack with your yeah you with your attack. card, and if if you're playing around or if you're playing into torrential, they have to torrential that on the spot anyway because if they don't have a um a back row that's like Sakuretsu armor or, or mirror force, which I don't believe Insidious does or doesn't have the mirror force yet in the graveyard, so it could have been mirror force. No woman. <laughs> It could Sadly be Nobleman. No Does Levante have Nobleman? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering now. Does he have... I just... Draw a card for turn. Graceful off the top. Oh. Graceful off the top. See what he grabs. Exile Force could do it. Unless that down card is something from Insidious' end. Gonna get rid of Ring of Destruction and... Dust tornado. It was no. the set nobleman for the longest time. Getting rid of Tsukiyomi. Heavy storm just to clear up the back row. It was a bluff metamorph. Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez. I can't believe I didn't. 
I can't believe I just realized that's noble mount just now. Well, uh, it either... If it hadn't been, like, Mirror Force or a Sakuretsu Armor, anything to block an attack, then it had to had to be some kind of bluff, because there were so many opportunities where the bounty was going to be able to... Um, to, uh, to Solemn, right? If it was Solemn. So by this point, you had to figure out that it, it, it definitely was, like, a bluff there. But, yeah, Insidious needed... Whoa, and Sidious said he has two ghosts, but needed the meta. Jeez. Yeah. Just needed, or just had two metas, but needed the goat. My fault. That so, was, that was weird. so that was Team it. Rampage moving on, on in winner's side here. They're going to be in the winner's uh, semifinals. They're going to play against the winners of Getting Mark to Worlds and Ring of Destruction. We're going to take a look to see if anyone is playing from that team here. And then let's take a look at the other game. So looks like uh, joining in here, Moxies versus Randage. We saw Randage earlier today take out Carl Waite. Now has to go up against Moxies here. This is game three between the two. Looks like Randage just used a Metamorph on a Scapegoat token. Classic, turning it into the Thousand Eyes Restrict. It's been a bit refreshing to see Moxies on um, on Chaos Control. Not going to lie, because we know Moxies is all uh, is all normally on um, Warriors. So I'm um, we. I'll be interested to see if he if he has gone I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's on chaos control this tournament. Past turn. Yeah, just draw a pass here. Okay, good old... I guess you say good old goat control. Just draw a pass, draw a pass until you... Until you... Can interact and break the lock. Until you interact, yes. This is what GOAT format's all about, baby. This is, yeah, this is the GOAT format that <laughs> I got into, which is... That my grandpa just, grew, grew up on. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, this, I think, I think people tend, obviously people tend to prefer Chaos Turbo or Chaos Warriors, because they're just good at doing what, what they do, and kind of like, it's always refreshing to have, to see to see kind of like scapegoat plus meta meta mirror matches. Yeah. But isn't reason to turbo. <laughs> I'm excited to, to take a look at the results of the tournament, obviously, and see how the meta continues to develop. Uh, the metas for these 3v3 tournaments may be a little bit different than a normal GFC meta, um, especially because you're playing a best out of three with like a team, right? Um, one of the... When I talked to Woa about his deck, because he used uh, the deck that I played at Worlds last year, essentially. Go, yeah, go uh, a Go Control variant, yeah. Um, 
Moxie summoning Tsukiyomi, taking out the 1000 Extra Strict, but Ring of Destruction is going to be meant to keep the 1000 Extra Strict alive. But, um, but yeah, what, um, what he told me was that he never, he never lost a game in the entire tournament, but he only won three of his games. <laughs> so, like, it, it's, all of his teammates, like his two other teammates, Lucas and Bingo, they were able to win before, but he was able to just, you know, survive because he was playing Go Control could, like, make the game last long enough. So that his other teammates could actually win. And, I mean, obviously he needed to win a couple when it mattered. But, um, <laughs> that could be the strategy that some other teams go into the day with. Some people yeah, want yeah. to play something like two players play, like, Chaos Turbo or something. A deck that can win really quickly. While the other teammate may play a Chaos deck that's like a Chaos Control, like Randage is doing here. Um, just to drag games out longer so that the other teammates have some time to win. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> I think... Yeah, it's there's definitely a meta to to actually like how you compose your teams and and what decks that you're picking. Yeah, it should be that way, isn't it? That's yeah, what, like that's um, realistic. like don't don't chop. We's playing the uh like the panda decks. It looks like right. Like I believe Pui's playing it. We saw Chopper playing it, and yeah. it looked like that uh don't copy was on either Chaos Control or Chaos Turbo. We saw Meta, didn't we? He he played the. I um, think he played. He was playing Control then. Yeah, yeah, we saw we saw we saw Meta and um, Dragoness. So he he was on some yeah. sort of Meta plus Goat Burst Meta. So deck. so so it seems like that. Uh, Don't copy was the one who was like, "I'm going to play the longer games while you two play the the quicker ones," right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just I probably. Yeah, obviously we saw we saw um, Pand Panda Burn, whatever you want to call it, um, and we saw how devastating it can be against Chaos Turbo. So I think is 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 always down to what you expect the meta to be, and just, just go towards that. And yeah, I think Pui is. I can't remember. I think Pui. I, oh yeah, Pui and Don't Copy still got to earn their the invites if I'm not Yeah, mistaken. I don't believe that they that either of them have it, but Chopper does have their invite. Yeah, I was yeah. Uh yeah, so um, the so the the winners of this event, the whole team gets uh invites to the GOAT format championships held later this year in October. And if you want to participate in the GOAT format championships, head on over to goatformat.com and Check out our site there for upcoming tournaments. Doing well enough in those tournaments may earn you an invitation to the Go Format World Championships where you can earn a whole litany of prizes. I think there's going to be over a $1,000 prize pool. Winner of the tournament is going to receive a championship belt that you can take a look at on our website, goformat.com. As Randage tries to summon a Chaos Command Magician and gets Torrential Tributed. That's pretty... Although that puts a light in the dark in the graveyard. On that topic of events coming up, if I'm not mistaken, there's one next week. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a, there's a Go Format Championship next week as well, an individual Go Format Championship. So if you're interested in playing, it's going to be structured sort of the same way as this one, double elimination bracket. Best two out of three format. And... Um, but instead of it being a team tournament like we're watching today, it's going to be a individual tournament. Signups should be going off soon for those. Head on over to GoatFormat.com. Join our Discord server. That's how these tournaments are run. And uh, the special shout-out today for to Jinzo and Tonic, the team over at Academy League, is helping run this uh, GFC event, Team GFC 3v3 Euro Edition. This one started bright and early for us uh, Americans here, uh, North Americans at least. But a uh, special European start time just to cater to our European community. Hmm. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm actually a bit interested. I'm. I'm a bit. In I guess Moxie felt that he. He felt that Snatch Two was a good, was the best discard. At the time of charity, um, well, there wasn't a lot going on. It seemed like, yeah, at the time. I, I mean, 
Maybe, maybe I was thinking, oh, you can steal, steal a thousand dice, grab a goat, but that torrential actually <clears throat> did the better job of wiping the board. And we actually have another board wipe in. Yeah, this is this is a great heavy, heavy storm. By Tribe. And does Moxies have? Just has oh, that's all. Game. Just gonna attack. Yeah, that's game. That's exact. That's exact. Life. Um, if you haven't, if you haven't read the article, <laughs> this is this is basically magic number territory where, yeah, Chaos Sorcerer and Tribe is six, is um, thirty nine. Obviously, you had the BLS. That's. That's exact game. Uh, yeah. Yes, Sean, I've still had all the... these. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing I like about all these um, mirror matches, is that you really have to... You can't just play your cards and expect not to get punished for it. I mean, that that there is how I like to use Heavy Storm if, if, if I can. Obviously, there are going to be times where, where I just take, take the plus one, but... Yeah, there's so going to be times when getting marked to worlds here, team getting marked to worlds is uh was the winner of that match. Let's see if I can confirm let's, that. Let's have a look. Yeah, the yeah, so so Moxie's winning gets them into the um gets so we, them into the winners finals. Winners semifinals. Winners semi semis. Right, semis yeah. yeah, yeah, winners finals. So the yeah, winners finals. Not the grand finals yet, but I mean, yeah. So we're going to take a, a, a look at that in just a moment here. We're going to take a short break. Yep. So we will be right back. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'll, I'll stay on mute.
And so we're back here in the Go Format 3v3 Euro Edition. This is the uh, winner's finals here. The winning team here is going to move on to the grand finals. <laughs> and I just... Wow! Okay, fine. It'd be interesting to see how... Well, it'd be interesting to see how Mark navigates his way around this. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, Team Get Mark to Worlds. We're watching Mark himself duel against SDL Killa here. Team Mark to Worlds is comprised of Mark playing on the LRG Sigma account, Moxies, and uh, I believe who's the last one here, and Lucas the Heretic. Um, yeah. They're going up against Team Rampage, their number one squad here. Just Ghost Rider 15, SDL Killa, and John LeBounty. And SDL Killa opening very, very strong here, starting off with Duo after a T-set from Mark, then following it up with Pot of Greed, Duo taking out Book of Moon and Phoenix and Wing Blast. Breaker came down, tried to break ring, but caught the ring. Now another yeah, T-set from Mark's side after a setback from SDL Killa, and this is Exile Force picking up Mystic Tomato. I believe we're all caught up now, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess I guess it is. It is a bit rough. I was thinking it's not too bad. Mox drawn drawn to his fourth card in total available, but obviously SEL Kill is going to six. Um, yeah, I mean I face I face pot to it, but <laughs> I must admit a lot of uh, I think I played uh, one of the games on my stream for the Altwin stream and I got hit by pot duo in. Two out of three games. <laughs> That's... And there's the duo back from Mark. This is what it is, you know? Yeah, you just gotta play through it. Just gotta and... play through it. So, what's the... Yeah, wow. Duo from Mark's side, taking out a widespread and a Sakuretsu armor. Essentially the same card. Uh, Sakuretsu armor is more targeted. Widespread ruin you can play around in certain scenarios. And here's a Spirit and Reaper from Mark's side. Gonna flip that up and try to attack in. Yeah, is Reaper gonna strip a card out of hand to SSL Killer got? So well, it's first... gonna catch a card either way, right? It's either gonna get that face down. Ooh! Ooh breaker. Uh, and then, yeah, Reaper and... Reaper makes sense. Yeah. Jar Greed. From Mark's side, just gonna attack in here for 16. That's, that's not bad. I mean, like, yeah, I guess, I guess yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good ring hitting, being forced to hit the Reaper. Right. But now, Rote is gonna grab the perfect warrior for the situation, which I wouldn't be surprised if we were Blade Knight. Oh, Donny. Yeah, Smash Steel. Steel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just take yeah. away all the cards. That's that's. I mean, yeah. If you're searching Don, just... I mean, it's very obvious that there's a snap steal or at least something to deal with the breaker. Yeah, that's that's. I think. Eh, not too bad. Like, yeah, I'll that's not that. a card. This is game one. That's not a card that you won in versus Warrior game one clearly, but you don't want to lose cards either. But in the fifty-fifty scenario like that, that's probably the better hit for you if you're Mark. But there's no there's no light if I'm not mistaken. There's no light on in grip. So yeah. SEO killer in a pretty good spot here, obviously. <laughs> but Snatching my breaker to... back. Give me that card. Book a moon. You will not take my lunch money, sir. Interesting that, yeah, oof. Now, what Any is Any monster is lethal now. That's 3,000 on the board for SDL. And, and there's Kaiko. Yeah, Bob is just doing what they do best, which is having having their amazing, well, really good top deck. In the form of a monster. Well, yeah, I mean, that's 
Warrior's MO is that once it gets to this top deck situation where there's just a lot less cards to work with, the card quality for Warrior goes up a whole lot because their individual cards are just much better than um, a lot of what Chaos Control or Chaos Turbo may have individually, right? Like, a lot of the, those decks need to have cards in conjunction with one another in order to actually, like, for them to actually function well. Um, with a Warrior deck, you're just playing a bunch of good normal summons or you're playing a bunch of good trap cards. You're playing, like, the best spells that you could possibly play. So your top decks are just going to be much better on rate than most other decks. Yeah, I was, I was actually going to add to the fact that obviously normal summons are bigger monsters, which <laughs> I always refer to refer to a metagame article uh, which came out just after Worlds 2008 came out. And yeah, it's just you just summon a big monster and you just just get control of the game that way because your opponent has to burn something to deal with a big monster. Uh, so yeah. 11 teams remain. <laughs> we are slowly... A team... I'm just having a look at um, losers bracket. So yeah, second team... Team Rampage number two has been knocked out but at least Team Rampage still got representation of the number one team <laughs> um, yeah so I think we've just got a long wait for the losers bracket I guess yeah losers bracket still in the tournament here there's Team Oppression and the OTS team we have Bling and Destruction facing off of. I'm not even gonna. The We Love CC team. <laughs> Don't Choppy is still in. Damage mm. Step still in. Ring of Destruction still in. And Part of the News still in as well. But moving on to game two here between SDL Killer and uh, LRG Sigma, aka Mark. Starting off with Upstart. Starting off with Upstart on Mark's side. Get that extra card. He sets. Ooh. Okay. Double set here in the back row for Mark. Followed up with a monster in the front. Ninja Grandmaster, gonna see if that sticks to the board, or are we gonna see Mark respond here with like Torrential, Wing Blast, Bottomless Trap Hole. That's a card you don't see every day, and it's a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it, it always comes down to to kind of like, is it a card that I can draw and use straight away, or do I have to draw it and set it? So. I guess bottomless makes a lot of sense against warriors and yeah, just being able to stop them having chaos fodder in graveyard is pretty good as well, isn't it? Yeah, they don't play stuff like return. Bottomless secretly good against return too, because if they return and it's a bunch of guys who have uh, more than fifteen, you can just bottomless them after they're summoned. Yep. And here comes Mobius popping all those back row and hitting the mirror force. I mean, I'd take that any day. Yeah, really. that's a good trade. You got your card back with uh with Deco. Summoning Mobius there. Has to deal with it. Like, needs a monster. And still has to fight through another back row. Well, 1,000 defense is not hard. Um, Breaker is going to be... Breaker's a good one to do that, but Book of Moon will protect Breaker. It would protect uh, Mobius. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah Book of Moon. That's it. Any of you other Chaos Devil player, there's definitely a spot you want to be in. <laughs> wow. Graceful Charity, great pickup here, discarding Torrential and Sinister Serpent. Spirit Reaper, this time it's gonna connect. Oh, yeah. 
Definitely, yeah. Um, premature burial, I guess there's not really anything in... Yeah, there's not really anything in the Seal Killer's Graveyard. Reinforces the army, he's gonna pick up Exile Force. Presumably gonna try to... Deal with both of them here because we got Smashing Ground. Interesting. I don't know if they kept that in. Yeah, just just suck it off. Yeah, no greedy play here. You don't want to just attack with it and lose your guy. Just yeah. Just kill it when you when you can. So that, that's so putting SDL on one card though. Yeah. Oh yeah. This time around. Um, yeah, this time around... King Tiger! Wow. Another card you don't see every day. Yeah, I'm surprised it, ca it came... I guess I guess there are cards that do get hit by Chaos Devil, namely Gravekeeper's Spy. Well, uh, King Tiger's gonna get hit by a Sakuretsu armor. And we're going to game three. Yeah. Scoop it up. Don't waste any more. <laughs> Just go straight in. So SDL just kind of lost there to a combination of Mobius and uh, Reaper. They uh, the Mobius and the Reaper hit for extra cards out of SDL's uh, hand and on the field, picking up Mobius hitting the Mirror Force and Reaper hitting the I forget what card it hit at the hand, but it hit a card at the hand. It was a. Uh, <laughs> Prove your barrel. Yeah. yeah, either way, I mean, like, it just took a card away from from yeah, uh, SDL. That permission barrel, I don't think, was doing much anyway, but... They could have comboed it with uh, Rota. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, because he, he drew the Rota later on. Got Rota. Got... It's definitely a card you still want. <laughs> like, you don't want to lose your... You don't want to lose any card to Spirit Reaper, really, unless it's, like, yeah. Electric Snake. <laughs> or Serpent. If you're the yeah, all serpent. Is Serpent's your fine. Yeah. Like it, if if you lose it and then it gets Kai code, I mean, yeah, that's, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's not very good. <laughs> so let's let's see. If we're gonna see an equally strong opening from uh, SEO Killer. If we can get if we can get Pots to our game, yeah, that, that would be good. <laughs> so then we're gonna start off with a King Tiger. Interesting choice, though. Oh, because, of course, I thought I saw Mystic Tomato from the stream as well. We, we saw, yeah, so that's probably why I saw, we yeah, saw it's, Mystic Tomato. Yeah, Mark might be on the, the engine of Tomato and Mimics, so you can, you know, summon your uh, Tomatoes out. If you don't get Sangan, if you already used it, you can summon a, uh, a Mimic level 1 off of Tomatoes after they're all done attacking. And then in the standby phase, level up your uh, Mimic level 1 into level 2. Or level 3. And uh, yeah. this level 3, when it dies, will draw you two cards. As long as it doesn't get set by Book of Moon. And yeah, yeah, as long as it doesn't forget it, it was summoned by its own, uh, by the yeah. Mimic effect. But either way, I mean, it's, it's still drawing you a card, and it's a decent enough engine. It's about what, like five cards minimum of your deck? So if you you can support it, yeah. I, it's I not it's good. not too bad. You get two flip effects out of it with the uh, yeah. with the mimics, the level the level one mimics. Those can be reset. They're they're kind of like the yeah. Koichis, just less aggressive. A lot smaller. But Ooh, the pro to... heavy from SDL could be met with some judgment though. I don't think SDL is uh 
is that concerned about it, to be honest? I guess, I guess making... Mobius? Mobius. <laughs> I was about to say, Mobius of your own would be incredible here. That's going to hit another Solemn Judgment. Wow. Normal Summon gone. Nobleman for the face down, though. Yeah, that's going to be... That's getting rid of all the Dequichis from the deck. But yeah, that, that's... Mm. <laughs> so, guess, Mark guess. already down to 2,000 life here. This is Now down to 1,000 life. Getting rid of Exile and Reinforcements of the Army. I wonder if you would have set that Reinforcements of the Army if that would have been a bit better, but uh, playing around duo is like... It's so hard to, to realistically do that, right? It's more it's more likely they have something like Heavy Storm of their own or uh, yeah, think, do, or Dust Tornado MST Breaker. You don't want to yeah. lose that resource in the hand just to yeah, it's, just it's, to play around duo. But I mean, we did see earlier from Mark that they do have um, Spirit Reaper in the deck, so. A set card here from SDL. Magician of Faith will get the duo back. It's the only spell in the graveyard. That's, that's, yeah, that's how you Just spell, flipping it, it for value. Wow, he's going to poke for a massive 300. That explains it. He's going to... Well, it's not really doing anything. Yeah, he's... he's... Solemn and on the Tsukiyomi. I guess if you're SEO killer and you've got another Solemn set, you just go, right, I've got a monster. Well, and the monster and the, just run over your the spray. one card in hand, like you could assume it's duo. Gonna hit the mirror force here with mystical space oh. Any monster is basically game, right? Yeah, I mean, if you hold up, um, top deck Mobius. <laughs> uh, top deck Mobius would be great. Breaker's just as oh, good. Okay. Solemn on the breaker. Yeah, I guess. I guess in this situation, you. Keeping the break on the field, and okay, your top decks are better, but just don't take the risk. You, that break is probably going to deal deal more damage than just playing the song straight away. Depending on the situation, of course. I mean, it's about fifty fifty if that set card right now is duo, right? Yeah, yeah, that is true. And Mark debating if he wants to. Put his faith in defense mode. He's got faith in the faith, it seems like. He's just going, right, I'm just going to keep poking with the faith. Yeah, I mean, get aggressive. We did say earlier that SDL's warrior deck on rate does have better top decks. Now here's the double set, so one of them, it's got to be the bluff. Yeah, one of them is definitely well. One of those cards is definitely duo. They can, we can yeah, there's that. a there's a bluff duo down there. <laughs> Smashing ground <laughs> on Magician of Faith. Do we see a chain book of moon? I guess if you're in this situation, you just gotta wow. All right, so fifty fifty on one of those being a real spell, but this book of moon flip back up can get back the book of moon now. And just attack. Just keep poking. Yeah, Faith Aggro. <laughs> that would be amazing if we saw Faith <laughs> keep attacking with Faith. Well, Late Night would be pretty good because it kind of invalidates the Book of Moon. But just setting here from SDL's side, knowing that they can't really realistically deal with a, any monster, doesn't want to walk that monster into some sort of removal as well, even though it's the Magician of Faith is kind of baiting it. Flipping up Kaiku. Bottomless yeah. trap hole. So Mark knows where the duo is now. Or, sorry, SDL knows where the duo is now. Yeah, SDL knows where the duo is. As, yeah. The, those bottomless trap... Trap holes. I just... Wow! Attack for 600! <laughs> <laughs> mirror forcing. Bad. This is not a good mirror force because Book of Moon can just reset the faith. Yeah, that's not bad for. That's not bad for. 
um, mark I was going to say. Yeah, this, that's fine. You're totally okay with this. And then you just flip up the faith again and get that book. Um, normal summon... I think you normal summon the serpent for sure. And just attack again. Yeah, I mean, this is a two-turn clock. Drop it down to 40, uh, 425. Yeah, I think if you're Mark... You've got to let the rotor go through and hold the summon for the normal summon. I don't think he normal summon in this case. You got he's got to get something that can wall up. He doesn't have anything to fight through back row right now, and we know one of them's Book of Moon. Yeah, that's tr yeah, that is true. Oh, he's just gonna go for it. Summon Donny. No, he's gonna. Sit. He's going for it. Well, this plays under bottomless. That is true. Plays on the bottomless, but it's gonna. Get hit by Book of Moon. We can Book of Moon the, his own faith, or we can Book of Moon Don's Elude, but you just you could just do that in battle phase and you're fine. Yeah, no, yeah, hold off on, yeah, I was gonna say hold off until battle phase and just. I'm gonna so try to Ooh. solemn the Dawn. Wow. Well? Yeah, I mean, that puts. Yeah, middle force is gone. Well, there's there's no ring of destruction. I have, I have you can't use ring on on any one of these, or it's not lethal. Separate. Oh dear. Oh yeah, he's got book. It's fine. Yeah. He has to have two battle traps here, and they have to hit Sangan and. So one of the three hundreds going through. Let's attack another one. Is this gonna go through? Widespread doesn't do it because it kills the Sangan. Saku would save him, but enemy controller to defense, so that means widespread is the for the Sangan. And Saku no, the Sangan, Saku. but that could be booked if he wants to. I don't think he will. Uh, just let it go. Grab yeah, just let it go through. So SDL is <laughs> drawing out a turn, but just seeing. Let's just see if I if I can win or not. Yeah, just... Wow! <laughs> serpent beat... Serpent faith beat down. It was worth solemn judgment halving everybody's life points there. That was insane. Too, too solemn. Um, yeah, Mark... Yeah, Mark but... having five roughly 5% chance of opening double solemn. The monster's got stats. Let's take a look at uh, Lucas and the bounty here. That so... Good... This is also a game three... If uh, Lucas wins here, that puts Get Mark to Worlds in the finals. And then they're one step closer to actually getting Mark to Worlds. <laughs> as long as you don't bottle, bottle it in the finals, I guess. Yeah, the, t the team that beats that would have to defeat them, though, uh, has to win two sets because. Yeah, that is true. Play by double elimination rules here in the Go Format Championships. Let's check here. And it looks like uh, Lucas is going to go first here.
Two in the back for Lucas and one in the front. Where are we both from? Okay. So Bladeless going to attempt to swing over the set monster. Yeah, <laughs> doubt that's <laughs> happening. Koichi on Lucas' side, followed up with a Jar of Greed into Graceful Charity. Just draw your whole deck, please. Thinking on the discard. But yeah, that's five cards already, isn't it? That's really <laughs> draw the quietry, draw greed into graceful. Discarding Deco and Breaker the Magical Warrior. That is a interesting discard, I'll say the very least. Sacred to armor on the deco. Main phase two, we're probably going to see a set monster. I reckon yeah. it's going to be the Magician of Faith. Yeah, that's, that's a bit surprised. <laughs> yeah, because... Wow. Well, uh, and so we're, the... we're just going to set a billion. I mean, that's the thing. Nowadays, Chaos Turbo players have been using Solemn Judgment, or. And it's like. Yeah, I guess. Solemn 2, as we saw quite a few times, actually, with especially with Mark's deck, isn't it? Where he's playing Solemn Judgments in his. Um, in his Chaos Turbo deck, I guess. I guess you. Yeah, this looks like Chaos Turbo, but yeah. So, yeah, Labardi going for the safe option, tribute, summon exiled, tribute, unless there's a summon. Oh, it's a spy. Okay. Yeah, value and Gravekeeper spy over Breaker. Versus the deck that's also known for setting a billion cards. Shout out to Wraith here for the host. Thank you. Bottomless Trap Hole picking off Kaiko. Saw Bottomless Trap Hole from uh, from Mark as well. Looks like that's, that yeah. might be their tech for this tournament. There's the Magician of Faith that I called out earlier. That's going to get back probably the Graceful Charity. I think that's the only spell in the graveyard anyway. Yeah, that yeah. was. Yeah. Bottomless being... What's the reason why everyone everyone just ignored bottomless? Uh, I always loved like back in the day when everyone was playing Go Control Mirrors. I'd always like to have that one lone copy to potentially snipe something. I know I know it's obviously rubbish when you don't you know it's obviously Ooh. rubbish when you draw it after after seeing a big monster, but being able to hit all all of these monsters and yeah, I mean, uh, as we saw against SEO Killer just now, that actually the bottomless trap holes from Mark basically ripped, stopped, stopped SEO Killer from getting any lights and darks in his graveyard. Bottomless oh, Saul was was played a lot less. Um, 
in prior years and during 2005. Like, people still knew about the card, obviously, and people played it, but it wasn't, like, as ubiquitous as it got later on in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because um, a lot of, just a lot of the decks at the time weren't playing many monsters that went over 15. So if, like, you're summoning something like a Don Zalug or you're summoning, like, a recruiter that gets under the bottomless, it's not really doing, like... A, a ton yeah. for you, right? It's pretty much it's pretty good versus the Bounty's deck, right? Because there's tons of monsters in it that don't get any any value off of just normal summoning them. So bottomlessing them is is perfect because you're just getting rid of it. It's not going to the graveyard, so it's not loading up for uh, for chaos like chaos sorcerer or uh, BLS. You could also catch chaos sorcerer and BLS with the bottomless as well. But yeah, de I mean, it's definitely like a, a powerful card. It's just yeah, for sure. I mean, not as ubiquitous yeah. here in the in this format than it is in others down the line. Yeah, I was gonna actually mention Takoichi as well being quite popular. Wasn't yeah, it? like these other decks that um that just said a lot, right? Like the a lot more flip effects are viable. I mean, yeah, so why the like there's no reason to play it versus the flip effect decks? I mean, it's a fine side card, and that's what it seems like Lucas and Mark have figured out. If they're going to be playing up against these warrior decks, might as well bottomless them instead of using um, using yeah, Sakuretsu yeah. armors to fight them, right? Because they're going to try to attack no matter what, but if you bottomless something uh, in response, they don't ever get that attack, and that monster is not going to the graveyard. I was, I was actually going to mention as well that a lot of players have decided to... A lot of players have decided to drop Book of Moon, so actually... You don't have Book of Moon mm -hmm. to protect those monsters. Right, exactly. Book of Moon's very good versus Bottomless. Yeah. So obviously, if you had the Book of Moon, okay, your, your um, you know, your minus one, you're you're hitting yourself on minus one still, right? But you know, it's like, yeah, he's. <laughs> well, instead he's, of trading, instead of trading your Bottomless and for the monster, you're using your Book of Moon to protect your monster and basically yeah. like MSTing the. The bottomless. You're going one for one still. Yeah, and as Anthony Alvarado mentions here in the chat, that uh, bottomless also works well against Reasoning Gate when they try to Dimension Fusion a bunch of guys back, which is true. Uh, it's it's super good there. Yeah, it's very unless spicy. unless they got the Jinzo. <laughs> if they have the the Jinzo yeah. there and they're bringing that back, that it's like, yikes! But you're gonna probably die anyway. <laughs> yeah. Not like yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I mentioned how how often I mentioned this, but I actually was purely online online um, Yu-Gi-Oh from YVD days back around kind of like Return Dead, Tell Dead format. So I've I have seen how obviously bigger monsters were popular back then, and yeah, obviously coming back. To, yeah, sometimes it's just interesting to see. Yeah, bottomless the Cyber Dragon. <laughs> Oh, just bottomless, just stop, stop monsters before they even hit the fields, that sort of thing. Because I guess, I guess now nowadays we just take it for granted. Where if you're playing current format, you're playing, you know, you 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 don't want trap cards that you have to draw draw them. It's kind of like it's just so far removed from what I'm used to. Where your trap cards are actually trap cards. You can't search them, but they're really good trap cards. Like. Trap Dusher being a really good example. Sakuretsu and... armor on the Donza Lug. <laughs> wow, so they got not only are they siding in Sakuretsu armor, you got bottomless. Bottomless right? on top of that, yeah. So they have have it all. I mean, yeah, I guess I guess if you're coming from Chaos Turbo's player's perspective, the Warrior deck, outside of having generally bigger monsters, I find that they have a lot of anti-set, a lot of monsters that deal with anti-set cards. So you want the means to be able to deal with most of them anyway. And that's, I, mean, I guess, playing bottomless just, just to... It just so happens that the bottomless also hits Chaos Fodder most of the time. So... <laughs> but that Sakuretsu armor has actually made a Chaos Monster alive for Labanti. <sighs> Book of Moon on oh, Magician of Faith here, gonna cycle it. Looks like they're gonna see they're gonna be charity or pot of greed. 
I feel like it'd be pretty BM to get back upstart goblin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pot of greed feels right. So I don't got a discard. Don't need that extra card really. I think we haven't seen trap dust from Wells or not. No, we haven't yet. Doesn't look like there's going to be a dust shoot on res. Yeah, I Miss something? No. Lucas is taking their time to think here. He's taking his time. Sinister Serpent's gonna be the play. <laughs> Looking like a mark from last game. <laughs> yeah, that was that was beat Ta down. Attacking it with the critters. <laughs> and here we go again. Yeah, five back row. Attack Magician of Faith here. Just want to deal with it. Could have used Book of Moon on the no. Mystic Swordsman, no. but that doesn't let you cycle, so... Yeah, I was going to say that... I realized this the other day, right? If you, if you play Book of Moon on the Face-Up Magician and Mystic Swordsman attacks into it, because it triggers a damage step... There's Mobius! Mobius. That's what I was thinking last turn, that they could have Mobius, but... Why don't you just drew it this turn for the turn? Looks like Mobius is going to go through here. No solemn judgment from a bounty side. And Just Mobius. Lucas is going to have to pick <laughs> some targets here. Going to pick those two. It's a Sakura 2 armor and Mirror Force. Two That's great pickups. That was a big... <laughs> We've seen Mobius a lot today. Yeah, um, I, guess, I, I guess if you're... If you're the Chaos Turbo player, you just have you have to be prepared for all of these I mean, warrior decks and just having a means of mass multiple back row. I mean, right there, that Mobius is basically gone. It's basically traded for three cards, isn't it? Even though Mystic Swordsman can run over the Mobius, it's still it's still kind of like traded so much. Big P said it best. Mobius is hard to deal with. And 2400 as well, isn't it? I mean... It, it is just especially good versus the, uh, the warrior deck, because uh, their traps are not chainable unless it's the battle phase, right? Most yeah. of the time. Stuff like Solemn Judgment could come down. Yeah, you'd have to have multiple solemn judgment, like, like, uh, yeah, just to make sure that you don't lose to some combination of yeah, know, yeah, heavy plus Mobius. I mean, we saw something similar with MMS game against. Uh, 
Yeah, or exactly. Have, MMF yeah. used the uh, the heavy storm. Charity first. It got. <laughs> Or no, yeah, no, it was charity first. You're right. And that got solemn, and then heavy storm came out afterwards. Yeah, so it's just it's just those little. And actually, warrior players, as I, yeah, warrior players dropping book of moon. I see Labonte is actually. Labonte is not. Yeah, Labonte's definitely saw... on the book train. Yeah, I think I think it's only been Labonte so far that I've seen staying on the book train. But even then, it'd be what one book at most. I don't know. Nope, but across that's a great top deck here. Gonna be able to deal with the, the Mobius that's yeah. was booked. You're so yeah, you're so low. You're so low that you unless Lucas is gonna go, nope, I'm not gonna let you do that. But I think I think if you're Lucas, you're probably Oh, he does go for it. Wow. <sighs> Mystical Space Typhoon is going to deal with the, try to deal with Snatch Deal. The Book of wow. in <laughs> response to reset it. Trade with a lot of cards here, but now Labounty is down to zero cards versus Lucas' is six. It could... Well, eight... Yeah, eight cards. Lucas might be down... Wow, and yeah, just... Just swing with everything. Oh, you're right, that is eight. Why can't I count? Yeah, not... What's my problem? Maybe Storm's not gonna help go back to, like, school. Uh. Heavy Storm, Mystical Mill Force is gone, so even one battle. Yeah, but that Mobius hitting Mill Force, I think, is is a big one. Yeah. yeah wow. Just, just too many cards, and one of them. Yeah, the, the Mobius really did a lot of work there. Like it, it hit oh. probably the two best cards it could have hit. Wow. Three Sakuretsu armor and bottomless. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I, yeah, my only chance was you, you pick MST and even then I think it wouldn't have made too much of a difference. Like... <laughs> uh, with, with double solemns, nah, it doesn't matter, but... <laughs> oh, All three God. solemn judgments in the in the back row there on that Mobius play, so that was going through there. Yeah. That's a, that's least... something that solemn judgment is underrated, or I think it's like rated for, is that it just lets your plays go through, right? So because like Lucas had all three solemn judgments there. None of the back rows mattered because they just were going to be able to force that Mobius through. Yeah, I I think in this instance though, um, like Lucas obviously dug through so much of his deck that you wouldn't have been <laughs> surprised if he had multiple solemn. Is Cylinder the last card? <laughs> 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 Stacker, the DB stacks. But yeah, this is not the first time we saw a magic cylinder. It's like we saw it from Forever Two, didn't we? I mean, a lot of uh, back in tournaments in two thousand five, it was very yeah. common just to side burn cards because when you're going into time, when you do yeah. like a point of damage through burn, like you could just steal games that way. The same kind of concept can apply in uh, even though Season. we don't have time rules here in our uh, tournaments. You yeah. could just attack into something thinking that it's like a Sakuretsu armor and be like, okay, I'm fine with that or whatever. Or if like they haven't activated it before, you think it's a bluff and it's something like a uh, like uh, magic cylinder or it's ceasefire, yeah. right? And then you're just dead. <laughs> yeah, Especially you're dead. with I mean... uh, with with Solomon's going around, right? Everyone's just paying life and doing whatever, not really thinking about their the other decks could be doing this. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was I was going to mention that um, like ceasefire is a is a card that I like a lot as well. It's like yeah, just randomly. So I just love love random band cards. But I so think... getting Mark to Worlds, uh, team getting Mark to Worlds has moved, got to the uh, the grand finals here. Yeah. So they're one finals. step closer to getting Mark to Worlds. They still got to win one more match at the very least. Let's take a look at Team Parnevu versus Ring of Destruction. Uh, let's see if we can find I see the Slash Tap here. And Slash Tap is one up. Yeah, it looks like they are one up here. Let me change the... And 
that changes all around. So this, we're dipping into loser's bracket now. There's not going to be any more winner's games until the grand finals. Uh, so this is loser's round five. If uh, a team loses in this stage of the tournament, they are out. This is a double elimination bracket. What does the Ron mean? I would, I would like them to not talk about Ron Control on the stream, but that's just me. <laughs> the guy who invented it. Let's not get into this. <laughs> They're actually gonna... I'm, prob I'm gonna have to save this replay and see... I'm gonna have to save this particular replay. And see and... what the game one was. See what they've been talking about because there's a lot of stuff that. Well, we'll see it hopefully next next game here. If Johnny just clicks done siding. So it looks like, uh, take a look here at the teams. So we're down to pop. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So Blinga Destruction's team has Fusion here, ROD Fusion. Woa, again, Woa already earned their invite by being on the winning team of the last 3v3. And, uh, Ragnar who I believe won the last FLC that was just played recently. I think last week it was. Played a... Uh, Ratbox. Yeah. Earth Beatdown to win that tournament. So, yeah. a strong team here, but up against no slouches here in uh, Parvenu. This is uh, Anthony Alvarado, Nice Boy, and Johnny Lee Slash Pack here. Yeah, that's... Johnny already up a game. That's really solid. Yeah, I mean, I mean, having seen um, slash that play, uh, it's, it's not too surprising that he's been doing as as well as he, he's been he's been doing. I mean, uh, Johnny leaves no slash. The ARG winner, I believe. Yeah, multiple tops in the Yu-Gi-Oh circuit. Just refreshing to see him play. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he probably, he's more of a cover, more with more with the current format sort of thing than obviously. Uh, I just think he'd like to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll just play whatever format. Linkwin duo into. The Thunder Dragons, you can discard both of them there, followed up by Pot of Greed. I, I always love how, how Slash Tap plays around infinite impermanence, <laughs> even though it doesn't exist. Obviously it doesn't exist here, but I just find it intriguing. Yeah, the default in, in the goat rooms is to um, keep the, like, it's to check off that, uh, like pick zones because yeah. it doesn't really matter but uh Johnny elects to keep it on I, I think to just mess with the opponent that or just to keep things more random because if you're just setting cards willy nilly and not like deliberately placing them it's harder to make a read yeah I think 
No, I... So book a tie you on Magician of Faith, getting back Pot of Greed. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, I mean... Um, Johnny also plays quite a bit on the Eagle Front, so... Um, so what have... You've got the function where you can... You can... You don't have to select the zones yourself. So you don't you don't put them in regular zones, but... This, yeah, it's, it's thing, just a mental thing, that. right? Like, if... A lot of the times, if you have the... Because it's predetermined on the, the zones that get set, if yeah. you keep that... Uh, if you don't turn turn the select zones on, um, a lot of people may just set, like, their best card first, or they might set yeah. their best card last based off of, like, habit, right? To try to, like, play around or try to bluff, like, the, the, the bluff first and then set their, their other card. And if you can catch people on that habit because of how it defaults the zones... Um, yeah. You may be able yeah. to blind MST, blind Dust Tornado, blind Breaker better. Um, yeah, by doing yeah. this, it you sort of put it in the mental space where you're like, okay, um, I'm just going to set randomly. That way you can't get a read on what I'm actually doing. Um, oh. And it looks like <laughs> Slash Tab just got kind of hit with uh, three Just Desserts. <laughs> after, uh, after some <laughs> funky <laughs> plays here from... ROD fusion side, but I mean, that's that sort of what the deck wanted to do, right? It kind of just wanted to, to burn the Chaos Turbo players out. I presume Johnny is on Chaos Turbo. Yeah. It's really, really it's all... not that difficult to do so with, a, with the burn strategy, I don't know especially if he's with... On uh... his... I don't know if he's on his, you know, um, mini rotor package in Chaos Turbo. I saw on the Patreon events. That was quite interesting. So let's see if he's... A water package in Chaos Turbo? No, Rota. Oh, Rota. Rota. Yeah, he was running one Donzaluk, one Exile Force, one Mystic Swordsman, and one Didi Warrior Lady off the top of my head. But yeah, I just I don't know if he, I don't know if he is still on that. Um, yeah, we'll soon find out. While they're siding here... I will be right back. I'm back here. It looks like they're still siding. See how Johnny's gonna go into this. All right, so Johnny's gonna start off here with Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon, that's pretty pretty solid start. Set two 
Step two to back the monster up and pass. And Trap Dust Shoot here coming out after setting and passing. <laughs> Johnny making you know that's a lot to handle. Probably well, got some sort of Bukatayo, Bukatayo Magician of Faith, Trinity, something. <laughs> that would be a lot to handle. <laughs> Something crazy along those lines, eh? Just mm. putting back Cyber Jar. <laughs> Taking back Cyber Jar, probably because of Book of Tayo. Doesn't look like that we're gonna get to know what's in the hand, but. Just a couple sets here from Fusion side. Contributing Gravekeeper Spy or the Thunder Dragon. So opting not to flip Spy, be probably, to, probably to play around Torrential, right? Mm -hmm. That or they already have another Spy the in the hand? <laughs> flop the... So BLS here, getting rid of Sangan. Well, hmm, why would you just flip the Spy? Unless you have the other one in the hand. But... I don't think we know. Oh, because know... he saw Ojama Trio, so that makes sense. Yeah. This way, he wouldn't have been able to play anything else. Yeah, that was just information that us as commentary didn't know, but yeah, but Johnny did, so it made more sense to do it this way. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> annoying. This is an annoying thing. Where people, uh, I mean, we should have mentioned. We should have mentioned. I should have mentioned it earlier to everyone taking part. That ideally they should banish their hands if they see us streaming. But never mind. It's one that it's a. Uh, it's only inconvenient for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Regeki break pop the set monster. Yeah, that's that's. This is where you trap does shoot kind of wrecks these sorts of decks. Yeah, knowing not... the information is really key here. They tried to book a Taiyu. Obviously, it's, it's, you have the Regeki Break. Even if you don't know that it's Morphing Jar, probably just going to yeah. chain Regeki Break to it. <laughs> this is a very, very funky list, because I've seen Pui try something like this before, where you, where you have, like, 
you have a bunch of flip monsters and you just use Book of Tyro to to use Magician of Faith the same time it was set. Uh, I played a deck like this before. It, it, yeah, it's just like a fast yeah. burn deck where you use the jar engine to get to the burn cards as quickly as possible. I thought I saw Scully run one with Heavy Slump as well. There's another mistaken. version of the deck that's the same idea, but you are using like giant true nades to put all the like yeah. back row back into the hand and then just heavy slump them. And just win through, you know, they're down to two cards, so. But it looks like that Trap Dust Shoot, just knowing the hand, this these were potentially a bunch of cards that didn't really matter too much. So Johnny was just able to stick the, B the landing on the BLS, knowing that there was an Ojama Trio face down. That's why the Gravekeeper Spy Play looked a little bit funky. But um, yeah, just being able to oh. stick the BLS and ride it to victory here. So we'll see if... Uh, don't know if, if that knocks Bling of Destruction out of the tournament check to see yeah, if anyone just, from uh, Bling of Destruction is still playing. From what I can tell, it doesn't look like it. I... Sorry. Let's see... So I be believe I confirm this here. Yeah, it looks like Bling of Destruction has been knocked out of this tournament, so Harbinu is gonna face Ring of Destruction and losers round six. Um let's move actually back down to losers round four and take a look at oh, i believe that game might be over in a bit so let's take a quick break here and we'll wait for the the other half of losers round five to get started yeah <laughs> we've got a lot of catching up to do so yeah let's see let's see how this goes
All right, so we're back here with Losers Round 5. Coverage of the team, GOAT Format Championships 3 vs. 3, the Euro Edition. And this is Team Don't Chop Pui versus, uh, I cannot pronounce this team's name, so I'm just going to say Matt Uber's team. <laughs> Matt Ryoshkwan, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> I'm not going to bother. I'm, anyway, I'm it, it's, a, it. it's a team of, of Don't Copy, Chopper, and Pui. And they're facing up against team of, gosh, I can't say any of these names. Uh, <laughs> Matryoshka, Matt Uber, and uh, Gior Giordrino? I can't even say that. I'm so bad. I, no, I'm not going to bother either. Like, I, don't, I, I don't want to butcher his name as well. Although I could... You... Hey! And joining us now, we got hey, Zuckdo Goose. Guys? Good. Um, do you want to give... Uh, you're going to introduce Maskus? I just said joining us now, we have Duck Duck Goose. <laughs> I, th I think there's... Yeah, what's so, up, guys? <laughs> yeah, good, good. Uh, how, how you... Uh, let's have a, let me have a... Yeah, it's a shame, really, um, that you couldn't... <laughs> you couldn't play it out, but... How you found... Yeah. How do you find it? Um, I mean, I had a, a teammate that was, uh, you know, that fell asleep, so we were already at a disadvantage. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so one loss really hurts us. <laughs> of course, yeah, I mean, not your, not your fault there. Like, I guess, yeah, as, as we mentioned, it's, it's catered to, well, European and UK. Right. So yeah, um, I think Matt Uber's on his usual spice of yeah, um, some of the fusilier and tried yeah. to attack into Desk Koala, but uh, taking twenty four there from the attack. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Brutal. He's playing something different. <laughs> Giant okay. rat's gonna come down, and it's gonna trade. Yeah, it can crash with the fusilier here. Go trade. Ring of destruction. And it's gonna get picked up by ring of destruction. Guess you got. Guess you gotta do that, isn't it? I don't think you want your fusilier to uh to die and then to get a, a something off the rat there. Ring yeah, destruction yeah, makes yeah. sense on that play, even though right now you don't have a way to deal with the death koala. <laughs> you could just summon something big. Over the fusilier, or book your fusilier down, flip it back up, reset its stats. Gonna elect to summon below back dragon. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the back dragons. And we're gonna use priority targeting the back row. It's gonna go through. Yeah. See if it actually destroys it though. <laughs> Pretty good chances. You got yeah, about it's 50 50. Chance. Matt over his coin tosses are very accurate. <laughs> not this time. You say it's that and then he time. misses. No, it's not this time, right? <sighs> so we saw... We're seeing a lot of burn. Yeah, this, uh, we saw Don't team. Choppy... Um, play earlier and I Chopper and Pui are both on the Panda Burn deck while I believe Don't Copy was on um Chaos Control. Yeah. And it's some yeah some sort of chaos control. We didn't see any chaos monsters on stream. We haven't seen that in first team. <laughs> but it looks like they're playing uh, at least Matt Uber's playing something <laughs> something spicy. His usual he's playing, his usual he's playing something different than when uh he went against me in the Patreon. Yeah, interesting. We, we I mean, it's the, the reasoning reason. or the monster gaze that <laughs> more time he's sure to play. Call well, the Haunted here, going to target the, the Democ. Got Magician to grab back the cock. To, but this is an awkward spot because you know you're up against Burn and adding cards to your hand is a bit come back. You don't really want to add cards to your hand, but at the same time, you've got to press for the damage, I guess. 
Uh, no, it's absolutely it's a thousand percent the correct to get back the lightning vortex there. It doesn't really matter if the card's back in hand or not. I think that was the only now. spell. That was the only spell. I think. Yeah. Yeah, but you want you want to get it back so that if they do summon something, like you just have an out to it with lightning vortex. Yeah. That. Yeah. Um. I was thinking more from the perspective of adding 200 damage for Secret Barrel in that respect. So it, it's, it's bound to happen. I think also you you got the benefit of pushing the damage. And now you've got Ryusenshi hitting the board. Yeah, you can now meta for the Ryusenshi, which is great. And that's... That's going to be pretty good. But you'll be pretty sad if you see a Snatch Steel take your Dark Magician. Okay, I'll see ya. <laughs> you gotta be careful of that. Yeah, that would be very upsetting. This is a weird matchup for Matt, right? Because if he's playing the Dimension Fusion stuff, uh, activating that card pays 2,000 life points. So, <laughs> chaining a bunch of bird to it might not be, uh, yeah. might, not, might not be ideal for Matt to see. Yeah. But his, his monsters are very big. And can deal a lot of damage quickly versus Chopper's kind of pipsqueak monsters, right? Right. Hmm. Ryu Senshi uh. is pretty strong here because it's going to be able to block some burn damage coming through. Premature. Premature burial on the giant rat. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Well, we could attack mm. into Ryu Senshi. This takes 600 here, dropping down to just 100 life. Still got life to work with, though. Exile Force. See what they grab. Exile Force would be a good one. Yeah, you need the straps. Yeah, Exile Force the Ryu Senshi. Yeah, as, as expected. Chopper grabbing up the Exile Force. And I would presume he's going to set a monster and then a bunch of back row. Yeah, it's good. Pray. Set four? Yeah. No, set two. Just a two. Hyperjaw. Hyperjaw. Yeah, there's, there's a whole host of things that it could be. Yeah. We know Lightning Vortex is in Matt's hand. It's another Des Koala. So that's how we need some gravity fine. <laughs> that's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Unfortunate for Mango. Yeah, Gravity Bond slow is going to slow down the pace for a bit. Chopper thinking here, this isn't a great spot, really. Yeah, it doesn't want to flip anything up. Just being at 100 life is n not ideal, obviously. 
you're still in the game, but you don't have anything to really put pressure on your opponent with. Because if you flip anything up into attack mode, and they just have something to deal with gravity bind, you're right. you're just That's losing true. on the spot. Mm -hmm. Now it's the waiting game. A whole bunch of set monsters here from Chopper's End. That monster game. Hmm. Stop, Jin. So there's the cyber sign. <laughs> so he's on. He's oh. still playing the same rough. deck. Oh my That's god! Rough. I cannot believe this. That is rough. He's lost both giant true nades. Oh my god! Oh, Hitting the board. Interesting. <laughs> Probably was just looking for Jinzo there, right? Yeah, I think he was looking for Jinzo, but even then, do you really want to be attacking? Actually, you got so much, you got lots of life, so you're fine. What is this Monster Gate Mill? Mill Chaos it's Sorcerer, good. Pot of Greed, uh, Sorcerer, Heavy, greed, true, yeah. Double Trunade, Space Siphon, Jar Greed as well. So all the Jar Greeds are gone. 14 cards left in the deck. Two Chaos Monsters, yeah. three Chaos Monsters gone. Jeez. Lost Heavy Storm. That's the big one, I think. All the Dimension yeah. Fusion. Well, actually, gone. not really, because. They could have a third Trunade. Oh, Morphin Jar. Ooh, that's that is risky. Uh oh. We knew one of the cards was Lightning Vortex, and it, yeah, it didn't seem like the other card was very good either. But this is giving Mad Uber five new cards to work with. So there better be some secret barrels here. Hmm. Infamous Pot. <sighs> Pot of Greed's gonna dig for more burn. That's what Chopper's probably hoping for. Could see potentially secret or Ojama Trio into secret barrel. Just desserts as well. You could flip up a koala here. Yeah, I, I was I thought Chopper just set the the card here. That's graceful charities. Graceful. Man, he's looking for it. He's digging. Discards the panda. Cross out. Giant true nade. Yeah, so that giant true nade's gonna banish the demon. Oh, this is very good for Chopper. So you have to flip this up, flip up the another card. Or is this game on board right there? Yeah, it's just game on board. That morphin jar did it. <laughs> and Morphin Jar is very strong. <laughs> yep. Uh, Morphin Jar combined with Graceful and Podigree, I mean, you yeah. probably was finding Podigree regardless if you're drawing five cards and then drawing an additional three off of, Mor off of uh, Graceful Charity that you already had. Cross to see a lot of burn. Burn came out of nowhere. I haven't seen burn in a while.
the B side. <laughs> and Chopper already won the game one. Yeah. A lot, a lot less stress here. <laughs> Matt's got to find some sort of answer to this burn strategy. Something they know that is is not a good matchup for them. Sorry, chat. I'll be back in a bit. I'm back. Okay. Um... These are boards. We do. And Matt's going to elect to go first here. Don't blame him. comes down. Catches a mirror force. I love when Breaker does that. <laughs> yeah, good hit off the Breaker. Hitting the mirror force, wow. <laughs> Are we gonna see Matu both going to go all in and Oh we just gonna stay fine? Swords? <laughs> That's uncommon. I think we saw it in the first game though, it was milled off of a uh, reasoning. Or yeah, monster gate. It's, yeah, it's it's a bit unusual, I'm not going to lie, but and Max played swords and he did well, so uh, it makes sense. For me it does make sense that I picked up. He's with charity. I think it's, it's unusual because obviously um, Panda Burn does do stuff during the battle phase and chips away at you through the battle phase, but it can also just blow you out with a whole bunch of trap cards that do a whole bunch of burn damage at the same time, isn't it? So it buys time in, in Matt's deck for him to assemble the pieces that, that he needs to go off. But it also yeah. combos with giant true nade because what you can do is you can use your true nade, pick your swords back up, and then just play it again to reset the counter <laughs> on it. So it's a little bit better than scapegoat because you're not like clogging your own zones, and it's especially better than scapegoat in this particular matchup because again, you're not giving them zones to, to clog up and just attack with panda for a billion damage. Yeah, you definitely don't. You're not giving them like uh, zones for just desserts as well and uh, secret barrel. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be doing any, anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Set a back row, set a monster. Yeah, turn for swords. Now this does give Chopper time, it seems like. Unless Matt finally does get this, the stuff that he needs to try and combo off. And just play through whatever Chopper's setup is. Chopper does have to be careful giving him tokens, because that turns on Monster Gate. It 
Yeah, that's an interesting dynamic now that you mentioned it, because most decks can't deal with tokens, but obviously Reasoning Gate decks can because of Monster Gate. Chopper passes. That plays heavy storm. We can see a whole bunch of chopper. Uh -oh. Whole bunch of traps. <laughs> Just desserts. There's oh, the other trio. <laughs> and then chaining Book of Moon as well to reset any damage that's coming through. So that's going to be 2,000 or 4,000 to the face. That's not enough to turn off the... Uh... Turn off the Dimension Fusion, though. You silly, you're coming down. I don't think he plays it though. Yeah, I don't think Matt plays that mention. Uh, oh, he, yeah, yeah. He, he probably plays just play Stein, right? Yeah. So yeah, Stein's he's sure playing the same build that I went up against him last week. He um, he's not playing fusion. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, so yeah, I don't think it's, yeah. It's, Burn is just, you know, it's just that, that type of, um, I guess when you're playing Stein, it's, it's like, you know, obviously you need the 5,000 life and Burn right. just eats away at it, but at the same time, you're running stuff like Jinzo. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has to change his whole game plan because he's right under Stein, so he can't even do that. And he's gonna go for a panda. Millforce is gone, mm. so you don't have to worry about battle about Millforce. Well, it's, you don't have to worry about Millforce. I love Fusilier, but it doesn't seem to have been working out for <laughs> for Matt here. It's kind of been a liability. The stats, and I don't think that's his fault. There he comes, the panda. Goes for the goat. And it goes through. Yeah, it didn't Chopper much. takes the win. <laughs> Giant rat, it's a panda. Wow. Yeah, not not really much. I think Matt Matt realizes that uh, not really too much. It wasn't lethal, but you know. Yeah, there just wasn't that much that he could uh he could really get to. No, it wasn't lethal. Chopper is right, but no, nah, but I think I think but no, nah, but if if you're um if you're Matt, then you just say I scoop it up. Accidentally tabbed out a dueling book. <laughs> Professional streamer here. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So it looks like with that win... Don't Choppy has moved on. Hmm. They're gonna um, they're gonna go up against damage step here. Um how many teams are left? 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six teams left in the tournament here. Got yeah. getting marked to world, sitting in the in the grand finals. <laughs> Team Rampage number squad number one in losers round eight. Uh, Damage Step is going to face Don't Chopley in just a moment. And uh, right now, Ring of Destruction is facing off against Parnivu. Or Parvenu. I always say stuff wrong. Let's uh, hop into Anthony Alvarado versus Haley B. Yeah. That should be a good game. <laughs> and it looks like it's a uh, Library versus... <laughs> versus a Chaos variant, seems like. Ooh. Jesus Christ, library. Oh, the reversal quiz is gone. <laughs> I hate that. Well, it looks a lot what of a match to be paired up with at this <laughs> time in the tournament, man. <laughs> This is game three between the two. God. There doesn't seem to be a ton of engine, though, from the library side. Thinking on second discard for... for Haley here. Anthony, I know is livid right now. It just looks so weird to have that sounds like that. In fact, the weird bit here is is how Haley B is halfway through the. He still had to pay the cost to five hundred, obviously. Um, but Haley B is halfway through the deck, almost halfway through the deck, and still seen, haven't seen library, which is not ideal. N not ideal, and that's just not... giving. Alvarado time. Uh oh. And now it's just awkward as well. Cheating. Isn't it? MST or Regeki break off Wing Blast. Well, Dustinator is going to hit the Archfiend's Oath here so it doesn't resolve. We know there's a feather on Haley, in Haley's hand. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I don't believe it resolves. No, you don't. You don't draw. You don't. Um. No, it doesn't. Effect does not resolve. So uh, I'm going to message. It's a. It's an entire cost to pay five hundred and then declare a yeah, name. I've but yeah, it, but still, it not... still needs to be face up to actually resolve. I'm pretty sure. No, it's it's. I'm sure it works like um continuous cards. Mm -hmm. I, what I'll do is I'm going to, um, ask for rulings. Um, I'm pretty sure because it's it's a continuous. Isn't it kind of like premature burial? Like when you yeah. Pay well, you, you pay the cost of eight hundred and you dust. I guess. Um, I'm trying to think of another example. I guess it's because all continuous spell and trap cards, I believe, work right. in the same. So I'm going to um, ask for help. Uh, 
I'm going to message. Well, I'm, I, I don't know because we knew it was um, Archfiend's Oath. Um, once per turn, you can pay 500 to declare one card name. So 500 and declare card name is cost. Right. If the card doesn't remain on the field, it shouldn't be added to hand. I'm going to message. Um, yeah, I think they need a judge over. Yeah, I'm going to ask um, our head judge, TK. Uh, thanks, TK, once again for. Um, yeah, TK, thanks once again for being our judge for this event. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to message put there that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty. As I said, I'm pretty, pretty confident. That's. I'm. I'm going to double check our chat as well. Nothing. Well, checking with CK just to make sure this goes through. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm pretty confident this is resolved without effect. So, cost is still paid. Yep. So, let me reword. So, so continuous cards resolve without effect if they're not on the field at resolution. Cost is still paid. Basically, confirms what I said, which is after you pay the five hundred, if the Archfiend's oath does not remain on the field, you don't get the effect. And as I alluded to, it also applies to continuous trap cards. In fact, if I took, say, Royal Oppression from later formats where you pay the 800 and, well, if I take Royal Oppression, pay 800, trap, attempting to get the special summon, and then I flip Dust Tornado, hit the Royal Oppression, the Royal Oppression doesn't go through. So the same thing with Archfiend's Elf. Right. Did, was that decided on... Okay. So yes, yeah, this is decided. TK has confirmed the ruling. I will put. I will put. Um. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a continuous. It's just how continuous cards work. Yeah. Of course. Um. <clears throat> yeah, this is a tight game. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, um, so hopefully they'll get back to playing. Um, yeah, um, um, it does, it does, it does. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, he's not happy with the decision. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, take, I'm going with what TK has said, and this is, well, I mean, like, <laughs> this is my interpretation as well. It's, it's just that TK has formalized um, how it's worded. Did he formalize it to you directly, or did he formalize it in the, um, I, the actual put the... general chat? No, I've... <sighs> 
Okay, so what I did was, there's we've got a specific um, ruling, we've got a specific tournament help channel, uh, okay. and I put the ruling there. Okay. And I've asked, the question I, I asked was, does Tornado Archfiend's Oath, okay. after 500 has been paid, does card get added to hand? Okay. I'm just making sure so, we're, all, we're all Gucci here. <laughs> yeah, no, so it's, it's not, um, Alvarado is, is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I... Oh, it was earlier this afternoon, okay. Well, literally just... Just well, now. I, I didn't... It's, it's now... It's about five minutes ago. Yeah. So... <laughs> okay, so we all should be Gucci here. This should not resolve like we all thought. Um... So, yeah, um, <laughs> that's why I asked I asked um, Hayley B to hold up for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... So let's continue with the duel, please. Um, it does. Oh, they're still asking. Whilst, whilst we, whilst we get this um, rulings, because yeah, I. Like, I don't want to overrule anyone. About as I said a lot of times on the stream, it. Continuous spelling trap cards work the same. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you've been paying five hours. It's been a long day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Like... <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Um, whilst, whilst we get the rulings trying to um, be sorted out, I'm going to be back in a bit. Every little thing matters against that library. Yeah, because the the question I asked is exactly what I said, isn't it? That um, that um, Haley. Okay, it doesn't matter whether the Archfiend's Oath is already on the field or or is activated from the hand. Then you use its ignition effect. It's right. the same. It's the same thing. So would that ruling happen? Would it would it be the same with inspection? Yeah. Um, yes. The spell card, but you just don't look at the hand. You pay right. the cost, and yeah. the dust. And you, oh, okay. All right. All right. So it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Um, even mass driver, for example, like mass. You activate mass driver. You mm -hmm. tribute a monster. If you if you chain dust tornado, hit the mass driver. That mass driver, you still have to tribute as a cost, but you don't inflict the four hundred points of damage right okay so it doesn't uh, yeah it's just... <laughs> yeah it's just oh. it's it's just a weird Yu-Gi-Oh rule because i see like Haley was trying to bring up examples of, of how like monsters work like if you breaker or something if it's like like if you use breaker and then priority to to target something and then like torrential you know like they still it would still break whatever that wasn't torrential because like you've already activated the effect but it, it's just like a special property that like monsters, I, I believe, have. Where something like a, con a continuous trap, continuous spell, or a field spell that has an, an activated effect like this. No. If you destroy it on the field, it can no longer resolve. So. Mm. It's, yeah. it's just a weird <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh ruling. So yeah, but it's been clarified. Okay, so dust resolves. We both go to the grave. So after that all resolved, 
Thunder Dragon on Haley's side, just going to cycle for the other two Thunder Dragons. We know that there's a Feather in the hand, along with two Thunder Dragons and two cards that we personally don't know about, but Anthony Alvarado may know about them as well. Um, and now it's on Alvarado to see if they can rack up some, uh, some damage. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Got there in the end. <laughs> it all worked itself out. <laughs> interesting to see that. I guess. I guess one interesting thing. I'm. I'm having a look at um, Alvarado's graveyard, and I see that he has sided in Berserk Gorilla, which makes sense. Like you want to, you want to shave down the shave down the amount of times they can keep. Using Archfiend's Oath, I guess. Yeah, you if yeah. if they're stuck like Haley looks like they are, you want to. Uh... Yeah, it's a great idea to push against those type. Of yeah, things. you want to get unstuck. Yeah, you want to rush them, and you want to punish them for doing that. So what's weird here is that I see that Haley has. Um, we know the feather was on the top of the deck for for Haley, right? So they could have stacked Pot Agreed. With Feather last turn, discarding like a Thunder Dragon or something just as useless. And then they could have used, like, they draw the pot, see what's on top, and then they could have used the Thunder Dragons in hand to get shuffles if they didn't like what was on top. Hmm. Before they used Pot Agreed. Electing not to do so. Alvarado thinking here should play quicker. Upstart Goblin gonna find a Koichi off the top. Give Haley's extra thousand life points here. Oh, he has the true dust shoot coming up. Does have lights in the graveyard, but doesn't have any darks. So no chaos online for Alvarado. So, yeah, Convulsion has revealed the hand. It's heavy, heavy, or Zork heavy, Deco, Deco. So, yeah. potentially we could see maybe like a Regeki break or a Wing Blast, spin something back to the, the top on Haley's side. Um, Anthony doesn't have a dart to push. Yeah, but if, if they discard a, the Deco, one of the Decos in hand for like a discard trap, they right. can um, they can summon their Zork summon a uh, a deco swing in for 53 dropping Haley down to yeah there's the regeki there you break. go that's what you said right there regeki break discard i would drop Haley down to 17 i think i'm right i'm not very good at math i just thought six was eight a moment ago so Not game shot, but it does limit the activations of Archfiend's Oath. We'll see if Haley wants to chain this face down, though. I think you're targeting always the face down. I don't, I don't think Convulsions really care that much. Ooh, it was the Black idea. Pendant. Wow. So the Black Pendant can do the... the 500. Yep. It actually That's has to deal the 500. Card. And that's actually that's actually pretty that's actually pretty yeah um still get 500 burn damage because they were sent from fields of graveyard even though it was set um but yeah that's a pretty good hit because now now Haley has Haley B has to have both has to have a bunch of and heavy storm comes down. Has to have a bunch of um, spell spell reproductions and um... oh, it was, it was Berserk Gorilla. Wow, was it another deco? Um, has a pretty big swing. So yeah, that's fifty nine instead of the forty nine. Yeah, so now Haley, or, I think that's that's pretty much game over that, because guys. Haley needs to have multiple spell recursion cards and there's two Thunder Dragons in hand. 
So so two Thunder Dragons, a Feather, and then three cards we're unsure of. Yeah, but I think I think if you're Haley, you scoop it up. In but I mean, first. so both of your... Oh, oh yeah, I don't know, 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 know about that. Oh, my God. He has this, the library. You can't play you heavy. Can't play you heavy can't play heavy. Hold up. You can't play heavy. You can't play heavy yeah, storm. There's, there's no spell and traps to destroy yet. You have to set a spell and trap and then do it. You can't. Anthony realizes this. He realizes this. He's like, he can't, he can't play it. No, he cannot. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You no, you can't. Can't. Please. <laughs> I know. I know. Fair to find the thing, but please don't do this to us. You can't. There's 11 people here, bro. Like, yeah, it's no way. So, so what's weird is that they're saying they don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh rules yet. They're picking one of those intricate, like rules-heavy decks to play. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I just there's a reason. Ah, anyway, <laughs> sorry. I just, I just like, like. So sorry. I just, I just like. For me, I just made it. I make it a point that I. No, the rules. I mean, I'm I don't know the rules either, to be fair. But I know at least you can't heavy storm when there's no cards on the board. No. I mean, don't get me started on some of the more complicated rulings, but I just I don't know how or why, but I just I just find that by knowing half these rulings, like um. <laughs> <laughs> crazy that user as a piece of shit <laughs> oh my god oh that's brutal <laughs> I mean it's they're they're fine though you can still like well they're actually no, not they I need they I need just... like specifically if they're if they're heavy storming for no reason or at least trying to they need it specifically like another card okay this works this works so this goes to defense. Oh, don't play heavy. Do no, not play you heavy. Have to play that Actually, heavy. no, you have to. You kind of have to, though. Yeah, That's you, really might, you might have to play heavy. You have to feather for pot of greed, put it back on top, and then heavy your thing to draw yeah. it. That's rubbish, yeah. because because both of the win condition pieces are in the graveyard. I mean, you can you can get them back with uh, spell reproduction, spell your other feathers. Spell. Yeah. There's no yeah. convulsions left, though. That's oh my god. That's terrifying. I don't yeah, think there's a win condition cool. left here. But there there's, no... It's possible. It's still possible to go through, but... Nah. Black Pendant's gone. I mean, you could just sit on the level limit. No, but... Sorcerer banishes... I know, banishes the... There goes the feather. Discard for cost. Oh, golly. Yeah, just has a discord thunder. Painful to, I mean, like, I remember Mox, I don't blame Moxie's the last time he had to do some streaming and he just like, nah, I'm gonna watch the, I'm gonna watch the, um, ACP versus Kong <laughs> game instead. It just, I, I guess you got the stat pot, but here's the weird, like, yeah, but at this stage, you've, you've, you've lost the spell reproduction. And don't forget, spell re reproduction, you need to have two spells in hand. So you need to basically have a fistful of spell cards to be able to get to it. So yeah, I think I think if I'm if I'm Haley here, as painful as this is, and I don't... I can stack pot, but it's not going to do me much in the long run, even if I can play heavy. <sighs> okay, um... And I'll be right back. Whilst we wait for this turn to pe play out. Yeah, I think he's, I think they gotta just put back the uh, the pot of greed. I, I don't see any any other play here unless they're just doing something to stack the deck and. Hmm. I can't believe he really tried to heavy nothing. <laughs> Well, this works then because you get the you put it back on top of the deck, and then you still have the, the level limit here. That I mean, the the library is going to get banished, but yeah, 
Yeah, if that's Magician of Faith, this game's probably just over, huh? I would say so. They tune tabled for Toon World, then set another monster. Yes. Flip to Koichi. Okay, so it wasn't Magician of Faith. This Koichi is going to go to defense, but we get a draw out of it. Wing hasn't been played yet, so yeah, that's. Heavy Storm now. Getting rid of Torrential and the level limit for Cyber Jar. Was the Pot of Greed activated? Yes, it was. So we know Toon World, a Thunder Dragon, and then an unknown card here. We're going to know a couple more with the Library, Double Reload, Feather, and Upstart. Anthony's not banished their cards yet. Yeah, one was banished with Sork here. Trap Dust Shoot, Magic Jammer, Upstart, Dust Tornado, and Thunder Dragon on Anthony's end. Mm. So no monster that can hit the board and be impactful. It's still Haley's turn. Haley's got... Nine cards left in the deck, though. Double reloads being added to the hand. Here comes a feather. No convulsions left. The wind conditions are in the graveyard, so needs to find ways to recover it, but also needs to pay a thousand somehow. And they do have the Toon World to do that. So this could be Toon World to pay and then would have to try to string together like reload into Feather. Like you'd have to set the Have to set the feather first. How many cards is this? So two. And then it'd be a reload for four. This game has changed dramatically. Yeah, that cyber jar was exactly what the doctor ordered for Haley. Oh, and they still have upstart as well. So they can just upstart first. See what their next card is. Cycle it. But they're going to have to activate the Toon World, then reload. Try to feather something back on top. Do they have spell reproductions left? They do have spell reproductions left, so it's not 
out of the realm of possibility where they could just spell reproduction the other piece back after feathering the first one to the top and then drawing that other piece with uh, with library. Oh, but so they don't they might not know what the top card of their deck is based off of uh Yeah, he's playing it blind. It's it's gotta likely be a spell though, unless they have some weird Oh, it could be like the third library, imagine. No, yeah, that's probably Ooh, imagine if you activate reversal quiz and just right. call it wrong. Reloading first. Brand new hand. I'm not sure if I would have done it this way, but maybe it's better. I, I'm not sure exactly everything that's in Haley's hand. I only knew like a we only knew a couple cards. I guess the likelihood of them drawing a card that will let them activate. Well, that's a huge Racial one. Charity. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, discard the Thunder Dragon that's left. And this is, it looks like that the other the other sides of the teams have finished up, so this is the deciding game for these two teams. This is the deciding game. It, it all wow, depends on if, uh, if Haley here can assemble the, the, the combo after... <sighs> Playing, playing against a, a beatdown from Berserk, Gorilla, Chaos, Sorcerer, Breaker. <laughs> Library resolves. We're go we'll get to draw a card. Right. Second start. upstart goblin. Many reversals he played. Imagine he plays reversal in the second, like Thunder Dragon. Jesus. Still needs spell reproduction and feather would be the the least card intensive way to assemble the combo again, but needs to still pay a thousand life points. Hmm. We saw the we saw the tune world earlier. Oh, still has archfiends left oaf. in the deck, but even so, even if they miss, that's fine because they wanted to. Do they have a... They have True Nade left, so they can pick this back up. So that would pay a 1,000 there. I just wonder what those other cards could have been, because I feel like... I feel like throwing the Toon World away was a mistake. Like, you could have just used that to pay yourself down. Right. Hmm. Hmm. So now they have to use... If they don't use the Archfiend to... Activate. There's another Archfiend. Okay, so they had double Archfiend's Oath. Oh, we only saw the one. Yeah, we didn't see the... Uh, the other one here. So they can Archfiend's Oath... Twice. It doesn't matter if... Oh, it does matter if they uh if they get it wrong. He has to play this very carefully. I think this just could have been avoided if they just used the tune world. Maybe they're doing it this way to get the extra draws to just confirm what the top card of their deck is. Right. Maybe it's still library in the maybe it's still a library in the deck. Alright, this this might be risky. Uh oh. Oh reproduction?
So calling library. And they hit it. Wow. wow. I mean, if it's a 50-50, they, they should mean, know all the cards in their deck, right? So yeah. they call it wrong. They call it wrong. It's going to the graveyard. But I don't Maybe think they can. They... Okay. And Founders. then you, you can feather discard the library because you got the extra card out of it. Put something back on the top. Draw it with Archfiend's Oath. And then Reversal. spell reproduction the, the pendant back for, for game. Yeah. That's wow. Wow. Well, I don't know. I think there was a simpler way to do it, but this was more <laughs> dramatic. Wow. Here's a weird thing, but maybe like, the thing is that if you played the tune world, you wouldn't have been able to, to oath, have a real note. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to oath, which makes sense as to why they didn't use the tune world. But I don't know. I just feel like it was. There's probably a more narrow path into setting it up so that you know I guess they didn't want to run the risk of activating reversal quiz and it being library on the top, right? Yeah. Or Thunder Dragon if they reloaded everything back in. Yeah. And the reversal well, we'll quiz find out what they had. was the card destruction was the last card. Wow. So it looks like that uh Haley's team here is gonna knock out Parva new. So Team Ring of Destruction is moving on to Losers Round 7. We're going to... <laughs> hop on over to... the other side of the bracket here on uh, Losers' side for Losers Round 6 here. Um, I believe... It's just ten ply and chopper left. Game three. Panda versus burn. Burn versus burn. Is this a mirror? So it looks like. No, it looks like ten ply is on. Thunder Dragon deck. Hallow Life Barrier. Hallow Life Barrier, sleeper pick here. <laughs> That's clutch. I haven't seen that card in so long. Yeah, it looks like that they they somehow gain control of the panda. Uh -oh, oh, but Justice there's a Just Zerts. Desserts right as we joined wow. in. So it's going to be oh my God. over for, for team damage step here. Nothing that they could really do about it besides... I don't know, maybe holding this Hallowed Life Barrier, but it seemed like that... He needed there a was, Wombat. I think there was Burn situation. on the way. Woof. Wow, it is. So yeah, that's our top... We've got a top four now. So top is... four teams. Let's take a look at them here. So sitting in Grand Finals is Team Getting Mark to Worlds. That's Mark, of course, playing on the LRG Sigma account. Uh... That's also Lucas the Heretic and Moxie's. They're sitting in Grand Finals. In uh, Finals of Losers is, is Team Rampage. Uh, their, their first squad here with Ghost Rider 15, SDL Killa, and John Bouncy. And coming up, we're going to see Team Ring of Destruction. And on that team we have... Randage, Nasty Beast 96... And Haley B. And uh, going up against Don't Chop We. Just Don't Copy, Chopper, and Pui. It's <clears throat> a nice combination of both names. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So um, those are our top four teams. Only one team. The winners of the tournament here will earn... All three members will earn an invite to the GOAT Format World Championships, again, being played at the end of the year in October. There is still time to qualify for the tournament. Next week, we will be running a standard GFC event, double elimination as well, but not a team tournament. You enter as an individual. 
top performing duelist based on entry will uh, earn invites to the world championships. If you already have your invite, you'll be added to uh, top seeding points to have a higher seed than other invitees. And also uh, a cash prize for the, the GOAT Format Championships as well. Winner will receive $100 minimum and then a, a bonus based off of how many players enter per over 100. So if 101 players enter, it's $101 in your pocket. You know, I got to play in that. <laughs> <laughs> and so on and so forth. So if it goes up, it goes up. And winner of that, of course, will earn an invite as well. And we're just waiting on the teams to get settled here. So we will take a quick break.
And we're back here with the top four. <clears throat> this is... Team uh, Ring of Destruction versus Don't Chop Pui. Right now we have Don't Copy here did. versus Randage as our feature. rather play uh, against Mira than an OCK. <laughs> <clears throat> That's Tornado at the end phase. Taking up MST. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you play <clears throat> that's what happens when you play chaos control you're trying to be copy. ahead of, you try to be ahead of the next player and they're already ahead of you look at that yeah i guess, yeah. I guess we're gonna have a repeat of um well we're gonna have um, same matchup that that moxies was playing with chaos control we're gonna actually see um don't copy, play the deck, and yeah, it'd be interesting to see the CBS. Breaker Summon. Likely to be. Oh, Ooh, space! <laughs> but here's, oh. the, here's the thing though, like, like, you, like all these cards are basically, <laughs> are basically blowing away back row hate cards, effectively, isn't it? That's what that's what they're doing here. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they're going for. I don't think you mind be, with the breaker picking up anything for free, though. You know. Nope, they're fine. Don't copy. No, no. Anyway. They started? No. no. I will drop them a message in a bit. It literally doesn't matter. Just play. Yeah. Continue on. <laughs> Tsukiyomi gets rid of the breaker. Don't worry, don't worry, don't copy. You've got Maskis as well and um and Duck Duck Goose here, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, continue. We're going to keep playing here. I've been given the go-ahead. And who's this breaker picked up by? Sukiyomi? Yeah, Sukiyomi. Okay. 
I didn't see anything in the, on the field, so I was like, ah, I think it's Tsukiyomi. <laughs> it, it happened so fast. Plus Chopper was just like, ah, or I called him Chopper. Plus still Coffee was like, I'm just going to put my my guy in the graveyard for no reason. Here you go. Kochi is flipped. Is that the Kochi? Does he have the clothes? Mm. And he doesn't. It's about a phase. He had eight in hand. I think you guys said two. Set two play on MST anyway. Monsters to the back row. The two back row. Play is back. Yeah, don't copy him. Just swinging into something. Tsukiyomi reset. I think we see Brandage do this a bunch today. Just set Tsukiyomi up. Yeah, bluff. Bluff set. Um. Busted a lot of monsters. I think, I think there was one. I can't remember which replay it was. One of the matches that we were watching earlier, Mascus, where I saw. Maybe I can't remember who it was, but I saw Vantage having. Actually, it was versus Moxies. I think triple moth. Sacrifice face down. <sighs> Chaos Her command. Moses. Oh my god. Into view century. Yeah, this is a this is a neat little play, playing around torrential even further by going into Ryu Senshi, so that even nice. if they try to change, just gets negated. Um, correct way to and do it, I think, but I don't yeah, think Doctor Grave. As I well. don't think Coffee would torrential in that spot. Chaos Command Magician. Not a monster you see every day. Mermaid comes up. This is for copy. We see a book. Yes, we do. Probably. 
probably the best response to a Downton Abbey strike, most of the time. Move a light and dark. Sorcerer comes out. He sent she gets banished. So don't copy answered pretty well. The great answers are you sent you. Up oh, space. Oh. oh. <laughs> he flipped her before it's by mistake. <laughs> Thought it was call the haunted. <laughs> A different limited card. Oh my god. Uh, very different artwork. <laughs> what, what a misclick. <laughs> maybe, maybe Randage was uh, psyching their opponent out. Oh my god. Hey, it happens, man. It happens. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Randage with the two. Sad. Yeah, that's usually the best answer for you, since you can't so so. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, we'll see how fast um we'll see if Vandage can um get back into the game. Yeah, it seems kind of he has control right now. Yeah, so so does one in a certain situation. <clears throat> Damn, that is rough. He is out. Yeah, he's he's no good. Disconnect. Well, we'll move oh. over to the nasty beast game. Yeah, his internet went out. So we're going to move over to the game that's actually being played right now. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, NB96 versus Chopper here. Looks like NB96 is on a Bazoo return deck. Okay, fine. We're going to switch over. <laughs> and we saw Chopper quite a bit today on the Panda Bird strategy. Graceful charity. Man, he must have pushed on Chopper. He's at 17. Uh, it looks like it. A wow. BLS banish, though. Must have been for the zoo food. Every storm is gone, which means that MB96 will need Magician of Faith to grab it back. Yeah, 
it's not good to see heavy in the grave against a burn deck. Well, it's mostly well, that then li- again, li- he could trigger it too. So, yeah, if anything, is that level limit envy, envy B that's sort of down because Bazuzo actually no, Bazuzo's level four. I thought right. for a moment, I thought Bazuzo was level three. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Is he level three? Oh my god. Uh, is being played. Does he have the quality? Oh, so. <laughs> Thing is, are we going to. Yeah, I think. Double koalas. I knew it. I knew Whoa. it. I saw it. 32. I, it. I was like, is he going to flip the koala? Oh, my God. And Panda. Just a tap for game. Wow. Is it? wow. No, no, not quite. That's um, 400 plus 22 makes it 26. But if um, Chopper's got if Chopper's got any burn cards yeah, in the form well, of Secret Barrel or secret, Ceasefire. That's... Secret Barrel or Ceasefire. Yeah, yeah, so it's not any burn card, but... Any burn card that isn't just desserts or John Well, if they summon a monster. <laughs> summon <in> this combat. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Is heavy storm I don't know gone? who's gonna. Heavy Storm is gone. Yikes. Yeah, Heavy is gone. Because if, like, Heavy Storm was there, Just Desserts would have been able to be activated. Well, Heavy does. It does work well against Burn, but sometimes it could trigger it. You know? So. Yeah, uh, I mean, in death. this in this exact spot, it works against. Um, oh just yeah, desserts. late game. Yes, yes. Breaker. Bring us to level B. Yeah, just say yo. Interesting tactic. <laughs> it's intimidating. <laughs> Said it's, oh, it John. was a geometry yeah. though. Okay. <laughs> so, any attack that tough. goes through on a token is lethal. Yes. Well, any attack full stop. <laughs> because, because I don't know. I have I a did. feeling he doesn't have anything. He said he set those too fast. <laughs> Just gonna try. Just run over breaker. You can run over breaker. That's game. Oh, he does have Sakuratsu. See, I would have kept went for the koala. Yeah, I would have kept the koalas in attack mode and just attacked the token. I guess, I guess Chopper's scared of Mirror Force. But still, any burn card. Oh, return! <laughs> Going down to 150, get back BLS? Ring of... Magic Cylinder. Wow. It survives by 100. Oh no, call of the haunted. Yeah, pick Panda back up. It's too powerful. Can't crash into Ooh. it. Can't run it over. Damn, and you're attacking the soldier already. And that soldier's getting banished. Does Chopper have anything? I think we'll you just here. attack over anything. Trying to attack the uh, the token. Uh, that he was should successful. have just went with the koala, right? Oh my god. That was good. That would have been game of tournament. Uh, yeah, I would have kept the I would have kept the koalas in attack. Like, I don't <laughs> That seemed right to me. Alright. Maybe put one to defense if you're scared of uh of the BLS, yeah, but but to, but to have him have like two protection cards is highly unlikely if he doesn't have man. It's reasonable. You haven't seen the mirror force yet. You want to play around as much as possible. Boy, do I hate this deck. He <laughs> panned it. Oh. 
It's funny because I prepared a sideboard for this, this burn deck, last qualifier, and I didn't run into it. Not once. Instead, I ran into Matt Uber's reasoning gate. <laughs> Right. Was that game one? This is game two, right? Uh, this this was game one. Okay, so game two. Wow, rejection with the man up. He's man. Oh, Sakuretsu. All right. That would be crazy. It's risky setting a Sakuretsu alone like that. You know, as a player, everybody's, you know, afraid of breaker. I don't know if Chopper runs that. The, yeah, yeah, I think he does. Sangin. Poke for a thousand. Yeah, no fear on, on uh, NB's side. Now Sangin, he gets through. Three back rows and Sangin will get through. <laughs> Nobleman a cross out and B keeps chopping away with Sangin. Monster. Nobleman taking care of Magician of Faith. Great pickup from Chopper. Interesting to see Nobleman still kept in. <laughs> I know there's this I know there's Jaws and um and No, against Pops. against a burn, even Panda, you still have to have Nobleman. They set koalas and all types of stuff. I guess yeah. I was gonna say koala. Um but I don't know, it's I guess I guess it's one of those weird ones. I I don't know what I think. Oh, wow oh, tree soldier. <laughs> Is that a vanilla card I see? What is going on here? Uh, I mean, it's fine. It doesn't... Specifically good against, uh... Ceasefire, which is interesting. Decent wow. stats. Is, is a different typing than, um... It's not an effect boss. Skilled Dark. Yeah, Skilled Dark is a spellcaster. Yeah, it's, it's, a, different, it's a different closer. typing, so, like... Putting a skilled dark next to a chaos sorcerer isn't always the best for like tribe infecting virus. And you're not really playing skilled dark for its defense, even though its defense is 200 points better than Archfiend Soldier. There goes the geometry of Locked Field. <clears throat> wow. And be deciding to ring destruction on Sangan. Yeah. Okay. 
saying? Give wow. Him a little, give Not him a little <clears throat> Wow. He's... What's... Wing Blast! Whoa! Spin away set. Huh. Give it out to the gravity bind, though? Yeah. That seems... I think that would have been better if it was a break. Oh, that's why. Wow. Well played. Oh, a second gravity bind was face down. Yeah, that was a smooth play. I think I would have played heavy first. I Didn't they just wow. set the, the other gravity bind? Or was I wrong? Play 900, wipe, clear your board. And you know that set monster's not doing much. That set monster likely to be a koala. So you MB played that good. He played that perfect. And the great thing about that play is that MB has actually reduced his hand size. Yeah, it did, it's not really mattering too much there for the hand size. But I think most important was just clearing all those tokens. Yeah, yeah to, to add case, more guys to the board. Koala. Yeah, now you attack here with the DD Warrior Lady. Whoa! Wow. Oh. oh my god. That was not expected. <laughs> that was rough. But no monsters from Chopper's side and three monsters from NB. It's game. It's game. And Chopper just scoops it up. And we're going into You see, that's three. the double edged sword. That's the double edged sword of Cyberjar. It can help you, but it can mess you up also. Yeah, that's the thing though. The band, when you're playing band decks, you kind of. Isn't it? You kind of want. You kind of need it to compensate for when you do. Kind of burn your hand. Well, right. Yeah, the the thing about burn is that they don't necessarily care about card advantage in the same way like a um like a chaos control or chaos turbo deck would, right? Any of the yeah. the more fair decks that, we're, that we see play, um, they exchange not caring about card advantage for just raw damage, and they actually thrive when you have more cards than them, right? Because they're just going to do more damage to you if you have more cards. The problem, right. though, is that those cards don't generate any advantage, and they don't really trade with anything. They're trading with life, which is still a resource, but it's not like... It's not the same as trading with, like, a card, right? It's not like they... It's not like they're MSTing something and going one for one. They're dealing, like, what, 2,000 to you, but that doesn't necessarily, like, always win them the game, and um, it doesn't stop, like, attacks from going through. So playing the jars is important for Burn because it kind of lets them see a lot more of their cards and can also reset wow. like the balance of the game as well. Knock on a yeah. Desk Wall is very good. Yeah. Only banishing two though. Maybe one got sided out or the other one's in the hand. Yeah, just get a whole bunch of Burn cards in the hand. That's all you're really using your jaws for. That, but, but it's only ever... It's decent if like it happens on your opponent's turn. But it very much depends on what they hit off of the jars as well, since they, you know, the jars affect both players. Uh, yeah. You really want to be able to control when the jars are flipping. So, um, yeah, just kind of, it was a, it was a desperation set from Chopper. Clearly, the right thing for him to do in that spot. He yeah. just kind of got unlucky and hit the uh, the burn stuff yeah. first instead of the instead of monsters that he needed to protect himself with. B with the pot of greed. So yeah, pot of greed. Already has two thunder dragons in the hand. Set the Koichi, Koichi. will let him draw another card. You, this is a weird bit, isn't it? If you think about it, because if you're the um, oh the third he one. had the last yeah he had the last one yeah yeah, yeah. It, it should have been a signal when they banished too. Yeah, if you if you have um, this is a weird thing about this matchup, isn't it? Because you, if you're the thunder dragon. If you're a player with Thunder Dragons, it's kind of awkward because you... It's, it's almost like the Panda Burn deck just takes full advantage of you filling your hand with everything. But it depends on the, the Turbo deck. They could be running breaks and stuff to discard. Yeah, I think you're yeah, overvaluing like, like the, the disadvantage that Thunder Dragon might be giving them if they're stuck with stuff that they can't 
discard, then obviously it's bad, but break. it only I, really I mean, affects them if they're in a scenario where they have just, wow. like, five cards, right? Wow, this game is over. I'm surprised. I think I think MB's just going to swing an attack. Oh my wow. god. Wow! He's just going balls to the walls. And uh, he could up. attack here. He could also do... Uh, it depends on what's what's in his hand. He could use the yeah. Chaos Sorcerer to banish a, a token and make space. Yeah. This way he's not That's taking any damage. Yeah. But here it's like, look at... Look at it, look at this. This is where the... The burn deck kind of suffers, is that... Their traps don't usually trade with cards. So having these two cards is like... It's just not going to do anything versus Envy's deck. Ooh. <laughs> Token and attack. Is he going to swap? Looks like he's going to swap. <laughs> and this is why I love having you increase your swap against, against burn decks, because they're going to give you all these tokens. And you just go, nope, I'll give you a token instead. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Um, you don't have to worry about chaining scapegoat, right? Everything that you get off of them is is pretty solid too. I think like the worst thing that could happen is, is you get a rat from it. But yeah, giving them a token is really strong. They're gonna take three hundred on top of uh, whatever happens here for the token. Yeah, because don't for, for the viewers at home, don't forget that of drama of drama tokens. The damage gets inflicted to the controller of the token. So in this case, because control chopper is controlling the token. Yeah. It's, it's like I mean, you said, Mask is... That's going to do it here. Yeah, that's game. If, you're the, if you're the controller of the token, then so you NB's, take the damage. NB's team is up one. So... Who wants to watch the library again? <laughs> oh, yeah. we're going to go straight into... Ring of Destruction nah, is up against... I, I want to watch that deck again. Don't chop her. <laughs> Don't chop we. Deck, bro. Not going to lie, though. It was quite impressive that... Um, hey, that... Um, Haley B managed to get themselves out of. But then without... you gotta think of it again. Like he's not going against an average player, you know. So exactly. it took some time. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the Randage game from earlier. It looks like that. After the reconnect, Don't Copy was able to win game one. I'm not sure exactly what happened if they just got reconnected, but if um would be a game loss if they disconnect from the game like this, if that's what happened. Yeah. Unfortunately. Think, yeah. um, if not, if it just was they went into were able to reconnect and reestablish the game state. But that's great. We'll still find out the replay. Because I'm going to pull, I can pull the replay. So don't there copy goes, the head. There goes Sangin. There he goes. Yeah, it looks like don't copy one game one. And then, uh, gonna start off here with Thunder Dragon Sangin. Graceful Charity comes down. It's called in Chaos Command Magician again. Yeah. Interesting. It's called in Chaos Command and Book uh -oh. The knock is coming down. Those. It's quite, yeah, let's see how, how, it's a shame we couldn't really, it's a sh I, I guess it's a shame that we didn't really get to see Don't Copy play out the last game for, while well, Svandage had you know, some technical issue, but, um... It is what it is, Dust Tornado targeting the back row, but gonna get hit with Regeki Break here, deciding what do I want to discard for Don't Copy.
I'm assuming the discarded dragon. Yeah. Yeah, I think discarded dragon. Oh, oh. even better. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, it depends on what you want to reveal to your opponent. Yeah. Maybe. It would suck if, if they use a Kaiku and then. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're just dead. Yeah, I was coming in. Magician comes back. Swing for 24. Cast him as an interesting choice. Uh, we saw that uh, Jace had a lot of success with it. I think it was a Patreon qualifier that they won with it. Yeah. I, I, I remember watching Death Profile and going, and he went, oh, I'm going to. Have a... Level 6 is actually the most probably. Okay, it's got an effect that stops it from being sucked up by a thousand eyes and, and Chaos Sorcerer, but. It's also a level six that you can meta, and Ryu Senshi and Dark Lady Dragon are pretty good fusions in this kind of meta. Yeah, the level six access is nice, and it isn't a, a, a light that you get to slot in over Air Knight, which isn't common anymore, just due to the fact that there's not a lot of scapegoat that's running around. It often just gets picked off or stolen, so it's often used against you, and you never really get that initial draw from it. Um, yeah, it it's a it's a fine card, Chaos Command Magician. Bring some charity. Another one down again. I guess this is the only. This is how Vantage is going to be able to turn the game around. By well, we'll see here. Of, yeah, I just resolve multiple. It's picked up by the eighth. Discard duo. Wow. It's a fine discard. We know it's in the hand. Wow, discard duo. Yeah, it's a pop. Not bad. I don't know, man. I still would keep duo. Hey, I mean, it does depend on everything else that's in Randage's hand. Oh, there goes the BLS. Um, BLS is a good he's, one. He's gonna come down and banish set monster, which is right. just as well because. Snatch. Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Copy all the, the book. Uh, all the stuff falls off it. So now I'm gonna see flips. Yeah, you're gonna have to flip some, flip some, and set something to protect something to stop BLS running over the chaos command. Man, chaos command magician's defense is like crazy. I think Why it's like 15. It's 19. It's 19. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole air night, man. <laughs> Very beefy. <laughs> yeah, nineteen hundred. Jesus. Not gonna get run over by a lot of things, isn't it? it well, obviously, BLS is gonna out it, and then right. if you think about if you think about other, say, the warrior matchup, and you did want to summon it and back it with Book of Moon, maybe a Berserk Gorilla. That's it. Blade, Blade Knight. Knight. Blade Knight. Blade Knight. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Chaos Command is, while decent, it's kind of just a weaker King Dragon, right? Yeah. Because right. you can still target it like we see here with the Book of Moon. Snatch. Snatch as well. It loses to a lot of actual like targeted removal. It just turns off stuff like Chaos Sorcerer, but you're not really summoning Chaos Sorcerer into it because it's got 24. I just say I'm... It, it, it does bait BLS to attack it. See, right here, he's going to flip it up. This way, now BLS has to attack it in order to but the dust out tornado it. But Dust to... Tornado is going to pick up whatever Don't Copy was, was uh, putting down here. And oh, I believe so that's... Scoop it up. So yeah, that... Dust Tornado... Definitely like matters. I like Dust Tornado a lot. I mean, I mean, I know, I know. If you're playing Goat Control, it feels kind of like obvious, but I also like in Chaos Control. <laughs> I think Dust Tornado is. Uh, I think a lot of people stopped playing it for a little bit because they were moving yeah. on to decks that were playing Regeki Break. Right. Regeki Break is more flexible since it can destroy anything on the field. But uh, yeah, not having the dis pretty aggressive. 
Yeah, not having the discard cost attached to Tornado is uh, yeah, is that's, pretty strong. That's you can do plays where you dust Tornado a back row and then set a card from your hand, like to set it up for next turn. So if you had like a discard trap, you could do like dust Tornado to the back row and then set your Geki Break, your Geki Break during standby, add your Sinister back, or chain to a, a cost like Anthony did in the previous yeah 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 previous games. It's yeah. good. It's good. Dust is good. It's good. It has his ways, you know. Man, that's one of the scariest things, man. <laughs> when you set a monster with no back row, man, pretty scary. Well, just be glad it's not current formats. <laughs> right. You <laughs> <that. laughs> <laughs> you put on six games you played with me. <laughs> it's a good card, man. <laughs> not when, not not when your opponent, <laughs> not when your opponent draws it all the time. Yeah. Just hurts you. Duo? <laughs> wow. Gee. Way to end the back and forth. It's <laughs> Retu and Tsukiyomi come down for grade school and cross out the Dakochi. Yeah, I guess I guess when you're playing against all these chaos decks and you're playing Goat Control, is it is it right to fire off the charity and try and dig for important cards or do you still go hunger? Well hold? personally for me I hold on to charity. I hold on yeah, to that's, that's, I, I, yeah, I mean it's one of the I'm not that... quick to use it, you know, unless I'm like pressured <laughs> And I'm getting beat down, and I need to respond or I die. Then I'll graceful. Otherwise, yeah. I'm holding it. I'm not <laughs> afraid to do. I guess. No, I guess yeah. they're, they're they're like as likely to open do as you are to have the graceful hand if you open it. So you're just gonna hold on to it. Right. I think it depends. I mean, like you could hold it and then never draw action, and then you finally have to to throw it out. Like, it's one thing to say, like, ah, yeah, I'm just going to wait till I have, like, a setup to discard for or my Sinister. Well, there's a reason why you want to play your play your Graceful early, if you're if you're the good control player. 
digging for a trap dust shooter, and then a pass back. There was only one monster in the hand for don't copy. Shout out to don't copy for putting, <laughs> for letting us know what's what. <laughs> Stock was snatch. Interesting that he's held on to. Interesting that he's held on to goats in hand. I guess. I guess after seeing lots of dust tornadoes and the MST, I guess you got to respect the respect the fact that. No sayings for the stream. You need knowledge too, man. <laughs> you need to remember what's in his head. Don't copy was the one who got dust shooted, so they should oh, know what's in that. their hand. All right. There you go. They're doing us a solid here. Heavy storm. One for two heavy. Oh, scapegoats. Goats, goats. Just another pass back on uh don't copy side. Oh no, sorry, that was on Randage. Air Knight would be devastating right now. I don't think we're gonna see an Air Knight. If Air Knight we comes down, one, but it would be devastating. Yeah, if I'm, Air Knight comes down, I will uh I guess I guess don't copy wants to make sure that his set card is definitely sticking. Right. <laughs> yeah, they they want the resolve. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't want. He doesn't want his his sacrets or all his um, goats to get to get slapped by a dust tornado. So, makes sense. <laughs> so another pass. Stand goat form. Well, stand. It feels like a goat control mail match, obviously. Ignoring ignoring the fact that Don't Copy is playing stuff to support Chaos Sorcery, definitely got the traits of a got control mail match, doesn't it? <laughs> Draw pass. Yeah, this is uh like I said earlier today, the goat format that your grandpa wants you to play. <laughs> Is the back and phase. Comes down with a Thunder Dragon. Not a ton of monsters on either side, it looks like. It's 
I'm gonna Saku Snatch, knock go to meta still to contend with. Um, don't copy side. So even if Randage does run out of monster, it's likely gonna be answered. A sure priest is a good one here. It can't be hit by uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict by way of meta and uh, on scapegoat. Does run into the Sakuretsu armor. Can't be snatched stolen either. So maybe this baits out Sakuretsu armor here. Let's see if Don't Copy wants to do that or not. Yeah. Or and also, and also, is your priest can't be well unless you want to burn the. Uh, there he goes. He burn the scapegoat, but we do have the answer in the Regeki break. Good answer. I don't know if I like using Regeki Break if you had the Sakuretsu armor. Oh, yeah. the Sakuretsu if armor you was had used. the Sakuretsu armor. Sorry, I, 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 I missed that it was used a while back. Snacked by <laughs> MST. <laughs> oh, true, true, true. <laughs> Makes more sense then. Yeah. Don't copy passing yet again. Good old. Draw card pass.
yeah, there's... It doesn't look like there's a lot going on, right? But there's a lot to consider. Don't Copy doesn't want to reveal too much about what's face down, because... Yeah, the Brandish, game... Brandish knows a, a good portion of the hand. But it doesn't seem like Randage has anything to play into it. Doesn't want to overcommit. Wow. Seven Magician of Fate. I swung the book face down. <laughs> you know, I don't hate it. What's. Don't copy Scott Heavy Storm in the graveyard? They can somehow book it on uh, on Randage's turn when Randage tries to attack it. I mean, get the Heavy Storm back, be able to clear those back rows, and maybe make a play without any fear. Could set up for some sort of Tsukiyomi play where they do like a double duo. There's a lot that that could happen here. Just from a normal summon a magician of fate. It's better than discarding. Right? I think there's a book. I think there's a book face down. There's there's likely something that's going to protect the fate. I, I would right. hope it's Book of Moon. There's one nobleman gone already on Randage's side. But he is almost halfway through his deck. Yeah. I think he's trying to bait him. That's a bait play. He attack, book, get back heavy. Possible. I think that's what Don't Copy wants to happen. Tsukiyomi again is another possibility. They just wanted to set it up and not lose to a nobleman. Very true. So it's like he's baiting him. He's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to leave him on the field? They bait a metamorph? They, oh, do you go so, so this is interesting, yeah. This is Tsukiyomi of their own, and then use the, the second knock now. Uh, Ooh, critical. Critical. And that, for me, indicates that Randage must have one in his hand. Or somewhere else. Yeah, he must have one in his hand. Because I remember seeing the third copy in... Um, in in the previous game. But yeah, that's... I'm, I'm not a fan of three phase. I don't know. I don't think if you're playing it's weird. I think if you're playing like a Chaos Turbo, three faith is the move. Right. Um especially if you run Upstart Goblin. If okay. you don't play Upstart Goblin, three faith might not be very good. Just don't think you, you always need it. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're not playing Chaos, though, you could you can get away with just the two, because there's probably more cards that you want over a third copy of Magician of Faith than right. like if you if you elect to not be playing Magician of Faith, obviously, right? So yeah, it, it's I I personally like Three Faith in decks. It just depends on the deck that I'm playing, really. Right. Now, he didn't attack with uh, Sukiyomi, which is weird, because I would attack just to find out what it is. Just to open up that back row.
<laughs> wow. The the thing about all, all, when you play when you play these sorts of matches, it's just that it's. I find that it's especially when you play in real life, and you it's it's kind of like really taxing when right. when you have to think about it and you're like, I've got to play this this way and you know it's just. <laughs> At least that's what I found when I play playing real life with um, and my locals, and yeah, it's just got to think real hard, and you walk out, and it's like, oh my god, what have I been through? <laughs> okay. I, so I believe, just <laughs> taking a look at the Discord here, that. This is the last game going for the team, so um, whoever wins this, wins it for their team. No pressure? No pressure, no. He has command. Goes for the attack. <laughs> well, I can not that, yeah. I guess it's, it's that time of day where everyone's on journey book and playing. But... Book of Moon, are you going to book it? Or are you gonna take the twenty-four? Oh, scapegoat! <laughs> yeah, there's that scapegoat of being flipped at long last. That's definitely a bug face down. Then that made so much sense. That move, that magician of faith move. It made so much sense. Yeah, because he would attack. He would have booked, got back heavy, then end face goats. Yeah, end face goats, and then yeah, it made so much yeah. sense. Even though it was weird, it was unorthodox. That was weird. I was like, "What?" I mean, <laughs> I'm. It makes yeah, sense. I guess. I, I guess since since it's so far into the deck, it's like you're not honestly not... surprised to see to see the second nobleman. So maybe maybe Don't Copy could have set set something else instead. It wasn't intuitive. He was definitely trying to set him up. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, Randy definitely saw it, saw it coming from a mile away and just went, no phone, I'm going to book your book. I got gotcha you anyway. I'll book, him. I'll book her for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll book it for you instead, as you say. <laughs> That's funny. I think Sophia only has a book in the art, the picture art. That is it? No, it's not a book. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Turning here. We're gonna find out. Yeah, oh, it was a meta. It was a meta. What is well, we we knew that the meta was live, or it was there from the uh, the dust shoot. Right. We were we were thinking it was book based off of the play, but that makes sense then. Oh, Sangin, it's a Sangin. What? Now it's okay. Um. So, yeah, attack. Okay. So still has Snatch and Knock in the hand, as long with a Thunder Dragon. Right. Interesting. So. Oh, he changed his mind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is up to Vantage here to decide. He's up to Vandage to decide if he wants to let the copy. Yeah, so it's, it's up to Vandage to decide if he wants to let don't copy, if he's going to be firm and say, no, I'm not going to let you search something else, or if he's going to let it go and go, right, I'm going to let you. You had some key. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this... <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> oh, the clown emoji. Oh, bye. <laughs> Mate, don't copy, suffer. Yeah, so... Yeah, so it's like, it's like I said, it's like I said, Randy is well within his rights to go, no, I'm not, I'm going to force you to take Suku, but obviously he is, Randy looks like he's going to let it go ahead. Makes it too hard. Yeah, so this is... Right, I remember watching watching a video on sharking. And, right. Yeah, I don't think I think in this position, Randage was well within his rights to say, "No, you search for the Sukiyomi. I'm not gonna let you take it back." Which is fair he enough. Said it in a nice way. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's the snatch. snatch. Oh, we need, book. We knew the snatch seal was there. Yeah, the snatch deal was there, you know, but the oh, yeah. butt came out of nowhere. Nobleman's gonna Nobleman. take it, clean it up. But now, here's the awkward. I mean, at least at least don't copy has got lights. In fact, both players have got live chaos monsters. So, but so we know that Randy has got the added benefit of being able to get back pot or graceful help on demand if he can protect the magician from. Don't copy his nobleman. Well, second copy of nobleman if he draws into it. Oh yeah, we knew the nobleman was there as well. So yeah, Book of Moon I... got both those cards out of the hand. So now all we know is that there's a Tsukiyomi and a Thunder Dragon left for for don't copy. Please don't tell me this lag. Huh. Okay, no, that's fine. And face scapegoat copy. here. Yeah. Probably a metamorph in the future for yeah. don't copy. Going to the monster. I think you can't chance that being a faith. But it could easily be a um, Azura Priest as a bait. Ooh. Yeah, locking the board position down, but gonna Black try screen. to. Uh... Interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, that, that was the attempt, and then Ring of Destruction's gonna deal with the Thousand Eyes Strict. So that. If it is faith, that's resolving. Mm hmm. Unless we got a divine wrath. Hmm. Faith goes off. That means faith. I guess you could solemn the flip summon. Yeah. <laughs> Graceful charity now. Did... Command. Still got respect to Renshaw, if I'm not mistaken. Don't copy, still got to Renshaw. Hmm. But no, Randy's still going to go for it. I mean, Torrential's still right left, now would but... be a perfect 
to use torrential. That would be a massive torrential if if you don't copy, you probably have to torrential. Yeah, but it doesn't. And Randy's just, just gonna stay safe and not not let either magician or the Sukuyomi get hit by some sort of battle trap or yeah. Not get hit by by middle force basically. So if you're Vantage, you're probably looking for Heavy Storm be a less space for, isn't it? Right. Or a duel could be crazy. Boy. Take more control. Uh, if you don't copy, you're looking to deck Randage out about now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Randage. Yes. 11 cards. The Activates Graceful will go down to 8. And he goes for the graceful. Eight cards left in the deck. Has heavy storm been used? I know it's it's used by don't copy side, but uh, randage. Like nope. On it randages. Been used. Didn't get back sinister last turn. Interesting. I think. If you're Vandage, you're probably going to keep looping the Heavy Storm. I mean, you're looking for Heavy, it seems he like. He has to get it first. It could be that the last card them. in the deck. Yeah, that might cost them. That's very risky. Might as well just go for it. Oh, there goes the Torrential. There's Torrential, so... That's, uh... It's going to be the board. Wow. I wouldn't have even given him that chance. He gave yeah, him that I, chance. He gave him a chance to draw heavy. Well, I would have torrential the Suki. No, but he didn't have that a torrential was turn. just set. That torrential oh, was just right, set. right, 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 right. But yeah, I mean, like, even if you're Vantage, like, I know there's the torrential at long last, and we now see why Premi and. We now see why Premi and Saku got, got pitched and why um, Sinister so wasn't added to hand because probably Vandy's just going to go on with attack. Right. Oh. Metamorphosis. Is he going to go into a drama trio? No, he's not. He's just going to go. He's just going to go. Right, I'm going to swing for gate. There goes the BLS. Ring set. Still could BLS be. comes crashing down. It could be goats down there. Don't copy still get a Book of Moon could be goats as well, yeah. Third goats. Only two copies have been used so far on uh Don't Copy side. No Book of Moons have been used from Don't Copy either, so it's still in play here. You could book the BLS. Can't book the uh the Ryu Senshi. Well you can book the Ryu Senshi, but it doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, you you legally can book the Ryu Senshi, but you can't do it to win, you want to win the game. <laughs> yeah, if we're being... If we're being, if you're being technical it. about it, sure, but if you're being uh, real about it, there's no way in hell you're booking the Ryu Senshi. No way, yeah. Don't copy. I don't know if they're thinking if, if it's goats. If it's goats, you take this three thousand. Yeah, that, that keeps three goats on the field. I think there's ring. I think there's ring set. Has it been used? I don't think ring's been used on land just end. So my feeling is that rings in the graveyard. So it's, it's not set. It was used earlier on uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Oh. Oh, yeah, of course. Yep. Yeah, Book of Moon on the, uh, on the BLS. Attacking for 2,000. 
And it, this is still a, a tough hill to climb for Don't Copy. Has to find yep. an out to the BLS. Situation. Traps are effectively offline. Snatch deal is gone. Still has a nobleman in play. But uh -oh. can also just play BLS on their own. Sork or BLS? This is Sork. Chaos Sorcerer is going to deal with the Ryu Senshi first. That'll turn traps back on. Or don't copy side at least. To the only. Okay. We haven't seen Snatch from Manage on have we? Nope. I don't believe we there have seen Snatch from so... Yeah, Dust Tornado on the fresh set was MST. Mirror Force still in play for, for Don't Copy. I guess don't copy. It's also got links as well. Yep. Flip on the BLS. The advantage. Uh, banish. Uh, he acts for prior. So flipping up BLS, banishing the Chaos Urser, and then resetting it with uh, Tsukiyomi poking in. This plays around Mirror Force. And you could do that same play again, just flip your BLS face up, reset it with your Tsukiyomi, poke in again. Just keep packing. Oh no, he's gone for This time game. you're just going to go for game, make him have the Mirror Force instead, and it yep, was. There it goes. Protect it with Book of Moon, though. Alright. Six cards left in deck for Randage. This may be Don't Copy's last turn. They need to amount something here. Deal with the BLS. Mm -hmm. A BLS of their own could do it, but there's just a pass back. Wow. Heavy Storm. storm. Comes down and it's a book. That's the game. Snow Karibo on the side of Don't Copy. <laughs> just gonna admit defeat, and it looks like Delt Chapley has been eliminated. Team Ring of Destruction is going to move on to the losers' finals against Team Rampage here. That should be good. So you, that was a really tight was, one. That was a tight one. I don't think either player really wanted to lose that, but I'm assuming they didn't have uh, any side deck for the mirror. I did not see even one mind control.
Yeah, no, I think, yeah, it was a very good tool. And we'll take a quick break here as we wait for the next matches to get started. Grand finals? Yeah, let's go. Yeah.
and we are back here for the Losers Finals of the GOAT Format GFC Euro Edition. All right, GOAT Format GFC 3v3 Euros Edition. And in the Losers Finals here, we have Team Rampage, their number one squad. And that is the team of Ghost Rider 15, SDL Killa, and John LaBounty. Going up against Team Ring of Destruction, Team of Randage, NB96, and Haley B. We have SDL Killa here and NB96. We saw both these guys earlier today. SDL on Warriors. I believe it's just regular Warriors. I don't think we saw uh, any Chaos Monsters. Though we, I may be mistaken. Uh, and then NB is on a cast control list, I believe. Started off very strong here. Using Thunder Dragon, searching two more. Graceful Charity into Pot of Greed. Graceful Charity discarding Sinister Serpent and Thunder Dragon. SDL summoning, summoning Blade Knight moving into the battle phase. That is not the correct procedure for Wing Wing Blast. That goes to the top of the deck. There you go. MB doing it for them. Koichi was the face down for NB. After the Koichi's draw effect resolves, we're going to see a trap dust shoot. Please type banish hand. Please. Just for me. Wow. That is not the correct DB command. Oh, he's playing return. <laughs> My fault. Huh. Sorry, I just I saw that step up for a bit. But <laughs> banish five, but banish five. <laughs> Probably so used to seeing more cyber jar today that he's gone autopilot mode tapping. Um, there's no point in shuffling MB. You're gonna shuffle it back into the deck anyway. Yeah, it, yeah, you can shuffle, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't see what the point of... I don't see what... It doesn't matter. They're going to shuffle anyway. Um, <laughs> Mystical Space Typhoon, Sakura 2 Armor, Nidoria, Tribe Infecting Virus, Sinister Serpent that we knew about, Chaos Sorcerer, Sakura 2 Armor, and Magician of Faith. So a lot of cards to pick from here. Probably... Oh, this is a tough one because... I guess you got... It's either between Sorcerer or Faith, I think. What do you think? I think between Sorcerer or Faith because obviously... Uh, um, no. It literally doesn't matter. Please just... It doesn't. It takes two seconds to click the shuffle button. Doesn't matter if you need to shuffle it anyway. It's going to be shuffled with, with uh. Okay, fine. Uh, with dust shoot, the top of the deck is supposed to be random. It's going to be randomized after this dust shoot resolves. It doesn't matter. Oh <laughs> uh, come on, come on. Anyway. Just 
Just need to decide. Come on. <laughs> There's a lot to put back here. Yeah, I think that's a correct. I think that's correct. With faith, that, with faith is okay, part. but if you don't have a way to 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 get rid of it though, because he could set it, but like, he's got the Saku to deal with your Blade Knight. Seeing the Sork is interesting though. Yeah. And then a step back row here. Could be MST or Saku, and then Monster for uh, NB. Be a number of things. Mm, I guess could it be could it be could be Zalugo while we lady or probably the. Not sure I can think of, but I need to have, probably need to have another look at SEL Killer's list um, because I don't, I don't think we've had, I don't think we've covered SEL Killer yet, have we? We have. It's it's playing Warriors. Oh yeah, we have. So just I know he's playing Warriors. I just can't. <laughs> it's been so long. I just blanked out whether we are actually. Yeah. Interesting. That, oh yeah, that was that, that was set alongside Dash Roots, wasn't it? Yeah, it's fine. That backer is probably the Sakuretsu armor. It's most definitely 100% the Sakuretsu armor. Donzalu getting run over by tribe infecting virus and then attacking in for 26 is Dekoichi and Nudoria. And it's NB's deck looking like the warrior deck, right? Warrior deck wants to summon monsters, attack. <laughs> Be up in card advantage through battle. Trade, <laughs> trade their back row with, with monsters. Sounds very much like a modern deck. <laughs> but now yeah, it's that... just NB is, is the one with the beatdown, already took away half of SDL's life. But that's Here. not a bad start, Chaos Sorcerer. No, sorry, Blade Knight. Blade Knight. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I mean, he could try to ram into Tribe, but that no, could get Sakud. He's, he's playing, he's, well, this is interesting, because obviously you're not going to attack over the docks. <clears throat> Yeah, if you ram in the tribe here, he could make the Chaos Sorcerer or the BLS main phase 2 now. Yeah. This will probably banish the New Doria. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. You... Yeah, wow, there's BLS. BLS. And playing it in defense to stop the Koichi from crashing into it. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, to turn on the Chaos Sorcerer. All three Thunder Dragons are gone, so the option to tribute this to Koichi off is not there.
And if you don't deal with the BLS, the BLS is going to banish you to Koichi. So we sort of just did it. Did NB want to use the Sakuretsu armor to protect the tribe? Because that would have forced this to come down. Wow. Would have forced the so BLS to come down and banish the tribe. He still yeah, would have had darks so to play with on the board. It's like you said, if... if, if um... oh, but meta was the top deck, it seemed like. Yeah. Heavy Storm it's like, yeah. picks it's, it up. It's like you said, Wow, it's gonna ping for a lot of damage. Does MB have the book of, have a book of mood? Uh, I don't think so. I think the last card is here. Yeah, we we know that, and you're right. Um, so, well, oh, I think like, the only card we, we don't, don't know about is is Chaos Sorcerer at this point. Is this well? The only card we don't know about is is the fresh set card, right? But that Meta top deck... Hmm. Yeah, Meta did... Meta was uh, exactly what the Doctor ordered. D I don't know, couldn't... Couldn't... Couldn't MB have gone Tribute to God, Koichi? Like attack force. Couldn't... Couldn't MB have gone Meta Sack... Um, sack to Koichi, banish the... Um, banish the BLS, and then save the Meta... Well, it, actually... It was better to just do 3000. Yeah, that's true. Wow, <laughs> three thousand monster just slicing through everything that SEO killer. Um, yeah, just picking up the game one there off the back of a thousand ice restricts stuck up BLS. This is very very interesting because one I thought that we saw Bazoo from MB in his earlier feature match. <laughs> so. Um, I'm a little bit confused as to what he's actually running. <laughs> Rampage. No, not Rampage. Uh... Ring of Destruction. Mm. Right, okay. SDL is going to start us off here. Royal Oppression in the end phase for SDL Killa. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow. That is not something you see every day, folks. Yep. And everyone writes it off because you can't 
you can't um, flip it and and use the effect on the same term like you could in 2008. <laughs> Here we go, question. These try infecting virus clear off the, the Kaiko. Right. Ring of Destruction takes out the tribe. Let's see what reinforcements the army digs out for SDL. Could get the the Donzalug. The, the Donzalug is going to be attacking into potential Thunder Dragon. It's also going to be attacking into three back rows. Don't know if it's going to survive that. One of the back rows could be Scapegoat that's effectively offline, thanks to Royal Oppression here. Wow, no fear. <laughs> GD Warrior Just Lady. Pack. I actually think that was a great pick by uh, by SDL to take D Warrior Lady here over something more tempting like Don's Loot. Don's Loot can easily be outed by a lot of different cards, like just attacking over it. Let's see what's in the grave. Um, yeah, you've got Thunder Dragons. Um... Hmm. A lot of those same cards can still uh, attack over with uh, with DD Warrior Lady, right? But at least DD Warrior Lady trades with those cards. Because you're able yeah, to this... use its effect to banish itself and end the monster. <sighs> wow. But. I don't know if this is necessarily good. Uh, I mean, that's going to trade both monsters because of the way Nidoria is worded if he runs into it. Well, that, I think that's... that's the area has to go to the grave. Yes. Well, either way, both monsters are leaving. Right, it's just that NB's going to actually do damage this way instead. Yeah, it's, rather than take damage, he is going to... I mean, but I think... you could... He's not even attacking, so he, you could have just... not used your creature swap. Yeah, and not use the creature swap. Yeah, it just gave him the monster... <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like that creature slot play. It, it wasn't effective. It'd be different if that was, like, Mystic Tomato, right? Because you could set the tomato, yeah. swap it, and then attack. And there's Kaiko. So this is a lethal attack here. I'm surprised. No. Wow. NB, NB misplayed. No, he's thinking. He's he's gone right. Um, SEO killers activated something. Premature barrier. I'm going to use royal oppression here, but I think that doesn't matter because if he plays royal oppression, that's that's 27 on board. He's going to drop down 23. Like oh, this. true. I lost my connection. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Did they win? Snatch steel. Or is he just getting information at this stage? Is MP just getting No, he's trying to hit us on judgment. Wait, did he target Snatch Steel? I'm s I I No, uh, he's targeted the set card to see if he's gonna hit him solemn. And he does hit a solemn. Wow. Oh, okay. So he's here. I feel I feel like you just misplayed though. You should have just negated the there's a middle force. Wow. 
Oh. Uh, you should have wow. just negated the the premature burial. No, but that don't. Uh, you have your force anyway. To worry about. If if you're doing the fifty fifty on that, then like you just negate it. I guess. Hmm. Do it for the trading for the single card in hands and just passing. Wow. Well, Prussian is doing quite a lot of work. I mean, he did, I guess he misplayed a turn earlier by giving, like, using the creature swap that he didn't need to use. Yeah, I think the I think you're actually right. Then the math doesn't work out in Envy's favor. He can't oppress in there. <laughs> He'd still have to try and hit the. Um... Yeah, he still got a 50-50 on the on the solemn. And wow, that. 100 damage, or 100 life points left after, uh, late night here. Hot agree, gonna try to get back in it. And Sakuretsu Alma is going to protect the set monster. And Book of Moon's going to protect the Blade Knight. Because <laughs> it could be Takoi. No, I don't think it'd be not set. If it is, hmm. Just, I'm trying to think what what could be set and what would happen. <laughs> Here's Bazoo. Let's go to declare priority. Banish three in grave. I need some food actually. here. Probably saving up for a Chaos Monster. Uh, the other light? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the Dark Snake River as well. There's the Orange Feast Soldier. Wow. How are we going to see Middle Force here? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. That, so that 2200 was Bazoo. Okay. Uh, return could have been lethal, I think. 16 and, uh, and 16, 32. No. 200 off. Oh, SDL could have just negated with a uh, royal oppression. What am I thinking? <laughs> yeah, you can negate anything with royal oppression now that it's face up on the field. Chaos Archer coming down here. 
this may be negated. And yeah, gonna be negated. Discarding, bell to find. Gonna be more food for Bazoo. Whoa, wow, he's Whoa, BLS coming down instead. Another 800. So this drops, yeah, lethal range from the Archfiend Soldier. Do you, do you have, no, you don't have. Bazoo's, or from either one of them here. So Bazoo's gonna Ooh, wow. go up to 19 now. I think, yeah, Wobby Lady's gone, got eaten up by the middle force. Are we going to see middle force from Nessio Killer? Or are we going to see Sakuretsu? Wow! We're going to see a concession oh, wow. from SDL. Archfiend Soldier attacking for game, fighting after Envy fought through uh, two activations of Royal Oppression. I had a feeling that when SDL flipped this card, this scenario was going to come up where NB was just going to force them to activate it and just attack and kill them anyway. Just get in a free 1,600 points of damage. Let's I take guess a look here. They're Archery Soldier for Meta. <laughs> Any other games going on? Ghost Rider and Randage. Yeah, I think that's the last match. Because um, it might be the decider. Looks like they're both 1-1 here. I... I don't even know if that's gonna... I don't know if it's the deciding game or not. But, uh... Randage's team is up. Wow, who's who's playing? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> I think that's Ghost Looks Rider. Like it. Ghost Rider has. Wow, we're, we're gonna see a rematch between Moxies and um. Moxies and Rendage. Yeah, it looks like that the um. Brandage's team, Team Ring of Destruction, is heading on to the Grand Finals. Here in oh, the wow. Go For My Championship 3v3 Euro Edition. Amazing. Wow. So, yeah, we're going to see a rematch of Winners Finals. <laughs> You're wrong. This is wrong. Whoever updated this is wrong. Hmm? Team Ring of Destruction won. Not Rampage. Oh, fair enough. I can change that. It's easy. Um, yeah, if you're right. Because Labonte lost over overwrite scores. There we go. That should be done. Yeah, that's a rematch of... Yeah. Sorry, that's my fault. <laughs> Got it wrong. Uh... So yeah, um, winners, a rematch of round, round four. And yeah. Who are we up I think we're just waiting for them to get in the, agree on the date and time. While these guys get ready, we will take a our last break for the day.
So stick around, everybody. Grand Finals coming up momentarily.
And we're back for the grand finals of the GOAT Format Championship 3v3 Euro Edition. My name's Mascus. I'm joined alongside with Manic Lord here. Hey, one. And it's... <laughs> sorry to cut you off. It's, uh, it's going to be Team Get Mark to Worlds, comprised of uh, Mark, LRG Sigma here. Moxies and Lucas the Heretic. Ultimately, their goal here is to win and get Mark his world's invite. <laughs> and, but uh, yeah. Team Ring of Destruction is in their way here. It's a team of Randage, Nasty Beast, 96, and Haley B. So here's the awkward bit because we're in double elimination, so everyone's got to play out their games and see. Yeah. Like so. For those of you who are unfamiliar, this is a double elimination bracket. That means you have to... If you lose twice, you will be knocked out of the tournament. Now, the team of Getting Marked to Worlds is still in the winner's side. They have not lost any of their matches. So the team of Ring of Destruction will need to win their matches, and then win another set of uh, two out of three matches in this 3v3 format. For those unfamiliar with the 3v3 format, you submit a team of three players, and you go up against a team of opposing three players. Someone is marked as A, B, and C. So player A plays player A, player B plays player B, player C plays player C. You each play a best two out of three game, and the winners of the whole match are best two out of three within... The, all three of the games that are going on simultaneously. Now, you are allowed to discuss plays with your teammates. You're allowed to talk to them and, and get advice on what to do. However, if it's impeding on the game time, uh, you still have to play with like a reasonable pace. So, I think it's been quite good so so far today, where everyone's been quite good with with their timings and. I mean, in this case, it's, it's not going to yeah, be... It's not been an issue so far today. Yeah, now, now the teams can't discuss with each other and not, uh, as, as it stands, because all three got to play play until... It's, it's one of those ones where all three have to play first, then they have to see who won. And then if 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 the loser side of the bracket actually actually won... Um, then you'd have to play a game. So, yeah, it's just a waiting game. With... And, yeah, let's see how this... Wow! <laughs> yeah, Does he have the ring? Yeah. It feels like he's got the ring of destruction. Swing for 5,000, and ring would seal the deal. <laughs> but still got to resolve... Don't see ring just yet. I would have just flipped it immediately. <laughs> but my suspicion is that he must have for him to go all out like that. For me, suggests that there's ring somewhere. But then you never know. But yeah, wow, that's very, very big push on the word go. Monster and set three. Why no, did you, why didn't didn't you do it on your turn? <laughs> That's uh, confusing. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, should you just flip that ring? Yeah, uh, I, I don't get it. Yeah. 
Yeah, could have risked if MB drew double book of moon. He 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 would have. That would have. He would have kept the book of moon and the book in hand, and that would have protected BLS from ring. I know it's it's not very high of that happening, but still got to respect that is an option, isn't it? Right, see, MB. NB starting off here after getting run over by BLS Ring of Destruction. Just with the set monster. And Marcus going to Thunder Dragon into Nobleman, followed up by Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper is going to take a card right out of NB's hand. Taking a Chaos Sorcerer out of the hand is pretty strong. No back rows on uh, Mark's side. First for Charity, he's going to get MB3 new cards. So let's see what he's going to pick throw away. Getting rid of Sangan, maybe a light monster, so you can summon okay, Chaos, get rid of the Spear Reaper. Giddy Worrylating being gone is not ideal. It's a good out to the Reaper. Getting rid of MST. That's that's the light that Yeah, I drew that off a of Thunder or Thunder Dragon off of Graceful. It's still very good. And there comes that Chaos monster that you're talking about. See if it's the second Sork. It's Blackluster Soldiers. So early Blackluster Soldiers, both games here. This one doesn't seem to be as impactful as the last one. But good enough to get rid of this Reaper. If it sticks on the board, it may take over the game. Depends who side is. If it's gonna... As long as it remains on MB's side, he's, he's in a good spot. And um, Wingblast is going to Yeah, res for... reset that card. Deny a draw phase essentially for uh for Mark. This is where Wingblast has his benefits of a gecko break just Yeah, when when, your... when you're already when you already have the advantage like this and uh your opponent is just kind of doing the, the the absolute minimum, right? <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. Just doing the absolute minimum and yeah, you just you just get set back. Yeah, back setting the time. setting the back like that's huge. In this case you've got Black Luster Soldier in, in your face. <laughs> yeah, and another twenty eight points of damage on top of it here. Oh, it Looking pretty good for NB at this point in the, in the game. Um, that card was... That card Mark drew for turn was the set from last turn. So Mark banking on the set cards to protect his life points. Effectively, is in all likelihood that BLS is going to banish a set monster. I mean, we so know two of the cards in, in Mark's hand are Thunder Dragons. 
Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. Yeah, BLS banish the set sinister, put its defense, playing around mirror force here. Have enough on board without. Oh, that's wow. different. Um, yeah, haven't have enough on board without it. So didn't play There's around mirror force fully because they committed another monster. Might have been a mistake. Just kidding. Nope. Return from the different dimension. <laughs> this is what return does best. Bait out a mirror force or turn tribute from the opponent. Sure, no problem. I'm gonna flip return and bring back my monsters and wipe out your life points anyway. Still didn't need to put the Archfiend on the board. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess this way, what he what it could have been doing was baiting the Torrential. But if you thought it was Torrential, you should just attack anyway because you had lethal on the board. Well, you should just you should have summoned the Archfiend first. Bait out the torrential that way. Then well, no, you. Be I mean, the like he didn't need to do what he did. Yeah. <laughs> it's a quick siding here from both of them. So Mark is going to discard Thunder Dragon like last game. This time they're going first. Just a set on their side, and B. See how they will respond. Nudoria is the play. Wow, and that crashing Tomato's over been... tomato, yeah. Mm. And Tomato picking up Tomato, attacking over the new Doria, going to trade with it. 200 points to MB. I wonder if it was just better to, to do the Mimic stuff, but maybe Mark doesn't have that in the in the deck after all. Yeah, I, th I think it's, it's just pure... It's just Chaos Turbo. Um... So just a set after the attack from Mark's side, Envy responded with a set monster. Two back rows. And a new monster to set from Mark. Now, he didn't flip up the the first monster. Might be a indication that it's a Reaper. Reaper or Sangan. Yeah, Reaper or Sangan. Wing Blast going to spin back the face down, prevent it from flipping if it's Toichi. Lock him out of a draw for a turn. Sinister's going to get added back to the hand. Still two Thunder Dragons in the hand for Mark. Go along with that Sinister Serpent. Let's see what he can do here with his own Dekoichi. Flip it up. Draw a new one. Keep the train running along. No Bekoichi, so can't get the extra draw. Who the hell plays that, that small vanilla trash card? 
<laughs> it's worth three more draws from your decoy team. Maybe you should. <laughs> need you to sh need to protect him, eh? You can machine dupe it. <laughs> yeah, I just... Ooh, machine duplication nonsense. Wow. Mobius coming down yet again. Uh, yeah, here's Mobius. It's been good all day, but it's going to be met with a ring of destruction. Yeah, it's, it's one of those... Things. tied one apiece here. Yeah. MB not committing that much to the board, knowing that... Knowing that Mark knows that he's he's going to set return, so bring in Mobius. Hit the return before they can even... Before they can even go off. I don't think you're ever going to set your return if you don't have anything to use with it. Yeah. But... That would be a great way f to trigger a return, uh, <laughs> summoning Mobius and then forcing it out, or yeah, either they later. use it or lose it, kind of thing. And if they lose it, that's good for you. If they use it, that's also good for you because you can just attack. Yeah, not right now, obviously. But like I said, when they've got bit, when when they banish move from player powers, yeah, and that's the reaper that we that I thought it was at least. Deco picked up but, a card yeah. for NB side. So, got the drawback with Deco anyway. No meta cross out on the face down here. This probably was the face down from the previous turn. It was second to Koichi. So they're going to have to both banish the rest of the copies in their deck. So two co two copies each, I assume. No, just the one from Mark. That move from play power is just... It's, it's weird to have no women against against a return deck in the sense that yeah. yes, you, yes, you do want to hit all those split monsters, but at the same time, you're feeling that banish pile, so yeah. Yeah, I you, guess. you don't want to... You don't love to give them cards in their banish zone to return and kill you with, but at the same time, it's like, well... You kind of need to deny them the, the flip effect. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And Dekoichi was cycled on Mark's side. And Charity is going to get three cards, likely at the cost, likely at trading, trading off those Thunder Dragons, unless there's a Serpent. Yeah, Talking. I think he discards oh. Serpent and keep a Thunder Dragon. And there's that Serpent. <laughs> Great pickup by Mark here. Exactly what they were looking for. I mean, I guess I guess he's he's been helped along with um, draws of the Koichi. Yeah, multiple the Koichis. And kind of got yeah, a turn out of the uh, the wing glass here. Another wing glass. Yeah, just loaded stopped, graveyard stopped. lights and darks. And yeah, this is a position where wing blast shows its its benefits over. Regeki break by. But what could of that other card have been? The other mm. face down. It's not like it's faith. It's not like it's the third Dekoichi. Yeah, it's not gonna be faith. They're spy. So he I fit mean, in Dekoichis, tomatoes, spies. Do we, do we, I can't remember. It's been, it's been a while. I think I think I think they're shining angels. Unless I'm getting it mixed up with another. I think deck. you're mixing up a different deck here. I mean, I'm talking about MB set. I'm just having, I'm having that. Yeah, I think you're mixing I mean, it up. With we saw him set. set. We saw him set. We saw um, MB set, Archfiend Soldier previously. 
True. So, it could be that, yeah. Because anything up, that's probably the only card you would set outside of Sangen and Serpent. Sangen and Serpent, even for two. So, duo hits Magician of Faith and Tribe. That was a pretty good duo. Just bait out the. Yeah, I mean, it was it was decent. You got you got two cards out of it, but it didn't but... hit like Chaos Sorcerer or BLS, which is what you want to hit. At this stage, it's like it's like um, Mark is like, okay, I'm just well, gonna Mark's sit all the way. <laughs> Mark's halfway through their deck, so it's it's becoming more and more likely that they're going to draw a Chaos Monster that they have plenty of fuel for. Yeah. Well, they're in no they... trouble of dying here because they got really good defenders on the board. Yeah, I was going to mention that Mark could easily just go, I'm just going to camp on my monsters and wait until I draw into my yeah. Chaos Lord. Yeah, putting the fourth monster down plays into Torrential, but if it's Breaker here, I think you're you're fine with that. <laughs> NB's going to think. Well, I think... Like... Yeah, we saw some from Mark, didn't we? Um, I think I if I'm not so. Mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Get Mark the Worlds. I mean, I've got access to this, but I'm pretty sure I saw saw them. Yeah, he does. So it would be. So I was thinking if they wanted to chain the Wing Blast. But I guess it nope. depends on what is what else is in their hand. If they wanted to. I don't know what they would want to discard, unfortunately. And I'm gonna switch the whole team into attack mode. We're just trying to strip a card out of hand. So what, what, let's see. So what's it gonna be? Gravekeeper Spy is gonna attack the unknown. Could be the Archfiend Soldier. Ha <laughs> ha! It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh well that is not what mark expected clearly but a ring of destruction will clean it up <laughs> that's game that is game is it not 19 to 15 no they're off by uh right? off by 200 but mb's going to lose a card out of, out of his end lost a metamorph <laughs> Sinister in the hand for for Mark. Yeah, that meta rip did hurt. I don't think that this was the same card that was spun back previously. Mm. No. The one that, that that MB just drew for the turn. It may it may be. And now MB's in the think tank. He's got no lights in his graveyard. He does have bazoo blocks. food. He does have bazoo food, yeah, that's true. But wow, he does get a massive tribe. field wipe. That's probably what he was debating on then, uh, with with the Phoenix with Moonblast. So now I assume he's just going to go board wipe. Yeah. Spellcaster. Get rid of all the monsters. But here's the thing though, that loads... I mean... Yeah, Serpent in hand. Ooh! Wow. Armor. So you just swing with the... Swing with the Reaper. Does he have... Yeah, I think you gotta respect Mirror Force. Well, Rachel. Mirror Force and Torrential are still alive for ND. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't respect... He's just gonna go... Sangin is the move. And there's Mirror Force. There's Mirror Force. So Sangin, was there any... Sangin will pick up a... Uh, it will pick up a monster. A monster that... that's... Any monster, really, is fine. It's just Envy's top deck. Let's see what he gets. But if you were... um, No, you don't have Serpent. Here's the thing, like... I, I guess I guess forcing us... Forcing yeah, us Mark's just going to slam Serpent here. Try to attack. Someone's going to attack for game. 
pot of greed. Hmm. Feel like you should have done that first, but no, he's just getting as much information. Return from the different dimension. Chain the chump block. Yeah, that's the that's the thing that you mentioned that maybe. Maybe it was right to play the heavy storm first, and then you could have set the magician. Then you could have set your faith. Yeah, if you would have, if you would have used your pot of greed, then activated heavy storm before committing to a play, then Ooh. you can set your faith. Unless that's playing around dust shoot, because if you play pot straight away, that runs into trap dust shoot. This for me suggests that there must be a chaos monster I think in hand. Another one. <laughs> Going down to 50 life just to chump block. And no response here from NB. They need a another top deck miracle here. Nope. Doesn't look like it's the case. So Mark may be going to Worlds here. They've already got one game in the bag here. Let's take a look at the other games that are going on. Can I watch live free? <laughs> Uh, do you know if the who won the Moxie's game? No, it's Moxie's game on, is still so going we'll on. Take a look and at it here. It looks like that Randage is actually no Moxie's is up the game, so Moxie's is on tournament point here. Wow. <laughs> well, I think nobody wants to view library again, do we? <laughs> Although that was pretty impressive to be able to. You know, I think that's result. the game that we saw earlier from, from Haley is uh was a pretty interactive and, and good game. It's just it's just that it's not <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, it's it's one of those ones where where pots turn things around and yeah. So Chaos Command gets flipped face off again. Let's see what's what's on so far. Chaos Monster's been dropped, so I assume or something get, got hit by no one. Uh, and it's just got Chaos for the Chaos Sorcerers. BLS has been dropped, wow. Already by. So Moxie's in. To be fair to Moxie's, he's baited out all the, all the big trap cards Mill Force, Surrender Tribute, Ring of Destruction, and Two Book of Moons. Yeah, it's looking like Moxie's going to be able to do whatever he wants. I mean, those back row, that last back row could be Scapegoat. That can prolong the game a little bit. Moxie's also on Chaos Control, it seems like, unless he's just siding the goats. No, he's, he's definitely on Chaos Control. He's, he's, been, he's been on the decks ever since he, he won his invite, and he's gone, right, I'm just going to... Just been having fun. Yeah, literally have fun, I guess. But now the players see Nobleman. Hmm. I guess maybe there could be a, a, at some point maybe Moxies might might go into Ojama Ojama King and lock up their fields if he but he's he's got less cards in his deck. Uh <laughs> His teammates won! Wow! <laughs> oh, we, uh, dude. we wow. missed on the, uh, on the other side, it looks like, unfortunately. Wow. <laughs> so Lucas so took over... Lost. Took out so Haley B, it seems. So, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Well, we got but... to watch the game that uh, mattered most was if Mark was going to win. <laughs> and Lucas gets another invite! Bloody hell, he gets another invite! And he was on the team that won uh, last last 3v3 as well. Bloody, yeah. Lucas. Oh, bloody hell, Lucas. You've got too many invites. Give us all a chance to win <laughs> something. <laughs> Moxie's gets another invite as well for this event. So yeah, congratulations that's... to both the teams here. But yeah, that was really good games. Thanks everyone for... Oh, thanks everyone for taking part. Wow, 
Maxine stops <laughs> would have drawn into charity. Would have probably yeah. got there anyway, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I think I mean it's like you said, you read the read the um goats. Yeah. Anyway, I uh that means we don't get Lucas well, yeah, we don't we don't get to see Lucas showing up. So yeah. Good games everyone. Thanks Maskis for streaming the streaming this um, event. <laughs> Um, yeah, is there, is there anything else? Uh, yeah, if anybody, so first of all, thank you to everyone who came and watched today. Um, congratulations again to team Get Mark to Worlds, team of Mark, obviously. Uh, congratulations on getting your Worlds invite. Uh, Moxies and Lucas the Heretic, congratulations on earning more top seeding points. Uh, if you, watching, want to be a part of the GOAT Format World Championships and want to play in GOAT Format tournaments, head on over to www.goatformat.com. Go ahead and join our Discord. More coverage should be getting posted later this week, um, or next into next week, basically, <laughs> on uh, the, top, uh, the top deck list, metagame breakdown for this event as well. You can uh, take a look at our breakdowns and deck lists from past events. And next week, uh, Goat Format Championship, I believe number 13, if I'm not mistaken, individual tournament, not a team 3v3. So always free to play in, of course. Go ahead and uh, sign up there when sign-ups open. Next weekend, uh, next Saturday should be the event. And winner of the event will uh, not only earn an invite, to the GOAT Format World Championships to be held later this year in October, but uh, we'll also earn a cash prize. $100 goes to the winner minimum, and a dollar is added to the prize pool for every entry past 100. So come on out next week to the GOAT Format Championships and try to earn your spot at the World Championships later this year. Great. And without further ado, uh, yeah, that's all I got for the time being. Thanks yeah. again for everybody joining us, and congratulations to the teams. Thanks mm -hmm. to you, Manic, yeah. for uh, hanging, hanging out all day with me. <laughs> I would like to say the same for you. Thanks a lot. And, yeah, thanks to everyone who kept the event running. Uh, yeah, shout yeah. out to TK for judging, of course. I Unsung hero. Yeah, as always, TK, thank you. Uh, yeah, I think that's all from, from me. Thanks everyone for taking part and hope you enjoyed watching us on stream. And yeah, hope to see you soon. Yeah, see you guys next week. See you around. Bye Stay now. safe, everybody.